Salam alaikum everybody, how are you doing guys? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's another arena, alhamdulillah. Um, and if anyone has not been here before, basically what that is, is we um, invite non-Muslims um, to come onto the channel, to come onto the stream, and they can either challenge Islam, or they can uh, present the Christianity is true or atheists or whatever it is. They want to attack our Sky Daddy Flex. Whatever they want to do, they, they're welcome to do so. Um, and mashallah, I'm joined by four fellow Muslim brothers, the gladiators in the arena. And um, we'll hopefully respond to whether, if it's a genuine question, it will get responded to from every angle. If it's a, a troll question, just get slapped about. So, um, and we've got, mashallah, we've got a strong panel today. So I'm concerned we might not get any good caliber guests, but we shall see. Um, I know the Pride has been fishing all week looking for, um, I won't say victims, I would say guests. Oh, sorry, inshallah, let's see. Yeah, Bob, we're late. Welcome. Welcome to Hamza's Den. Right, without further ado, I'll introduce the first gladiator. It is Jake, the Muslim metaphysician. Salam alaikum, my brother. Wa alaikum as -salam. How's it going, brother? All good, my man. How is everything with you? Good, alhamdulillah. I'm ready for the arena. Hopefully oh, we get some it. people in here, man. We want some tidy guests, though. We want someone with a bit of bit of knowledge. Yeah. Hopefully. Let's do it. Inshallah. And any Christians that are knocking about, this might put you off a little bit, but we also have Hashim <laughs> from Dawa Wise. Mashallah. Salam alaikum, bro. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How you doing, uh, Hamza, man? Jake, how are you guys doing? Good. Oh, good Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Mashallah. The brothers and sisters and... Uh, as you said, boys and girls, you guys are all doing it. <laughs> <They're> all, <laughs> <waiting>. <laughs> all right, um, let me put the link in the chat so we can see if any guests are ready. Um, I think there's one Hebrew Israelite who was looking to come on. He was saying in my arena warm up, but we'll see. Uh -oh. uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> we give him a chance, and then what can we do? Uh, but at the same time, you've got guys, there's a lot of those guys on fa um, not Facebook, Clubhouse, man. Oh, bro, oh, bro. God. bro. Phil is on Clubhouse too. <laughs> yeah, how how you got, Jake, 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 Jake is like Jake's circus man. He loves yeah. it. He got me to go on there, and then I never see him on there anymore. <laughs> Come on, bro. What's up with that? Yeah, no. Because I said the all nighters on there. Do you get me? And I'm like, yeah. I will come. I will come and join you though, most yeah. definitely. So as long but as you enjoy, just, guys. That's um, yeah. It's been fun, man. Some it's guys asking, fun. what is Clubhouse? <laughs> it's nothing to do with nightclubs, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that kind of club, guys. Explain yeah. what it is, uh, Jay. Yeah, it's uh, it's an app where you know people go on there and talk. I'm getting a little bit of echo, guys. Is that from? I don't know who's that from. Um, I don't know. Let me just mute mine. Um, okay, I don't hear it now, unless it was Hashim. I don't know, no, but any, no. yeah, might have been might have been Hamza's thing. Anyway, yeah, it's a, it's a you know social media app where people go on and they have discussions. I go on there mainly to talk to Christians and atheists. Um, same thing we're doing here, really. But uh, you know, they have fifty to a hundred people most of the time listening and just chat with people. Yeah, it's audio only, right? Yeah, it's there's no video. It's audio, and then you can there's like a back chat where you can text people and stuff, but. That's okay. pretty much it. Yeah, you haven't been on there yet, right, Hashim? Uh, no, I'm. I'm actually registered. I mean, Brother Sabor, I think got me registered, but I haven't used it yet. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, you just need time, I guess. Yeah. Time and dedication to be in all these places. Yeah, it's too many. Uh, yeah. Been quite busy with um, our channel, the Dawawash channel. So it's yeah, still, uh, trying to set it up. Um, so inshallah, gradually. As they say, slow and steady wins the race. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hamza, you're muted, brother. You got to unmute. Uh, I'm saying Clubhouse is 24-hour dawah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> like I say, hey. How are you, wow. my brother? I'm okay. Alhamdulillah. How are you guys? Thank Good. Alhamdulillah. Nice to see you, Zakir. Nice to see you too, Hashim Bai. We don't get too many Brummies here. I know. Brummies ain't invited on these streams. Well, they invited you. <laughs> You're always busy, man. You're always busy trying to get hold of you. Yeah, right. Just so you know, people in the chat, only subscribers can comment, yeah? So you need to subscribe. There you go. Just so you know. Mm. Yeah, I like that. That's good. A little bit of a commitment from you guys. Speakers Corner on Sunday. Okay. 
at uh, I think a few of your friends came down. I was hoping yeah, you would no. come down. They told me the problem is I've been working most Sundays, but inshallah, in the next few weeks I'll try. Yeah, inshallah. Yeah, yeah I think Tasneef was down. I think the last time I was there, mashallah. Yeah, yeah, he's there nearly every week, I think. Oh, is he? Is he? Subhanallah. Yeah. He's jumped ship. He loves London. He hates Birmingham for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Subhanallah. Don't okay, know. we've got a couple of guests. We've got Rob, but I'm not going to bring on Tony Soprano right now. We've got someone else called Speak Sense. So <laughs> let's see what the geese is all about. Speak Sense. Welcome to the arena. Uh, hello. Hi. How are you doing? Fantastic. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm very well. So, um, right, let's just get straight to it. The question I uh, have, which I believe that none of you uh, chaps will be able to answer, is... Um... Oh, stop, stop, stop. You've got a question. Just so I can we can put this question in lights now, my friend. You've got a question that no one's going to be able to answer. Well, yeah, I believe in evolution, and I believe that you won't be able to answer it. All right, go on then. What's your question? <laughs> So uh, the old adjective of, you know, your body is a temple, but also a museum. Um, our bodies are constantly evolving. And I've asked many, you know, different Christians or people that sort of uh, follow the Islamic faith as well regarding the tailbone. Um, and there's proof of evolution on our bodies regarding the tailbone. So what's the Islamic uh, uh, answer to that? So what is the question? I didn't get to the tailbone. I don't why, get... why, why, why do humans have a tailbone? Is that what you're asking? No, I don't think so. What's if your question? question? We have a tailbone. Rephrase your question, please. The proof of evolution is seen on our body. The proof okay. of evolution? Yeah, it's seen on our body. What do you mean by evolution? Just so we understand we're talking about the same thing here. Well, about how our bodies have evolved and how the human form has evolved over hundreds of years. So you, so just so I understand, I'm just trying to clarify everything you're saying first. Yeah. So are you saying that the proof of evolution that man evolved from some kind of monkey? Is that what you're saying? No, nope, didn't say monkey. So what's the tale about then? Why, why are you talking about a tailbone? What's the tale for? Who had the tail? Yeah. You need to rephrase the question. I'm sure, impl I'm sure you're implying monkey. <laughs> you <can> say it. <laughs> Ooh, come on, speak sense. I thought you were on here to speak some sense. Come on, brother. Come on. Well, yeah, answer, answer the question. I mean, you're throwing... Well, we're trying, to, we're, we're trying, trying to, to understand we're the trying question. to understand the question, <laughs> what you're asking us. Are you saying that this tail... You say we, are you saying we've got a tailbone or we had a tailbone? No, the tailbone has evolved. So, so we had a tail... What does that mean? So, 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 so if we look back at, I don't know, uh, old skeleton uh, ruins, for instance, the body of an old skeleton is different to how a body of a skeleton is let's say now and right but you know, I'm, so I'm, if, I'm, so... i want to zoom in, i want to zero in on this tailbone so are you saying we have a longer tailbone or a shorter tailbone now well it just keeps evolving evolving from what to what evolving from everyone who used to walk around like the hunch down of notting down to now everyone walking up straight <laughs> the, the hunchback of who uh notre dame Okay, the hunchback of Notre Dame. So you're saying everyone used to walk around like a hunchback because of this tailbone? Well, it just shows. Look, the the point is, is 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 it proves that there's no god. That, I mean, that's. <laughs> what I'm going to How did you jump to that? <laughs> How did you get to that? Seriously. <laughs> well, because oh because come on, because you know we can. Humans have a tailbone, therefore no god. No god. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Universe, <laughs> humans have a evolving tailbone, which means the universe caused itself. Carbon popped into existence, and and cells randomly mutated in such a way that everything became what it is. Come on, speak says. Even Richard Dawkins says evolution doesn't disprove the existence of God. So that's Richard Dawkins. I'm pretty sure you like Richard Dawkins. Do you believe in what he says? Of course, but it, but, but, but right, so but, Richard Dawkins but, says evolution, even if it's proven, doesn't disprove the existence of God. Do you know that? I do know that, yes, but there's right, but, but, but there's so no you're saying Richard is Dawkins God. is wrong, just no, so I understand. No, no, but there's no proof that there is God because obviously, no, 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 Okay, well, why are we mentioning Richard Dawkins for? I'll tell you why we're mentioning Richard Dawkins, because you're saying a t an evolving tailbone demonstrates God doesn't exist. Where okay. Richard Dawkins says single cell becoming human beings today doesn't disprove God exists. So 
you're saying Richard Dawkins is wrong by your claim that a evolving tailbone means God doesn't exist. Well, it's 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 not about that. I believe God doesn't exist. I just you just said that. that. It, 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 well, if you let me explain, it's not that I believe that God doesn't exist. It's just that it's just that I believe that um, you know, if you don't believe in God, you go to the hellfire. If this happens, you go to the. I mean, it, well, that's it, completely it, different. It's again, no, so speaking of the goalpost, no, so no, hold on a second, buddy. Hold on a second, buddy. What happened was you came on, you made a silly argument, you realized it, and now you're trying to go to something else. That's what yeah. just happened. Changing the topic now. You're just changing the topic. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just talking to you from my perspective of, of, of what I see. But listen, you got to understand the reason we're having this reaction is okay. We invited you on, you came on, and the first thing you said was, "I've got a question that nobody's going to be able to answer." First, the question didn't even make sense. Then, when we made sense of it, you made a ridiculous claim that because humans have an evolving tailbone, therefore there's no God. We point out how that doesn't follow. Hams is bringing up the uh, Richard Dawkins doesn't even believe that evolution as a whole, even if it's true, doesn't disprove God. And now you're trying to go on to hell and all these other different points because but your original links, question no, doesn't make sense, links, brother. Though. No, no, but it's all a link, though. No, it's, it's not. It's, it's not a link. It's of course not. It is because, the existence because, of hell is linked to evolution and tailbones? No, what are we talking no, but, about? No, but the point I'm saying to you is if you look at, for instance, uh, there's so many people that have come before us and so many people that have, you know, if you type into YouTube, for instance... <laughs> Um, 1917, I don't know, uh, Victorian times or Berlin or whatever, you get black and white old footage. And you could all, and you look, you look at all these people walking about. So because none of them people believed in Islam or believed in Christianity, they're all in hell now. Again, I mean, you're I mean, going to a different point. A what, happened, what, you're talking about? what happened to evolution and tailbones? Now you're going to... Oh, I believe that this point is a little bit more better, to be honest. Oh, oh mashallah. So you there you go. You backtrack. Okay. So speak sense. The only thing that seems to be evolving is your points and your question. <laughs> Nothing else. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, so at least quick, you're honest. I'll, 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 I'll tell you what we'll do, speak sense. I'll, I'll be generous with you. I'll let you move on to your new question once you concede your previous points were nonsense. I don't think it's nonsense. I just think that we've evolved. Nonsense. And... A, a, an evolving table. Okay. A, an evolving tailbone does not disprove the existence of God. Do you accept that? Well, somewhat. You mean yes? Okay, so we'll move along. All right, what would you like to deal with next? Which point yeah, so pick up to that? I wanted to ask a quick question to speak. I I assume you don't. I assume you don't believe in God. Are you an atheist or an agnostic? Is there an is there a chance of God existing or not existing, or is just pure like he doesn't exist? I just don't believe in religion. No, but my question no, that's was. Not the question. He's Did asking about God, who, not yeah. religion. Do you think there's there's an there's any chance that God exists for you in your worldview? Um, fifty fifty. Okay, what? so you you're an agnostic, what? so there, there's an option. There's there's some hope well, that 50 /50 you might believe hundred like percent at some point. You see, so let me let me ask you, where do you think before we go to evolution, you know, before man even existed, before any creatures existed, you know that the world, the universe, according to the scientists, is something like um, 14.8 billion years or something, 13.8 billion years. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So where do you think the universe came from, according to you? We don't know. None of us know. We don't know. Why, why, why is that? Why do you think such an important question no one knows? And you know about things like evolution, tailbones and stuff like that. You know, the most fundamental question is before anything, before any of us existed, this universe existed, you know, a lot of things in the universe existed. And if all of these, which are much more complex than us, do you think they just happen to exist by chance one day? Or do you think that something caused it to come into existence? That, that that's something which I just can't get my head around. No, no, I mean, what? what do you think logically? Do you think it could have come by itself? Do you think it could have come from nothing? Or do you think something caused it or someone caused it? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I think... What's someone... the most probable, I don't know, answer according to you? <clears throat> I, I, I think someone could have caused it, yes. Um, whether that be in uh, a, a creator or something else, I'm, I'm not too sure. 
Okay, so can we discount the other two options? One is it came from nothing, and the second it cost itself. Can we now say those are impossible? And then we just focus on this someone or something which cost it. Is that okay. fair? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because we know obviously nothing cannot cause it because nothing doesn't even exist. It's just a concept. Yes. So I would define nothing as a, the absence of everything. Okay. The other alternative would have been the universe caused itself. But that's like circular reasoning in a way. Because if the universe didn't exist, how can it cause itself? So we can uh, just say these two are something that uh, we cannot say it's, it's, it's possible even. Now, the other alternative, and I think the only possible, plausible alternative is that there was a being or some something, uh, you want to call it, I don't know, supernatural cause, whatever it is, yes? Or a designer, an intelligent designer, that's another, uh, what is a phrase we could use if you don't want to use the term God, because many people actually object to the term God for some reason, because for them, it carries some negative connotations. So either way, I mean, the, the, the term, you can, whatever suits you, let's say intelligent design, because the, the one who caused the universe has to be intelligent, yes? So if you, look, if you look at the universe, there's design from the macro to the micro. Yeah, look at the solar system, look at the atom. Yes, all of these things, they have some sort of a design in it. Yeah, so I not... know that, but then when you look at, for instance, yeah, I get that, but then when you look at, for instance, I don't know, mountains, or you look at trees and they grow out of everywhere. And then you look at the tailbones. No, but no, but no, but like if you're saying that everything's so perfect, then I didn't say perfect. I said it has a design. No, I said it. I said it's it's not something that is. No, but if the design is so perfect and we look around us, some things are not perfect. Some things do. Give an example. Go on. Give me an example. Even even a snowflake looks perfect to me. Yes, it looks like it's been designed perfectly such a symmetry in there show me something that is not designed i mean look if you but then how do we know that how do we know that how do we know that that's god and we don't know that it's well, we... something right. else is created can i just say something Hashim, if you don't mind yeah sure yeah go ahead all right because uh, i want to pick on his evolution flex um <laughs> speak sense talk to me about evolution how did it begin and how did, what is the process it's, from the beginning it's... No, no, no. It's 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 not so much the evolution thing that I'm stuck on. It's no, but I am. To... No, but I am. No, what I want to do. I say I want to point to you, supporting my brother Hashim, that the science of biology points towards intelligent designer. But how do we know it's God? That's what I'm saying. How do we know? No, that's different again. Look, look, look. No, if you're willing to concede, look, 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 look. Here's the thing. You see. What what I think we can do here, and I think we can do this. I think I think now you've calmed down with the question that no one could answer, which was actually not really a question at all. Um, I'm not surprised no one can answer it. But I think you've calmed down a little bit, and you're starting to think a little bit, which is cool. Now you said you're fifty fifty whether a creator exists. I'm pretty sure we can convince you right now on the stream that a creator does exist. Yeah, the fact that this universe couldn't exist without a creator. It couldn't have started without a creator. It couldn't have been processed without a creator. It wouldn't have had the materials to build everything without a creator. I think we can prove that to you right now. I think we can leave you with, posit that now. If you want to use the word God or creator or intelligent mind or whatever it is you want to say because you don't want to attach yourself to religion, it isn't a problem. But I think one thing you need to leave here with today is science is against you if you deny the existence of a creator all sciences physics chemistry biology all of them refute you and the 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 faith the absolute blind faith and absurd probabilities you have to wish are true in every science for this universe to be a product of random chance and you're gonna have to answer that question why you hold on to such absurd probabilities in the face of this so you talked about evolution and you're talking about a tailbone and this, that, and the other. I want to know how a single cell came from a sterile universe. That'd be an interesting. And I don't even mind. I don't even mind, right, giving you the cell. I'm going to give you the cell. How did it evolve? How did, how did it become something else from what it was? What is the process? And how did it happen? 
randomly. Okay, but see, I'm 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 thinking a little bit deeper than that, though, because for me, deeper than that. Yeah, because 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 for me, if you look at, for instance, um, what everyone believes, and you know, people that believe in God, for instance. Yeah, that um, it speaks sense. No, 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 but it's, no, but it, no but it's not about. No, but it's got that. nothing to do with what I just asked that's you. That's what it is, though. We all no, have our own no, it's reality. Not. No, it's yes, not. Do, the question though. I just asked you, the question I just asked you, has nothing to do with God in the sense of religion. No prophets, no holy books, nothing. Simple science. How did it happen? We don't know. No, look up abiogenesis. Yeah, but we it's, don't we, know. We, 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 we do know, according to the scientists. No, here's the thing you see. It isn't don't what? know. It isn't a don't know. It isn't a don't know. It's asserted in science, in naturalism. It happened randomly. You don't say don't know. You say it just happened randomly. You can say we don't know how the randomness occurred, but they believe it's just random. Even though you can't demonstrate randomness actually exists. Because just because you don't know how, why something does something doesn't make it random. But anyhow, this don't know, it doesn't. It's a, pre, it's a presupposition that you have to hold if you believe in evolution is the idea that somehow this single cell came into existence from what we don't know and then morphed into something else yeah. randomly. I, I get that, and I might have mistaken myself earlier when I turned around and spoke about the evolution bit a little bit. I, I think so. So I, yeah. I, I, I get the point. The point that I was trying <laughs> to say is, I, I, I went for a stage of my life recently where I basically, this sounds um, very strange, but uh, I literally just looked at myself and said, What am I? Like, what, what, what is, like, what is this? Like, what are we in here? And it sort of drove me a little bit crazy, to be honest with you. And, and, and I looked at sort of the religion side of things and then the hellfires and then you do good, you go heaven. And it just this era of things just sort of confused me a little bit to think, you know, what, yeah, yeah, what that will is confuse this? you. I'll, I'll tell you what you need to do. Seriously. See, religion is connecting to this creator. If you don't believe the creator exists and the religion is moot because it's just, it's pointless when it talks about God and angels and this and that, as far as you're concerned, it doesn't exist. Once you concede something supernatural, something necessary exists outside of the universe, then you can say, well, what is that thing? And then you can ask yourself, how would you know what this thing is? And the only way you could know what this thing is, is through revelation or from it, that thing, that necessary being revealing its nature and the purpose of why created and all of these things, yeah? It's the only way you could possibly do it. There's no other way to do it. But you have to get to that stage first. Yeah, you have to get to that stage where you just have to say, you know what? I cannot buy into the absurdity of the probabilities you're asking me to concede for this universe to be a random event. So for example, I'll give you an example of, um, Jake will probably correct me anyway, um, fine tuning. Yeah, so we'll go to the uh, we'll go to the uh, science of physics. Fine tuning the way that we have a universe today. The probabilities it was that way and not any other way. Do you know what the probability is? No, no. I'm going to give you this example that I read the other day. If you were to take a subatomic particle from our universe and paint it blue, yeah, and then you were to hide that subatomic particle somewhere in the universe. And then I was to give you a put blindfold you and give you the ability to go anywhere in the universe to find this subatomic particle. Yeah. You are 10 billion times more likely to find that subatomic particle than this universe to be random the way it is. That's the probability. It's absurd. But because you only someone only concedes a natural explanation, you still have to go with that absurdity. Instead of just holding your hands up and saying, you know what? I can't do that. <laughs> My mind's not going to accept that. Yeah, but there I, must I, be I, something. There must be something. I don't know what, but there must be something that deliberately made the universe the way it is. There yeah, must but, be uh, something. Yeah, there must be. But then, but then, you know, for us to do what? Basically, just, just, just basically submit and be servants. Then slaves. But right? why? <laughs> why? Why? No, why? Look, look, look. Forget asking... religion again. No, right now, religion, but I, no, but it's interesting to know why. Like, what's the point of it all? Yeah, but speak sense. At that point, you're no longer an atheist, buddy. Exactly. You know, you've become a theist. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're you're a theist, and, and one thing I just want to interject, Hamza. I don't want to beat up uh, on you too much. Uh, no, beat up, beat up, No, no, not on you. On on speaks. Oh, oh, okay, okay, sorry. Because okay, in in the beginning, <laughs> in the beginning, he came on and said, "I've got this question or argument," and he said, "It disproves God." And then when we asked him about Hashem, asked him about God and his worldview, he said he's 50-50. Well, how did you go from disproving God to 50-50 in about five minutes? And like Hamza said, maybe if he stayed here for a full hour, by the end of it, you'd be 100 to zero. I don't know. 10 minutes, mate. 10 I mean, minutes, mate. Yeah, 10 minutes because, we don't need an hour. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is he went from zero to 50-50 in like 10 minutes. Uh, see, I don't, I don't think what well, it is. Well, I don't what, think that's the issue. What, yeah, what what what's wrong with being confused? I mean, I mean, I'm just I saying nothing, nothing's wrong with being being confused, brother. But I'm just saying that it it does strike me as a bit strange that you just kind of flipped like a light switch. And, 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 and yeah, go ahead, right. brother. Carry on, Jake, and then I'll. Can, can I'll I just say something, Jake? Though he did take one of them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He did take I, a I, get, I get that, and and he did give his background story. It sounds like there's there's something else going on, and uh, I can understand that. But I'm just pointing it out because if that's the case, I'm just cautioning you to just think about some of these things that we're saying a bit more deeply. Also, another thing um, speaks sense is um, you were confused about another matter as well. Because I think a lot of atheists, especially in the West, when they come from a Christian background, they somehow paint all religions with the same brush as Christianity. Because there's certain verses of the Bible, such as where Jesus says that um, nobody can get to the Father but through me. So that was interpreted that whoever has not been baptized is going to hell. So every non-Christian throughout history, some who have never even heard of Christianity are all going to hell. But Islam doesn't teach that. So when you were speaking about Victorian times and then people in Victorian times never heard of Islam, they're all going to hell. That's not the case in Islam. So you're confused on that as well. Okay. 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 So I advise you to just um, research Islam from proper sources and that, and maybe I'll cl clarify a lot of your matters for you. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Hey, Kuthman. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum. Salam wa rahmatullah. Habibi. How are you doing? How your brothers been? Mashallah, man. I miss you guys. Alhamdulillah. I think this guy needs some information from you now as well, my brother. Have you been listening to him? No. Speak says, uh, what's your name, man? I hate calling people by these kind of names. What's your name, my friend? Perry. 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 All right. So, Pe so Perry here, he came on with a point about uh, evolving tailbones, which he realized straight away, backtrack, job done. It, 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 it's a non-starter. So no problem, no problem. Um, and now, you, now he's like a 50-50 kind of... Uh, I think he's actually moved off 50. You must be off 50-50 now by all this evidence being presented to you, surely. Can't start with 50-50 with the science of biology and physics. I can throw chemistry in if you like and start talking about yeah. carbon. But then it's a game over. Then you just got to concede it. Because Hamza even said there must be something when you were saying... Yeah, exactly. About, so, honestly, you're, you're no longer an atheist. At that so point. you accept the existence of a creator, don't you, uh, Perry? Yeah, or I something? Just, I... I've always come in and out of things like this. It's, it's, it's just cool. been an in and out situation. We'll, we'll lock you in, mate. Don't worry about that because we'll intellectually put lock it in. And if you want to come out of it, you'll only come out of it through emotion. And that's fair enough. But if, intellectually, you will not be able to leave. But but I just I just I just find it hard to understand. Uh, um, maybe there's some questions that would always leave my mind to, to blankness. I just find it hard to understand of why. Like, for instance, are we so are we here to just be slaves? That's it. I mean, what after that? So, so Perry Mason, let's take it back a step, right? Let's uh, <laughs> let, let's look at an investigation style on here, right? First, I can you feedback from someone? Yeah, who is that? Um, Somebody's mic on. I'm, I'm, I've been muted, so it's not me. Do it again? Oh, it just, it's, it's gone now. So yeah, it's gone now. Yeah. Must be speak sense. Get... I think it's speak sense. I think it's yeah. his thing. Oh, okay, Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, Shay. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Perry, so um, l l let's take it like an investigation, right? Uh, before we get into why and what's the purpose of life, which inshallah today we'll get into. Don't worry. I'm not going to avoid your question. First thing, is there a creator? Because it's kind of putting like the cart before the horse kind of a thing when you start getting into like why hijab and why pray and why this and when when we don't really understand that what's the source of that if the source is true then there's no why because our creator made us that way right but let, let's take it back a step right 
Do you know what the minimum gene concept is? Uh, no, I haven't heard of it. Right. So uh, if you look at the genome and if you look at the any species, even single cell organisms and so on, they need a minimum set of genes to function, right? To be able to reproduce and all of that for the next uh, to take on. And if you take the idea of, and, and again, I work uh, in the med device industry with, uh, you know, a lot of atheists and, and, you know, we've had discussions many times, PhD scientists and all that. If you take the idea of there being no God, then you would have to say that things came from nothing, meaning that there was either a single gene at best or so on, and, and no living organism could function with that and let alone reproduce and develop, right? So that would mean scientifically, you would have to say that there was a original creation, even if you say it was like a cell or something, I'm not, I'm not going to Adam and Hawa yet, right? Because we as Muslims believe there were creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before uh, Adam and Hawa alayhum as salam, right? So, so if there was the original creation that at minimum had, and I believe the last minimum that we were looking at from a scientific perspective that can be tested is about 480, right? So that would mean there would have to be somebody that designed that for it to be there. You feel me, Perry? Yep, yep, I understand so far, yep. I don't want to put you to sleep, so, all right. So, Perry, before we go forward, if we do answer all this, are you ready to become Muslim? Or are you just here for entertainment? No, I'm not here for entertainment. I'm here to learn. I mean, okay. at the end if of the day, so here, and we can prove it to you from the fact that there is a creator and that that creator sent messages and the last of messages was the message of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Then will you will accept, right? You're not just going to be stubborn about it, right? Because I don't see you as a stubborn person. I see you as a very a sincere person. Yeah, no, but I've just you, 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 but there's, there's there's other questions that I have though. With Great. Regards so to if we if we answer your questions, all your questions today on this show, inshallah, right? Then you're ready to become Muslim, though, right? Just, if we answer, them, why would you not? I just need to just work it out for myself in my head. All right. That's so fair. let's work it out together. All right. So if there is a minimum set of genes needed, if, if we know that there was a design needed that had to have been developed at a certain level, it wasn't just from nothing developed up, as scientists, scientists are telling us as well, then you would have to believe that there is a creator, right? Are we, are we good with that so far? Yeah, we're good with that, yeah. Okay, so you do believe there is a creator? Yeah, the the problem for me is 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 not not believing that there's a creator or believing if there is a creator. The the, the problem I have is, um, why? Why is there a creator? No, but why are we? You know, why are we here? Yeah. Okay. So, so let, let's get to that stage two then, right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةَ لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا That he is the one, uh, يعني, after the praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who created death and life, meaning this whole purpose that we have like in this worldly life, which is called death, and the hereafter, which is the real life, to see which one of you puts forward the best deeds. So this life is a test. All right? So, you know, like, uh, do, you have, do you have a degree? You, no, yeah, I have a degree. Yep, yep, yep. What kind, what kind of degree do you have? Uh, business studies. Ah, excellent. Bachelor's, master's, PhD? Uh, bachelor's. <laughs> okay. So when you were in high school, what we call high school, I think you guys call them A-levels or O-levels or Z-levels. I don't know. Right? Um, uh, GCC. But yeah. GCC, whatever, right? So in your GCC, you had a series of tests. And when you pass those tests, then you were able to go to uni, right? As you guys call it, uni, right? Mm -hmm. Right? And then in uni, yeah. you already you also had a series of tests, right? Yeah. Did you pass those tests to get your degree? Assuming you oh, did. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. But right. what you're, but, but, you, but what you're going to say is that this... The hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Perry, don't get ahead of me. Don't, don't think what I'm going to say. Stay with me, all right? We're going to stay on the same level. During that test, in your in your uni, did you ever tell check, talk to the one who was conducting the test and said, "Hey, why are we even having a test?" Mm, no. Did you? 
No, you didn't. No. Right? Instead, what did you do? You prepared for that test, and during the examination hall time, I mean, I don't know, it's probably online nowadays, but right, you were like writing and thinking and focused, and you were trying not to get distracted so you can do the best score you can. So then you can get to your goal of having a degree, and then inshallah from that, having a good job and white picket fence in America, whatever like that, right? So mm -hmm. Allah created us. He is our creator. He's our master. He is the one, if, if Allah chose, we would not exist. Okay? And Allah mm -hmm. puts signs within us, like within our body, within and in the environment around us to show that there is a creator. But out of his mercy, then he went forward and sent messengers, right? You know, Adam and Moses and Abraham and Jesus and Muhammad, peace and blessings upon all of them. So he can educate mankind what the purpose of their life is. And as I recited the verse in the Quran, in the last of those messages in the Quran, he clearly told us, right? And he did in the earlier scriptures as well, as the earlier prophet said, said as well, don't worship idols, don't worship, don't worship your own self, you know, your own desires, control yourself, live a good life, you know, stay within these boundaries, don't drink, don't eat pork, as we see in the earlier scriptures and also in the Quran and so on. And you have prayers and fasting and all of that. And this is all a test for you to then make your place in the Jannah, in the paradise, in the final destination where you want to get to and I want to get to and we should all want to get to. Right? Now, you can deny it. It's up to you. You can be like, there is no creator. There is no examination hall. There is no university. It doesn't it, exist. And I don't need to take a test. It's up to you. If so, but yeah, yeah, no, where no, no that makes sense. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. It's... It, it's not that I deny it. It's it, well, why would I not want to believe in something like that? Because I don't know. I, I agree with yeah, you. I, mean, I, I believe. No, no, but, yeah, no. But what I what I find what I sort of deny is that uh, look. No, I'm not saying that some people drink alcohol or do do whatever they want to do because because they just want to do it right because they they yeah. just enjoy doing it because of their desires. But then. A lot of people are generally like they're so depressed, so depressed on how this world is that mm -hmm. you know the they don't well, know what getting to drunk do is going to make the world better. Well, well, not, not better but they, but out of stress, and, out of stress, Perry, they just self destruct themselves. So Perry, it's so can I just ask, it's a, can I just ask a question for you? Can I just ask a question to you, Perry? If you don't mind, yeah, it, it's to do with your whys and this, that, the other. I'm not going to go too much, uh, Sheikh. Um, you know this creator that exists, that created everything, that we're kind of positing exists, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Would that creator not be the source of supreme guidance for his creation? Yeah. And would it not also be the source of objective morality for his creation? Well, yeah, you would say that, yeah, if, he, if he's... Yeah. Right. So, so if you could connect to that creator then that way of life that you'll get from that creator will be the most supreme guidance you could ever receive. And also you will have the source of objective morality that you can measure right and wrong against. Do you get me? So this, this, this is um, one thing I wanted you to put in your mind as to sometimes we don't know what's best for us. Like you say, these depressed because we're getting drunk and whatever. Yeah. You're like, um, I'll just use the last example. My daughters, I've got a young daughter. She needs, advice from me my eldest one doesn't need that same advice because she's more she can comprehend danger more than the little one then my elder one needs advice from me because she can't comprehend danger i comprehend where's my advice who do i look to who's going to give me um advice for danger i can't comprehend so i can't look to my leaders because they're telling me go drink but don't drink too much and go gamble and do this and do that and marry whom you like and do what you like. They don't, they don't care about my health. They don't care about my mental health and my well-being. Yeah. And the beautiful thing is, you see, your creator has no vested interest as to whether or not you follow his guidance or not. It, it's for your benefit. So you don't do the, the creator any favor by doing what he says. You do yourself a favor. And that's what Islam is. That's why the Sheikh is inviting you to that. He's inviting because you're lost right now and you know you are, Perry. And Christianity ain't going to give you the answers. Yeah. And certainly Hinduism and Sikhism isn't going to give you the answers. And Judaism as an ethno religion is not going to give you the answers. 
And yeah. atheism is not going to give you the answers. They're just going to give you don't knows, YOLO. Yeah. The only one who can give you answers is the one who created you. And he can give you guidance in this life. And inshallah, when you die, the next life. SubhanAllah. Anyway, just want to say that. Go on, carry on, Sheikh. So, Perry, so, I mean, think, think about what you just said, right? You said you, you made a beautiful statement, right? Which is you said some people go into self destruction mode and they drink and it's out of depression and all of that, right? But but that's the whole point. That's why drinking is not allowed because you shouldn't destroy yourself, right, Perry? Yep. So, you don't, I mean, don't you see the wisdom of our creator in forbidding us from drinking, from stopping us from destroying ourselves? Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, okay, I don't... good. So you see the wisdom in that. All right. So we got we got the belief in God. We got the we got the why uh, out of the way. It's a test. This life is a test. We were in another life before this, which is called Alam Arwah, when we were souls. Then the life in the womb of the mother. Then the life that we are living in now, and then the life of the hereafter is the final destination. Okay. Now the question is: If you believe in a creator and you do believe that there is a purpose to life, right? And, and you see the wisdom in the rules that the creator has legislated, the sharia. So now, the only thing left is for you to submit. D did you create yourself, Perry? Did you, did you choose when to be born? It's muted. I muted you, Terry, uh, Perry, because you're getting uh, feedback. Uh, sorry? D did you choose when to be born? No. Did you choose where to be born? No, I didn't choose Did anything. That, that, that's that's exactly. the whole point. That's why it's very Perfect. hard to deal with it. That's the point. Your creator chose for you and he gave you a guidance. In some things you have no choice, like where you were born, what color eyes you were born with, what gender you were born with, believe it or not, that's not a choice. Uh, you know, whatever else that you have in your life, that's not a choice. Your, Allah created you that way. Right, but you will not be held accountable for that. I mean, whether you were born in Arabia or China or Norway doesn't really matter, right? But now, what you are accountable for is the choices you make. So, Perry, now you have a choice today. Allah wrote for you to be here. You're not here on accident, all right? Many people were in the backstage, and many people wanted to be on here. Allah chose it for you. And the questions you had, Allah chose this panel to clarify for you, right? And alhamdulillah, the brothers, before I even came on, clarified all these things, changed your views. Now, the choice that you will be held accountable for, Perry, is do you accept or do you become staunch and prideful and deny your creator? Right? This is the test of this life. This is the purpose of this life, that test. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I understand that. I understand so now, that. you already said you believe in a creator, right? So we're good on Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. You believe there's one creator. You don't believe he's like a monkey or you know, a cow or a blue guy or something like that, right? No, no, no. It's it's not that. It's, it's just okay. like what I, you what do I find. You do believe in one creator. Let's just take it step by step. I don't want to go in a loop, right? So you do believe in one creator, right? <sighs> I'm not sure if if how if, are you not if, sure? So, so we talked about the design of the of human beings and, and how you didn't choose to be here. How look, look at your body, look at how complex it is, look at how beautifully functioning uh, your love, liver, your kidneys. Have you ever had any kind of disease? You, you will feel the value of parts of your body that you may not have known existed, right? So who designed all that? Yeah, I, I get that, but a lot of people. The, a lot of people in, in a lot of people that you see in the world like not I'm not saying everyone but the majority of people let's say well, let's say 30 40 percent of people they just they just don't believe in anything when you speak to them people okay. they, don't, they, they don't even think about this stuff a lot of people are morons like a lot of people are foolish a lot of people make bad mistakes a, a, a big number of people believe things that are incorrect I mean I've been to countries where they have very strange uh, beliefs that we can clearly prove to be not true in a scientific environment and so on. Does that make it a, a hindrance for you to believe? No, but sometimes I wake up okay. in the mornings, for instance, and 
like some days I wake up and I feel good and some days I wake up and I don't feel so good. I might have a headache or I might have all of us are like back that. pain or whatever. <laughs> like of course why why would God put me through all this? Like like what's Excellent. the reason for that? Excellent. That's a great question. This life is a test. So when you were in your uni, that's why I gave the example and you were sitting in the examination hall or you were taking your finals or whatever, it was stress, right? It wasn't easy. But 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 what's what's if, if I'm not I'm not trying to like I'm just asking the question just so I can learn honestly uh -huh. like so so say if I get a really bad migraine mm -hmm. all I want to do is go sleep I'm not learning anything that's not a test sure. I'm just I, I'm just so it seems but like it that's is. like just but it is and let me explain it the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has told us about this right migraines especially right but before I go to those ahadith and I will. The point is, if you didn't have that, if you didn't have those hardships in life, many people would take this life to be paradise. They would take it to be the final destination, but it's not. This is a passing phase, right? And that's what wakes people up, right? People get lost in their desires. If every day you woke up, you felt great, and you were totally healthy, and you never got sick, and you partied, and you just enjoyed every kind of pleasure, you would get lost in your own desires. There would be never any, if I go up to somebody who, who's never had a headache in their life, who's never felt any kind of weakness, they think of themselves to be like God. Right? They start thinking themselves, I don't need God. I don't need anybody. No, 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 no. I'm a self-made man. No, no. Right? But when you get a headache, it humbles you. It makes you realize you're not God. Right? I'll give you an example. Right, Perry? From personal life. Right? I was going to college here in San Diego. And there was a sect here called the 5%. I don't know if you guys have heard of them, but they're like... I've heard of them. All right. Unfortunately, you've heard of them. All right. So these guys walk around saying that man is Allah. Black man only, not white. Sorry, Hamza. Um, they say that you have to be black man and you're then you're God, right? And then the whole 95% or no, on the 5%, blah, blah, blah. I met one of them, right? And I asked him, I told him, so you're saying you're God? He goes, yeah, I'm God. I'm like... You're God. He goes, yeah, I'm God. I told him, if you get tired, what happens? Right? And he's like, what? You get tired? Yeah. You fall asleep. So who runs the universe? Other gods. All right. If you're God, you can do anything. I can do anything. I'm God. You can do anything. Make it rain. Couldn't make it rain. Right? Me and him were in the same class. He failed. <laughs> uh, all right. When when he got a result, so how'd you do? He goes, yeah, I failed. I gotta retake it. I was like, you're God. How did you fail? Right? Make yourself make yourself pass. Right? See, you see, those weaknesses have to be with us. Those hardships, those reminders for us to know we're not perfect. We're not God. We are in need of an Allah to take that headache away from us. We are in need of an Allah to cure us. You know, we talk about coronavirus and things, and of course, we take our precautions. But there are people that locked themselves in quarantine the whole time and got sick, right? You realize there is a creator. Right? It's two people, same healthy, same kind of health profile. One gets sick and dies, one doesn't, right? It's the will of Allah. And Allah has given us all a fair chance. None of us would be wronged, right? But the question now is, Perry, when knowing all of this, do you accept and submit yourself? And if you do, then as the Prophet ﷺ told us that nothing befalls a believer except that it's good for him, right? And this is for the believer, right? When he gets a, a, a hardship, it takes away his sins. When he is in ease, he praises Allah, it raises his ranks. Even the prickling of a thorn. In another narration, the Prophet ﷺ, he was, some, somebody told him, I've never had a headache. He said, you're not from us. He goes, because the believer, he goes through his hardships, he has these reminders, right? So to understand that, that this is... A life, this is a life that reminds you. Many times, I can tell you from personal experience, you get so busy with this and that and work and child, children and this and that. And then you get sick and it just makes you focus. It makes you push those things away and realize your priorities. I'll give you an example, Perry. Let's say you got a really important meeting and you got this and you got a, a really good looking girl that wants to go out on a date with you and all that as a non-Muslim thing, right? And then you get a headache. And then you can't do any of that. And then you realize the value of not having a headache. Right, Perry? Yeah, uh, yeah it's happened to me. Yeah, of course. Okay, so you ready for Shahada, Perry? Answer yeah, my question. 
I, I appreciate it, guys. I'm, I, I, obviously, you've got other people on as well. I don't want to take too Just much. turn your, your volume up a little bit, uh, Perry. Yeah, yeah. Quiet. Yeah. I, I appreciate it. Like I said, I, I don't want to take too much time um, because you've, you've got other people as well. I just um, I need to go away and basically just just do some basic right, research. Yeah, I've got a prescription and re -watch for this you. video and just write notes down right, and Perry, things like that. Terry, Terry, I got a prescription for you. Write this down. All right. I'm like a doctor for you today. All right. You feel me? OK. First prescription tonight before you go to sleep. Turn to your creator, not Jesus, not Gaumata, Gugu Gaga, Gagandi, or, you know, Shakti or anything. Turn to your one creator, the ones that created you, Allah, and ask, oh Allah, guide me to the truth. Set. No, that's not it. Hold on. That's the first prescription. You got it? You got it, Perry? Yep. Perry, you got it? Yep. Okay. You, you, your volume's going to get made. Yep, right. yep. Second prescription. Get a Quran. If you don't have one, contact Hamza. He'll get you one. I'm volunteering you, Hamza. Sorry. All right. So mm -hmm. uh, get a Quran. Read it. If you can't get a Quran, go online, Quran.com. Read it. Just start. No, no, get a Quran. Perry, right. can you contact me on um, Facebook or email? Yep, yep. Have you got a pen handy? Uh, yep. All right. Just take down my email. Hamza's Den for at gmail.com that's Hamza's the second prescription. okay third prescription and, this is the last one okay and if you send me a message i'll send you a quran no problem and see, any I'll answering have, questions you got see hamza's such a nice guy allah bless you hamza. i try all right so the last prescription brother zakir hussein hashim from dawah wise jake the metaphysician hamza hamza's den one message foundation write down these names look up these youtube channels and watch the videos watch the interactions a lot of questions that you may still have are already going to be answered on those videos so you can then get past that and inshallah inshallah by the will of allah we we will all be making dua for you and you will be making supplication for yourself inshallah within a few days if not a week inshallah you'll be back on hamza's den taking your shahada yeah so i'll give you one last piece of advice uh, perry islam is the only th way, only thing in your life, I am guarantee you this, that can settle your mind and soul. Nothing else can. Nothing else but will allow your mind to relax. Because as an atheist, your mind can't relax. You either don't know, or you're, you're, you're grasping onto absurd probabilities for things to be, yeah? Um, as a Christian, you can't have that um, belief scrutinized too much because it just collapses, yeah? Only Islam allows you to have the spiritual freedom as well as the mental freedom, as well as the body guidance, you know, just the health side. And this, I, I guarantee you, this is, even though, you, you know, you're thinking Islam is this, that, the other, if you just think of Islam in its purest form, trust me, this is what you've been searching for. Trust me. Forget all of what you think Islam is, but this, this satisfaction of the soul is just something else, as well as the guidance and the well-being. Because you ain't going to live forever, mate. You're going to die one day. Do you know what I mean? And and as a Muslim, I accepted Islam nearly 20 years ago now, 20 years in October. And alhamdulillah, contentment of the soul is something else. Contentment of the mind, you know, the mind. The, so you're 100% just think. convinced then? And of course I am, man. 100%. So the mind, I, I'm a Muslim 20 years. My mind, alhamdulillah, has been free to question and examine and just got stronger and stronger and stronger. Yeah, just as you know, like for example, atheists used to say, Oh, don't worry, science doesn't know now, but in the future, it will know. Well, no, the more you discover about science, the more you realize there must be something that's caused all of this. And you know, the beautiful thing is, you see, when we look to the universe, this is why I took you to the universe, to physics, yeah, and the, and the origination of the universe, and I took you to DNA, I took you to the single cell, because Allah says, In the heavens above and within themselves, there are signs for those who, who contemplate. And reflect these are evidences that you didn't create yourself and we're not a product of chance we're deliberately here for a purpose just get on it and not that much is going to change in your life in reality some certain things that you thought you did for gratification they may get inhibited yeah so if you like to drink of course as Muslims we don't drink why because it's no good for you <laughs> it's going to harm you 
and even in moderation it could become an excess in if, a, if there's a bereavement or you lose your job or something or else it's an escapism islam beautiful thing about islam and our creator he knows what leads to these things and cuts them off at the pass so you can't even get there so trust me i'm telling you perry you this is what you've been seeking this confusion you've got will just disappear dissipate it'll be gone the clarity will set in and you and you'll have purpose you'll have direction and um you, the, you won't be in and out you know this in and out flex it's gone mate subhanallah once you submit and surrender to your creator life is just let's go let's have it you're on a journey you're part of a family you've got support you've got brothers and sisters around the world allah akbar you, you, you know, we, human beings, we're social creatures. We, we need to be with other people who are like-minded. Do you get me? When you try to do things on your own, you become a bit of a loner or you can become a bit weird, if you like, because you, you're trying to make decisions for yourself. You don't have to. The creators, I've got you. This is one thing Jordan M said to me. When I, I don't know if you know Jordan M. He was one brother, I give shahada, mashallah, about three years ago now, alhamdulillah. And he said to me, I realized one thing that, it didn't matter what happened in my life. I knew Allah's got my back. Wow. It had that security, whatever was going on. You know, whether it's upheaval of relationship, whatever it may be. Because Allah's got my back. Allah's not what's good for me. Allah says in the Quran, whatever you give of my sake, I'll replace it with better. When I become a Muslim, I lost everything overnight. I walked, I, I've told this story so many times. I lost everything. My girlfriend, my daughters, my business, my family, my friends, everything overnight. And subhanAllah, within three and a half months, I was in Morocco getting married. Been a Muslim now 19 years. I've got everything back. Friends became brothers. The pub became the mosque. Um, it's just another level. Do you get me? But the, the shaitan, the devil is your enemy. Because if you believe in God, believe me, the devil exists. And he's assaulting you daily and he's dragging you down and demoralizing you and trying to make life's not worth it. And if he can, he'll get you to kill yourself. He'll, he'll get you to become a nihilist so much that what's the point? What's the point of anything? Do you know what I mean? One of the biggest killers among men. Suicide. Yeah. Because they get to this point. Well, what's it all about? What's the purpose? They can't find the answer to those questions. And then the only answer they get is, oh, we don't know. Well, that doesn't help them. But the beautiful thing about Islam, it will feed your soul. And your soul needs feeding as much as your body needs feeding. Trust me, bro. I'm telling you. This is what you're seeking. Just keep on this path. Ask me the questions. Send me the messages. Any question you got, just keep asking. But don't delay too long, bro. Because death is coming for all of us. All right. Take care, Perry. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Take care. Nice guy. Beautiful. Yeah. I like how you know. never thought it was going there, though, did you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Not based on the way he started off, brother. He came... <laughs> the way he came he... in. Yeah. The way he came in, I've got a question that none of you can answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the arena. <laughs> yeah. and, he le and he left without having a question. What does that teach us not to judge a book by its cover? So it doesn't matter what kind of nonsense questions you ask, we can always make sense of no, but, he, but he still needed to drag it through the hedge a little bit. Yeah, they, he they did, he did. Yeah. maybe he's confused, you know. The, the, that's the reason he came here in the first place. Maybe that that's question it. he had I think in it his was. head might yeah. be confusing him. It was. So it was. People are seeking these answers, yeah, and you can't get it anywhere. We, and then they're thinking all religion is the same. And then, you know, Christianity makes no sense when you start thinking about it. If you think all religions are the same as Christianity, yeah. that's that. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that's what Christian said, yeah. because, you know, many of these atheists, they come from a Christian background yeah. and they bring that baggage with them. Yes, And then they completely. try to judge every religion, every ideology, every faith out there <laughs> by what I they mean, had uh, in the past atheists, in Christianity. Yeah. Most atheists that we run into at, at the Dawah table on the street and stuff, their problem is not with religion, it's with Christianity. Yeah, right? it's, it's Almost, the baggage they have, yeah. It's exactly. the baggage they have, yeah. I mean, the, the discussions of church and abuse and all that, it, it's all Christianity related. So, yeah, true. I'm the love right. Let's bring on the next guest, Elchin Khidorov. Khidorov. Oh, you run. <laughs> okay. Um, who have we got here? John Morcos. I'm trying to find a Christian so we can like mix it up. We don't want to keep getting mashing up atheists. Someone called Godless World. I, I think he's an atheist. So <laughs> I, know. I got Rob here, but uh, anyway, here's John. Oh, he's, <laughs> I think this guy's a Christian. <laughs> Eastern oh, guys, can you hear me? Could be like a Sufi. No, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> how you doing, mate? I'm good. How are you guys? 
Fantastic. Um, so I really wanted to thank you guys. I've been watching you. And, um, so yes, I, I am Christian. But um, Sheikh Osman, you gave a great sermon. And I uh, really appreciate everything you said. Um, I mean, I disagree on, on the, 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 the Shahada part and the end part. But honestly, um, I've been watching um, Cosmic Skeptic. And I don't know if you've heard of him. Uh, I would okay. You might want to look him up. He's he's a really yeah. good um, atheist. That <laughs> he needs somebody. Somebody needs to talk to him. But no, um, no, he no, gets spanked no. all the time. Is, is, is this a joke? Because you say no, 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 no. I'm 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 no, no. I'm 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 Christian, and I'm I'm. Oh, no, I, I know you're Christian, but I'm studying apologetic. Right. I'm sorry. Uh, I, uh, first thing, I just wanted to say, I appreciate the compliment. And as a theist, or at least somebody who does believe in a creator, I appreciate that we can agree on that part. That's good. We can work out some of the kinks later, inshallah, uh, for your shahada, but inshallah. then we'll worry about that later. But, but in the, <laughs> I in agree. the meanwhile, yes, good. Sir. He's good. In the meanwhile, think about atheists. One of the funniest things about atheists, it's a very difficult thing to say a good atheist. Because, you know, like as a Christian, you have a set of morals that you, that you judge good and bad by, right? We as Muslims have the divine code from the Quran that tells us the good and bad as well. But as an atheist, what makes somebody good? You know, I didn't funny. mean good versus bad. Oh, I, I meant I, I meant I, I, good I, I, as I in a, a good debater. He, um, I, he, I, uh, he he's he's well he's well read. That's what I meant. I don't and I don't want to waste your time. I'm sorry. John, can we just deal with the elephant in the room? No One more time. Can serious. we just deal with the elephant in the room? Sure, go ahead. What elephant? Why are you, why are you a Christian? <laughs> oh, um, can, I'm here to ask questions, but I'm, I'm, I guess I have to answer questions now. Yeah, oh, no, that's fine. Right. Go ahead, John. Go ahead. What's your um, question? So, well, I, I, Sheikh Osman, you, you actually said just said that there's a lot of stuff, but we are both TS, and there's a lot of stuff that we agree agree yeah. on. And I wanted to, because I have a theory that the okay. main difference between um, uh, Islam and Christianity, and I'm trying to talk about Sunni Islam, and I'm so just specifically going to talk. I mean, just yeah. so we can keep on the same page. Uh, yeah. We're not going to get into Sunni, Shia, Wahhabi, Qadi. No, 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 no. no. There's only one Islam. Okay, that's Islam. fine. That's fine. Islam, no worries. I mean, just, just My question the is. Of the viewers. So hold on. Just, just for the benefit of the viewers. Yeah. What Allah revealed in the Quran. What the Prophet والسلام, showed us, this is Islam. That's it. All right, go ahead. All right, thank you. So my theory is that everything the, the Christianity and Islam differ, it stems from one thing. There's, there's many issues. Uh, Trinity is one of them, Jesus. and But my theory is it comes down to the original sin. sin. And I wanted to ask, from your point of view, or from Islam's point of view, I understand Christianity's point of view of original sin. Why? Um, what do you think about the original sin, and what's what's your take on the Christianity view of of it? Why the Christianity view is wrong, or if I'm a Muslim brother, so, yeah, so that kind of question. So go ahead. So, all right, Sheikh, Sheikh, just let just let Hashim and Zaki have a go, and then. So I was going to say the same thing. I was, I was going to say, if you don't mind, oh, okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. I, would, I would like if our brother Hashim and uh, Zakir, who are better than me, inshallah. I'd love to hear Zaki talk about uh, original sin, as if it's yeah, a thing. either one of them or both of them. Yeah, inshallah. I second that. Let Zakir go, ahead. <laughs> oh, okay, then. Uh, well, I'm not the expert on Christianity, but I'll give it a go. <laughs> where do you where do you get the idea that um, there's original sin in the Bible? That's my first let question. Me, where did you get original let me, sin let, from? Let, let, let me refer. It's, it's not. Um, um, it's not. It's not. I'm going to talk less about religious. Um, um, let me. I'm, I'm trying to get a rational um, discussion I, I, I think, or more philosophical discussion. My question was. It's not about where I get it from. My question is the fall of Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve were kicked out. That's the point. That's the question being asked you, though. Yes. Yeah, so that's, but why, that's why my, qu believe, my question. My question is. No, 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 hold on. My question is, what's the, your view, what happened in that scenario and that we say, Christians say the original sin was carried, Islam says the original sin was not carried. Right, so right, I want right. you to explain to me, I want you to explain to me that what, when, when Adam and Eve sinned or fell, that story here that it's described in the Quran, 
what happened there and why was this not sin just just belongs to Adam? Yeah, so but John, from the Islamic John, point of view, not not from the Christian point of view. No, well, I'm no, trying to understand. You can't say you can't say the Christian view is this. What's the Muslim view? We're we're challenging your Christian view, mate, because we don't think you can support that yourself. That's no, not, no, you that's, you don't no, even have a that's not my question. My question but, is, I want to understand what the Muslim to, what, point of view. Okay, but John, what I'm trying to point out is, is, yeah. is Christians have this mistaken idea that somehow Adam and Eve, they were meant to be in heaven forever. They made a mistake, and that's why we're on earth. Whereas okay. it's, clear, uh, it's clear according to both scriptures that man was always intended to be on earth. So it's not like because of punishment we ended up on earth. We were meant to be on earth anyway. That's according to the book of Genesis, and that's according to the Quran. So I'm asking you, where do you get this idea of uh, original sin and sin being in inherited and passed down to uh, father to son, father to son, etc.? There's no basis for it even in the Bible. In the Old but, Testament, especially. No, so, so let's say, let's say, I, I mean, let's say, for the sake of argument, there's no basis to it. My question is, still stands. Adam and Eve were kicked out of Eden because of their sin. Correct? No, Am I correct in that? No. no. Okay, so I want you to explain. I, I, as, 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 I, as I just mentioned, John, um, I, I let Hashim jump in, but as I just mentioned, yeah. that's not true because I just mentioned that according to Genesis, man was always intended to be on earth. And according to the Quran, even before um, man was created, it's clear that they were um, God intended for man to be on earth as, as like a ruler, um, uh, etc. on earth. So... Your question um, has no basis because it's not a case of man was punished, kicked out of heaven because of sin, and we ended up on earth. We were, it was always intended for us to be on earth. Right. Intention is one thing. You're, you're right. Intention is one thing. But my question still, what happened there from them moving from one place to another and the offspring to that? So, so they moved from heaven to earth. Am I incorrect in this? No, you're correct. You're okay, correct. so that's okay. So, and they moved because of they moved because Allah was always intended for man to be on earth. What happened in heaven was more like um, a lesson for them uh, of the tricks of Shaitan. So then, when they on earth, they can uh, warn their offspring about Shaitan's traps, etc. And um, so that that's more of what it was. They were forgiven. They were forgiven. They weren't kicked out um, because they're not forgiven. They were forgiven, but they were sent to earth with the lesson in mind about how Shaitan tricked them in heaven. And they were told to warn the offspring about the traps of Shaitan. And then this life is a test, etc. Like we, like we said previously to um, what was his name? Um, Mason Perry Mason. Yeah, Perry. Uh, like we told him, life is a test for us to get into heaven. But it's not because of original sin that we're on earth. That's what I tried to explain according to the Bible and okay. according to the Quran. So, yeah, right, right. So m what I want to stress is you said they were forgiven and they were sent to earth to warn others. Am I correct? Yes. No, they weren't sent okay. to earth to oh. warn. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. They weren't sent to earth as warners. That's not their mission. Uh, okay. So, uh, can I quickly read from the so, Quran? So, the so, answer is actually in right, the Quran, go, John. So yes, if I sir, quickly read it for you, you know, I think where the mistake here is that you're looking at the biblical narrative and you think that is the same in the Quran when it is I, I don't. And that's what's my question. What's, what's the Islamic narrative and what's yeah, the Islamic that's, point of view? That, that's I'm, I'm, coming to that. so I'm, yes, I'm coming to that. So when Adam was created, you know, Allah fashioned Adam with his hands. And when he created him before he actually got the breath of life in him, he told the angels, and this is in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 30. Allah says, and remember when your Lord said to the angels, Verily, I'm going to place mankind, in this case Adam, generation after generation on earth. Okay, so this was speaking about the plan of Allah before even Adam got the breath of life. That means before he was, he was actually uh, made alive. So while he was still not alive, Allah had already planned and he informed of this plan to the angels that he will make Adam as a vice chairant on earth. So this is very clear in the Quran. So the plan was even before he ate, sorry, even before which, he ate the fruit, again, long time? before that, before he was even alive. Chapter Allah had two, verse this. 30. Chapter yeah. two, verse 30. Thank you. 
Keep okay. going. Ahead. And this Go is ahead, in Surah Baqarah. I mean, the entire story of Adam and Eve is there in Surah Baqarah. And also in Surah Saad, I believe, where he says, Allah granted him and declared. Uh, um, basically, this is the story between Adam and Satan, when Satan was told to prostrate to Adam. And this was again before he was given the breath of life. He was cr created, but not alive at that time. Everyone, the angels were told to pr prostrate and so was Iblis, the Satan. But Satan did not prostrate. So the difference between this, Satan disobeyed Allah. In the case of Adam, when when Adam disobeyed Allah, you know, the first thing he, he did, uh, first thing Allah did was basically to teach him. So he sent him some words, some pray, uh, words of prayer. He taught him a prayer, how to seek repentance, how to seek forgiveness. And he, he, he immediately was forgiven. This is while you're still in paradise. Okay. Whereas you see in Christianity, the, the I think what it is, is like both Adam and Eve were chucked out of paradise and their progeny were punished. So the women will have pain during childbirth. The men will toil all day, all, um, all their life. And this punishment, unfortunately, still hasn't been lifted even by the blood of Jesus Christ. Whereas in the case of Adam and Eve, Allah forgave them. Yes, because they asked for repentance. Right. So they asked where, for forgiveness. Where, where is the forgiveness part in Surah Al-Baqarah? In Surah Al-Baqarah? Yeah, I'll yeah. show you. Which, which, yeah. Which, yeah. Where, where is the, forgive, where is the forgive, forgiving part? That's, that's what I would like to know. No problem. It's the same one. Wait, wait, I'll answer his question. So in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 37, then Adam received from his Lord words, and his Lord pardoned him. Yes, that means he accepted his repentance. Verily, he is the one who forgives and accepts repentance, the most merciful. You see, in the case of Adam and Eve, Allah, from the, from the very first man, told him uh, told man how to seek forgiveness yes whereas in christianity they had to wait thousands of years yes until jesus came even you, then you that, jesus to had to repent That's, sorry not right. not seek okay, repentance but, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna give, give it to you it like this not, is not the topic of discussion christianity is wrong well, it's That's linked, it's That's linked. Not, you That's not, it's linked. right you but, agree uh, christianity fine. is wrong i'm not agreeing but that's not the, the topic on the table the topic on the table is my question is the forgiveness part so Forgiveness part, sort of about, um, verse but you, you premised, well, sorry, 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 John, John, you premised no, your, you premised, sorry, you premised your Christian view against the Islamic view. So what are you talking no, about? No, your no, your not, religion is on the table. Bro, I'm your religion is on the that. table, mate. <laughs> right, that's fine. In fact, but you I'm use the term, you use the phrase. Here's the thing, I'll make it easy for you. I'll make it easy, just quickly, just quickly. I'll make it easy for you. The Quranic narrative is very clear. Adam was created to be a vice on the earth. Um, he, he when he made his mistake, he was forgiven by his Lord. Job done. Perfect. Yeah. Why Perfect. do you believe? Why do you believe he inherited sin and it's passed on through his fa fathers? And you need and the blood of Jesus. Get, one second. One second. Yes, and you yes, need sir. the blood of Jesus Christ to be redeemed of that. Why do you believe that? It's it's, it's you're the odd simple. one out, not us. The Jews don't believe what you're saying. The Jews don't believe what you're saying. The Muslims don't believe what you're saying. Um, you, you Christians are in the middle. So why do you believe that? Well, it's basically, we're, we're, John, we're, before, we're, John, before yeah. you answer, it's basically a, a case of original sin, the Christian position versus original forgiveness, the Muslim yes. position. Perfect. Simple Let's as. Let's take the original forgiveness part. Let's take the original forgiveness part as is as it is the correct the correct narrative here. My question is: Is was he forgiven after? Yes, I showed yes. you the verse. Right, right, right. And, and I'm, let's say, let's, so it was he forgiven after he moved from heaven to earth, or before? no? While in no, while before, in heaven, before, before, while, while okay. in heaven, he was forgiven. Okay, so so that still like I told you, the reason why, for him right, right. So going he out of if John, he was John forgiven, the you know the question, the two questions you ask. One is. Why was he sent out of paradise? We answer right. that question by saying that Allah had already planned, even before Adam was made alive, that he will be sent to earth, yes, as a vice chairman. And I gave you the other response to your question, was he forgiven in heaven and where is that in the Quran? I showed, okay. showed you Surah Al-Baqarah, okay. chapter 2, verse number 37. Just, just so I understand, I is, your questions. is John saying, yeah, yeah, if he yeah. was forgiven, why yeah. was he kicked out of heaven? Is that what you're trying to ask? It was already planned. So, it wasn't for yeah, his mistake. So it was well, they, 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 
Right, right. So he, no, he already answered. He got it. So he, his answer was, it wasn't about his, that he sinned, right? He was, a, he was going to be sent to heaven. I mean, sorry, to earth or to, yeah, to earth, regardless whether he sinned or not. Am I correct in that? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, perfect. My, that, and, and this, is, this is where the argument, this is where the argument differ. It's the reason why he, he, sent, he was sent to, to, to earth. In Christianity and in Judaism, if I might add Hamza, if you don't mind, but, um, he was sent to, he, to earth because he wasn't forgiven, because he was... Why um, would Judaism he, say that? No, he's saying Christianity, I think. He's saying well, like a, no, Judaism. Judaism. And, and, no, no, no. Ask, uh, and ask, go to any temple, ask any rabbi. No, he said Judaism it. and he used the word Hamza, so you caught my attention, yeah? So you show me another Yeah, yeah, so you got my attention. You pull down the thunder yes, and here it is. Okay, so <laughs> tell me Judaism where it teaches original sin. It's in Genesis chapter 2. So where does it in Judaism teach original sin? Original sin comes out of the letters of Paul, mate. Without the letters of Paul, there is no such thing as original sin. The, nar the narrative in Genesis is different. Would you agree on that? Okay. I'm, I'll make it easy for you. All right. Yeah. There's a narrative in Genesis which the Jew used to, to, to say original sin doesn't exist. The Christians use the same verse to say it does. The same verse. Um, I'm not sure which Jews you speak for. And John, about. John, let me point something yeah. out to you, buddy. Yeah. I, I don't know if you know this. But not even all Christians agree on original sin. That is correct. So, I mean, I don't really see what you're driving at. I'm not driving at. I'm driving. I wanted to understand the narrative. Of, my main question is, what is the narrative of the original sin? Or I understand that. But, but even That's within. And, and yeah, Brother but, Hashim but, answered it perfectly. Yeah, but uh, this is the point, though, John. Even within Christianity, there isn't the doctrine of original sin. There are people who reject it openly, and there are many different conceptions of what original sin is. That's, that's the point okay. that I'm trying to make. So, I mean, whether or not do you think that uh, the there was literal guilt that was passed down? Do you believe in that? Right, can I just read? Can I just read something just to shut my mate John up? Forgive me, man, because you. Sorry, sorry, Jake. Sorry, Jake. Sorry, Jake. Yeah. But you called my name and, and you challenged me, so I'm going to read this now. <laughs> you ready? The doctrine of original sin is totally unacceptable to Jews. Jews believe that man enters the world free of sin and a soul that is pure and innocent and untainted. While there were some Jewish teachers in Talmudic times who believed that death was a punishment brought upon mankind on account of Adam's sin, the dominant view by far was that man sinned because he's not a perfect being and not as Christianity teaches because he's inherently sinful. So Judaism teaches man is created with sinful nature and Islam agrees. It's only you Christians that believe that um, man was created perfect and then he lost that perfect status by sinning, which is a kind of contradiction because you can't be perfect and then sin. You're either perfect and don't sin or you sin, which means you already have that nature. So your claim about Jews believing in original sin is false. And I'm telling you straight now, if you did not have the letters of Paul, there is no such thing as original sin. Yeah. If you look at original sin where the church fathers teach it, and I'm pretty sure Zaki can back me here, pulling you out now, right? Um, they always refer, and, and Hashim, they always refer to the letters of Paul with regards to original sin. It doesn't exist anywhere else. John, yeah. can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Do you believe every baby born today is born uh, in a state of sin? Yeah. Okay, so how do you reconcile that with what Ezekiel says in chapter 18, where each person uh, basically gives the metaphor of... Um, Someone eats um, something sour and the, the teeth of their children rot. In other words, how is that possible where somebody eats something that's um, bad for you, but the teeth of your children rot instead? Uh, that's how the chapter starts um, off the top of my head. And then Ezekiel starts to point out that each person actually dies for their own sin. Each person who repents is forgiven himself and no other person can um, basically take the sin of another person. No father can pass it to the son and vice versa. So how um, does babies being born today in the state of sin reconcile with Ezekiel chapter 18 and Deuteronomy chapter 24 and Jeremiah chapter 31 and 33? I'm sorry, Deuteronomy chapter what? Deuteronomy chapter 24, verse number 16, no father shall be put to death for their son and vice versa. Um, Jeremiah chapter 31 
the chapter that a lot of Christians point to about the new covenant mentions the same thing as Ezekiel chapter 18, that no father can pass uh, sin onto their son and vice versa. So how can babies be born due to the sin of Adam when Ezekiel and Jeremiah explicitly deny such a thing? So there, you're looking at this from a point of view of that um, there was no original sin. And that's there was no original sin. Right, right. Then that's your point of view. Um, our no, point no, no, of view no, 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 no. I'm just going to drive the nail deeper. But you're not listening. Okay. In the Times of Israel, Alan S. Mala, in his blog, writes, both Islam and Judaism agree that the Christian belief in original sin is an unwarranted and overly negative and pessimistic evaluation of the nature of human beings. The Quran and the Torah both teach that Allah made God made humans with a tendency toward and capacity for both good behavior and bad behavior, but they are not born into this world with the guilt of someone else's sin. So I'll say it again to you. The prophets before Christianity did not teach this. God did not teach this in the Bible. Okay. Just understand this point. So you read all of the old Testament, it is not taught. It is not there, right? You only find it in the letters of Paul. Then when we come to the Quran, which corrects the mistakes of the Christians, we're back to the original point. Man is not sinful. So it's not us. Why are you not saying this? It's you. Why are you saying it? Why are you holding the position that we inherit the sin, original sin? Where are you getting that from? And that's why... I'll be honest with you. I called this, this this conversation 30 minutes ago when I said to you, why you call, why where do you get the idea of original sin from? And you said, I'm not here to talk about my religion. I'm here to talk about your religion, yeah? As if we're the ones that are uh, out of kilter with everything else, when it's you Christians that are out of kilter. So it's for you to respond. Why do you believe in original sin? I'm asking you the question. Just answer that question, please. Why do you okay. believe in original sin? Yes, sir. So... Um, not all, not all Jewish, not all Jewish. So why do you Jewish. believe in original right, sin, right. John? Right, but John, no, look, yes, look forget, for, forget about the Jews. You, you, uh, forget about the Jews for one second. Do you want me to answer? I want you. No, I don't want you to mention the Jews. I want you okay. to tell me why you believe in original sin. Right. And uh, according so according to the narrative of Genesis, which is in the Torah. Um, read it. Read Adam it. And, read it. Read it. I want to hear okay. this original sin. I want to hear this perfect nature that we had, and then all of a sudden we're sinful. Read it. Um, I'm, can, I, can, I just, can I just continue with my answer, if you don't mind? And then you no, I want to support your answer with some evidence. Right. Well, I'm I'm gonna, gonna, I'm let, let him read it. Let him read it. Let me read it. Answer. Just let me answer. Yeah, read it. Well, read it. Read Genesis. Go on. Read Genesis. I don't, I don't, I don't, if, if I'm going to answer, I'm going to answer my own way. That, that's okay. Is that, is that okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, what verse in Genesis Thank are you, you referring to? Thank you. Which verse in Genesis are you referring to? Okay, give me a second. So while he's looking for that, can I quickly mention something? You uh, asked a very referring good to. question. Sure. So in, in, Genesis, yeah, in, Genesis, in, Genesis, in Genesis chapter 3, um, and you can read from verse 1, Let's see. Um, all the way. Well, the whole chapter, if you don't mind. So just tell me, no, just tell me the part three. where it says. Okay. Just, we, just give us one perfect. punishment. Right. So, give us so one you, description. You, no mind. Right. So in, in, cha in chapter three, in chapter three, um, Adam and Eve eat from the, from, the, from the forbidden fruit. All right. From the fruit that God told them not to eat from. And this is in chapter three. Afterwards, God told them death that they shall receive for both of them. Right, and they moved, and they and they moved out of Eden. Right, and he put angels on the gates of Eden. So, by doing that, by doing that, there's no forgiving part. There's no like like in the Quran, like in the Quran, uh, sort of the book of, uh, verse thirty-seven that there was to forgiveness. Mentioned. Where's original sin, mate? Look, uh, are you going to keep keep interrupting me? Or are you going to let me finish? Because you've asked me that question twice, so let me answer. Thank you. So. There was no forgiveness mentioned in Genesis because of the fact that there's no forgiveness mentioned. In fact, number A, there's no forgiveness mentioned in Genesis. Fact of number B, their offspring, their offspring, um, any children that they had did not revert back to heaven. They didn't move back to Where heaven. Where does it say that? Right? So, 
It doesn't. Because it Where does it say that? Say it. <laughs> you just made that up. I oh, know we just made that up. Where does it, it say it, that? It doesn't say it, that in the verse. It, what I'm saying, they did not move back to Eden. No, where they does it say? No, no, no. They, they were never meant to go back okay. to Eden. We've already established that. Where does it say that they don't revert back to what status? Where do you have to? He drove, he drove out. He, okay, so chap, uh, are we still in chapter three? Where's the perfect status? Look, look, look. Right. Where's the perfect status? I'm reading. Where's the perfect status, John? John, I'm reading it. Yes. Go ahead. Read. Tell me where it says they were perfect. No, no, no. Perfect. Let's stick to the original perfect. scene. Let's stick to the original scene. Just, just one, one other thing. Perfect. Just, just, John, there's, there's another issue you've got. John, there's another issue you have. Okay, can I mention it? Go ahead. Because you're quoting Genesis to try to claim that basically Adam and Eve were kicked out of heaven, correct? But if according you actually, to, according, according to Genesis, okay. yeah. Now I'm asking you yes or no. You, you, you agree, yes? But if you read Genesis okay. chapter one in context, it's clear that man is, uh, Adam is already on earth. They're not kicked out of heaven according to Genesis chapter one. Read it in context. It talks about Perfect. the creation of the earth and, and on the read, sixth day we, or the seventh day, man is Genesis, made on the earth. Yeah. Can we read Genesis 3 24? Yeah, but read can chapter read one. Read chapter one. Right. I, I can read the whole thing, yes, but can I read Genesis 3? Uh, okay, read chapter, I challenge you to read chapter 1. It tells you about the creation of earth and man being made on, on earth. So where's the heaven part and being kicked out of heaven? According to Genesis chapter 1, read the chapter right because, now. Because, because it's not in chapter 1. They moved out of, out of heaven or out of Eden. Eden, so according... Do you, know those Christians, Eden. do you know those Christians who believe that Eden is, um, was on earth? Is a yeah. place that's lost somewhere on earth. They do, right? It's somewhere, be yeah, so somewhere you, between. Yeah, so it rocks. seems yeah. you can't even prove by reading Genesis one that Adam and Eve were even kicked out of heaven, according to the Bible. Just, just so can I read the verse or no? Can I read just John. that one verse? John, can what I, would have happened if he read the just apple? Let me read the one verse. Okay, let him read the one verse. Go on, John. Go on. All right. So he drove. So it, it's talking. So chapter three, verse twenty-four. So he drove out the man, and he placed cherubim or angels at the east of the garden of Eden, and a flaming sword which turned everywhere to to guard the way up to the tree of life. Okay, tree of life. That doesn't say anything about it being in heaven. So, so John, quick question based on that verse: Do you believe that Eden is on Earth or somewhere else? Hello, are you there, John? It's. It's um, it's it's kind of both. No, you it's can't. Kind of you can't do that. Both. <laughs> both. So because, be both. Because, because how big? You need like, fine. If you like, it's, it's, like exactly the, said, you cannot even identify where the location is. Let alone imputing the sin from we're Adam to his progeny. I'm, you, the we, whole idea of us asking you this question is to Earth. prove that Adam's sins are visited on his progeny, which you have to prove from the Bible. Everything else is just fluff right now because the if you original go, question was the original sin. Yeah, if I don't you, want to trick questions just to throw in the mix. Easy question, John. If they didn't eat the apple, then what? I'm sorry. If they didn't eat the apple, then what? What would have happened? They would have stayed in Eden. So you wouldn't exist. That is that is correct. So man, according, so basically, according, what you're saying according, is according according to our belief, that's yes, according. So, so, so according to your belief. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so you even, believe, one second, one second, even, and then I'm, I'm going to yeah. back out. Got just it. so I understand, according to your belief, God created just two people, and that was all His intention was. According to what you believe, uh, I can't. I can't get into the intentions of well, the creator, well, but, yeah, I, sure. either either we all exist because Adam um, disobeyed God. That would mean if he didn't disobey God, none of us would exist. And that would mean that God didn't mean for anyone else to exist apart from Adam. That's your worldview. Anyway, go on, Sheikh. I mean, I, I just got a little confused, John, because you said Eden's on Earth. So then nothing would have really changed. They would have just stayed on Earth, right? And this is why I go back to, the, to um, Brother Hashem's answer as the location of Eden, right? And it's, it's the ambiguity, sure an ambi it. ambiguity John, of, of a... No, no. Uh, for, for, uh, in the middle of the world, Brother Hashem, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about you. You said right. earlier um, that Eden's on Earth. So I'm saying that then, then getting kicked out of Eden wasn't really that. I mean, it's still on Earth, right? So, I mean, it's not going to be that big of right. a deal, right? The concept, the concept, the concept of Eden, okay. the concept of Eden of being on, on Earth has, it's, if if I may say, has metaphys metaphysical properties to it. So it's not 
directly on oh, first earth did right. i hear metaphysical right. oh you got jake <laughs> on the sound man we got a metaphysician so, up in here so right. you gotta be careful <laughs> uh, oh, call down the thunder bro the call idea. down the thunder first john, you called the out the thunder is... now you called out jake you, you sure you want to do this john i mean i'm just yeah. i'm just I'm, I'm trying to be nice to you bro i'm like i'm like you gotta be careful what you say because these oh, guys oh. it's the den bro all, all I want John to do, John, since you're a Bible-believing Christian, simply I want you to read Genesis chapter 1 from verse 24 to verse 28. And once you read these verses, I challenge you to read it, your whole claim about um, the fall of man from heaven because of original sin and coming down to earth for that reason is going to fall flat. So just read it right now. Genesis chapter 1, verse 24 to verse 28. It'll prove that according to Genesis, man was already intended to be on earth and was actually created on the earth. So read it right now. Um, you, okay, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to read it because there is, you can't, again, because, because we let Genesis, you read your verse. Happened, hold on, look here, look here. What happened in Genesis 1, what happened in Genesis 1 doesn't nullify what comes after it, all right? What happened in the story, what happened in the story, story happened one, two, three, four. You can't tell me because if one happened, it's going to stay one forever. Okay, okay, so John, things, let, let me respond change, to that. Right, so okay. if one person is one place and changed places okay. from one place to another, the idea okay. is where Eden was, and Eden was on, on, on Earth, and he moved from one Earth to another Earth, so nothing changed. The idea is Eden, a garden, was a place, because you're talking about, hold on, you're talking about Genesis being a, on Earth, fine, but it was a garden, and they got kicked out of the garden. Okay, so... Cherubim guard, hold on, hold on. And okay. Cherubim guarding the garden, and their children, Adam and his children, were not allowed to back into the garden to eat from the tree of life. That fact, that fact, and that, so that, that fact number two, fact number one, there's no forgiveness mentioned, like in the Quran, so there's forgiveness mentioned. I am not here defending faith. I'm not here defending religion. I'm, I'm talking about scripture, and I'm talking about, there's literature in front of me. There's words in front of okay. me, and I'm explaining the words. Okay. It has nothing to do with their Christianity. What so when I ask about Islam, Islam John, John, hold on. John, when I talk about one Islam, second, Amza. I'm not attacking okay. Islam. I'm not saying That's Islam fine. is wrong. I'm just asking, what is your that's, view that's and what is John, on but, but John, what I'm trying to say is, first you told us that Adam was kicked out of heaven because of original sin, but now it becomes clear that Adam, according to the Bible, wasn't kicked out of heaven. He was just stripped of his citizenship from a certain island or country. Because if you read Genesis chapter 1, it's clear that Adam was set on the earth straight away. And we it's let you read the verse... Citizenship okay, would but be John, actually the perfect, the perfect, the perfect word for this would be citizenship, and you would be actually correct. You would be more Christian than I am using the word citizenship, and you don't know it, but that's fine. You got exactly. Okay, so John, yeah, you read Gen uh, Genesis chapter three, but the verse yeah. you read didn't prove anything about heaven. All it proved was a place called Eden. Some people believe it's in Yemen, so was he kicked out of Yemen according to Genesis? And and if he was, uh, I got not, friends. I can get you back yeah, into Yemen if you like. <laughs> and, and John, John, then I have another co question for you. Because of you guys, and, and if Eden's in Yemen, I, I think people did get back in because I think there's people living in Yemen. I, I agree. Right. And there's okay. people, there's people on Earth everywhere. So I understand. There are, there are, there are. Right. I, I guess right. we got our citizenship so, back. Yeah, Yay, dreamer. Exactly. So it's, John, it's the, the hold on, Zakir, yeah. one second, one second, please. Okay. So and the fact the fact the fact that we're talking about this as for, part of faith, I am actually questioning this as part of. A, a literature scriptural so i'm talking about the view versus faith versus dogma and you guys are talking about dogma i'm trying to stay away from dogma to have a more of a civilized conversation you're, you're staying away from dogma. About dogma we're not okay but, but 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 i think i think hashim already answered your question as far as islamic yes, narrative and I was right? fine so, with that i'm trying to well, respond to hamza and the only reason yeah. i mentioned hamza if for, if you forgive me and the only reason I mentioned Hamza because he said all Jewish people don't believe in original sin. I said the majority, the consensus, the consensus okay. amongst Jews. Is, I think, and I, and I, think we've missed, I think we've missed the elephant in the room again. What is original sin to you? Well, the, the, issue, the issue is, if we have original sin, right, in, in Christianity, and, and Sheikh, Sheikh well, what is the original sin? sin? Right, so let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah. If, what is, oh, what is original sin? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. So, so Zakir mentioned citizenship, right? So, citizenship, in 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 essence, we lost that citizenship. So, the human nature. No, human what is nature, original sin? 
that's original sin, losing that citizenship of being in heaven at all times in the present. So you say, so, so just to understand, so the first time that human beings right. disobeyed so, so God. There's two of death. There's two one second, of John. Death. John. Go ahead. Right here. Just so I can understand your worldview. So you're saying God created man, this weak natured human species. Yeah. And he allows and he knows that Satan is going to attack his creation. Yeah. And God knows he created this creation of his with a will of its own that could be enticed and could choose or refuse for itself. And the one time it made a mistake. Yeah. The one time it made a mistake, it is now condemned forever. And that creature's progeny are condemned as well for the same mistake. So this just and loving God who created Adam with this nature allowed his enemy to approach him. And the one mistake he makes, he's punished eternally. And his progeny are punished for no forgiveness, with no help of hope of forgiveness. Yeah. Right. It seems horrible, right? Right, 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 right. So... The idea that this sin passes down to the progeny. Unfair. Yeah? Right. So th this is the point we're trying to understand. Yeah. So the Adam's son will be held responsible for his, the, the crime of his father. That's what you're kind of saying. No. And all the way down. Yeah. No. So this is this is this is the difference between. There's two types of sin in, in, in the Bible. So, so, so no, no, I don't want to do any other types I'm, of I'm sin. Gonna right answer, I'm going to answer you. Let I, me answer no, no, you. Hamza, just stick on answer. original sin about the inherency of it. So when, 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 uh, when Eve gave birth to a baby, was that baby a sinner? The, the answer is yes. The answer may, is may, yes. May, 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 I, may I have a follow-up? May I? May right. I have now, what was the difference? May I follow-up? One, one second, one second, one second. What was the difference in nature of that baby of Eve's and Adam when he was created? What was the difference? I'm sorry. One more time. What was the difference in nature with Adam and Eve's there's, baby? There's no difference in nature. No difference in nature. No. So they had the same nature. Yeah. So nothing changed. Yeah, it's, a, it's a concept. It's a concept. I understand. You're absolutely right. It's a it's it's a concept, right? Because because of the, no, but nothing this changed. Is, this is the key. This is key to everything, bro. Nothing there is, changed. There is, there is there is. Let me. So when you say nature, you're right. So we're we're talking about physical nature. We're talking about physics. We're talking about uh, atoms. We're talking about bodies. We're talking about physical human nature. Um, uh, desire. Yeah, whatever. 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 Right. You, however you understand nature. nature. Right. Yeah. So how, how do you understand? Because, what, okay, we have to break this down even further. What's nature? How do you understand nature? No, no, don't go so, down there. Hamza, just keep it simple. So the yeah, question yeah. Hamza asked you, is, it's, it's very logical, I think. What, what he's asking you is that, you know, like you said, when children are born, they're born as sinners, right? It's Did complicated more than that. So the answer is yes, but I need to follow up on that. Okay, okay. in what sense? You got to explain it, brother. Well, go ahead. thank you. Thank you. So in, in, in Genesis, in Genesis, it doesn't talk about sin. It talks about death. Okay, so okay. death, there's two types of death. So just like in Islam, there is Jannah and there is Gohenna, right? There is heaven and Je hell, right? Jahan. You're an Egyptian Jahan. Christian, you aren't you, mate? You're an Egyptian yeah. Christian. Yeah, so, yeah. so, so if we're talking about... we are talking about give you away, bro. Your, yeah, your dream <laughs> was wrecked. Your dream was a dark. <laughs> okay, thanks. But you got the gene right in Jannah, but I don't know what happened. Good <laughs> I, I don't know because because, in the Arabic, because Egyptians don't use because the, the Egyptians don't use the gene. We we use. But you just use it for Jannah. I know. I know. Like, I'm, like I'm Hebrew, trying, I'm right? I'm trying like to Hebrew accommodate. Jannah. I'm trying to accommodate. That's all. So I appreciate it. But, you, but you, in the same sentence, you use gene correctly for Jannah, and use the incorrect well not incorrectly but Egyptian style for Jahannam. The concept, the concept, the concept is, um, and, and a lot of a lot of atheists ask this: Why, why do God? Why would a loving God create hell? And how a pure loving God create hell? The concept here of the original sin, right? There's two types of death. 
there is death of being in hell, as in not, not, not fire and brimstone here. We're talking about distance from or distance from God or being without the presence of God. That's considered hell. Now, I'm not, I'm not denying that there, there is hell of brimstone and fire, but I'm, I'm saying the absence of God, the absence of God from humanity, or if, if I choose to leave God, all right, now I'm, I'm sentencing myself to death. And this is death by leaving God, going to that void, all right? There is actual physical death. There's physical death. So there is two types of death and there's two types of sin. So when we talk about the original sin, we're talking about a barrier or a distance between humanity, the created, and the creator. That's the first type of death. It's not a physical death. It's not a metaphorical death. It's metaphysical death. It's the absence of, yes, exactly. It's the absence, the absence of the mercy of God, it's the absence of God. And this is the type of death that we're talking about when we talk about original sin. So the offspring. So when Adam and Eve have children, all their children were destined to have death as in being separated from God, be separated from 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 the was, mercy yeah, of but, God. but but John, well, come on. This, this, this is the implication of Christianity. But John, you're going, but John, you're going on too long, buddy. You got to make your Go points ahead. more concise. Yeah, you still haven't answered the question. Though. Listen, listen, John. Let me help you out. Okay, do you believe that the guilt from the sin that Adam and Eve committed was imputed to every human after that because of that sin, the guilt? Right, and there's two types of sin. Though. Well, I'm asking there's do you, yes sin. or no. It's a so yes or no yes. question. Yes. 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 Okay. About guilt. Okay, Not okay, okay, does. John. So, okay, oh, John. So, so John, I heard your answer. You don't need to go on further, yeah, go buddy. I don't. You don't need to go on further. Are you a Coptic Christian? Yeah. Okay. What do you think of Clement of Alexandria? Great person. Keep going. Okay, great person. Do you know he denied original sin and he's venerated in your church? Yeah, but he did. The, the, the fact that would you he Would you like me to Would you like me to read it from you? Would Would you like me to read what one of your church fathers actually said about original sin? And maybe Maybe you idea, don't know about idea, it. I, uh, no, no, no. I know the idea. The idea is interpretation of what he said. Interpretation. Oh, so come on, interpret John. Let me. Okay, let me read it for the audience <laughs> and let's see what they interpret it as, buddy. Okay, because no, we've fine. We've let you go on for so long, John. We've been very you know, hospitable to you. Now, in this is Clement of Alexandria, who John admits is venerated as a saint in his church, okay? In, uh, yeah, a great man. In the Stromata, it's called, book number four, chapter number 25. He says this, the righteous Job says, and he's quoting Job chapter one, verse 21, which I'm going to read in a second. Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return there. And then he says, Job 121, not naked of possessions, for that were, tr were a trivial and common thing. But as a just man, he departs naked of evil and sin and mm. of the unsightly shape which follows those who have led bad lives. Okay. Yeah. And this is Job 121, yeah. where it says, yeah. And said, naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return hither. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He's taking that passage and interpreting it and saying, Job came out yes. naked of evil and sin. Right. So he doesn't believe in original sin. That's, that's not, that he's not talking about the original sin. Yes, he is. Repeating. Yes, that's he is. Not, no. Uh, so I, I think you didn't mention sin, sin right? Like, like, your interpretation is your interpretation. Bro, is it's talking sin. about coming out of the mother's hold on, hold on. womb. Jay, it's Jay, Jay let, me, let, let, John, let John explain. Let John, let John explain it. Hold on. <laughs> the sins of the father. The sins of the fa the sins of the father. And this is written in many places and in the, in the New Testament and in and, and in the letters of Saint Paul. The sins of the father does not follow the sins of the son. Okay. The idea, the idea is, and we all, we all know this, and this is why I kept saying there's two different types of death. There's two different types of separation. Okay, there's a separation that on the citizenship, you're losing the citizenship of being in heaven. This is not. This is passed on. But you said Eden wasn't in heaven. By the way, you said Eden wasn't in heaven. In the presence of God. 
So that's when we. No, 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 no wait, 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 wait. You just <laughs> contradicted yourself, John. I mean, I, I'm, I'm trying to listen to what you're saying and make sense of it. Earlier, you said they were in Eden, and they were yeah. kicked out of Eden, which is on Earth, and now you're saying right. the citizenship they lost was of heaven. Because, because our interpretation, our interpretation is heaven. Heaven is wherever God is. So being with God, being wait, wait, so hold on. Heaven, 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 heaven's not a physical place. You're saying so, like on Earth. Deeper. If I'm with God, then heaven is on Earth. So then I wasn't kicked out to begin with. It's more again. It's more complicated than that. It's very complicated. No, it's not. Than that. It's not this complicated. Is, this it's is just contradictory. This, wait, wait, hold on, John. I, I mean, I've been yeah. listening to you this whole time, but you said Eden's on Earth first, right? Okay. I, uh, if you believe that, I don't believe that. Whatever, right? Okay. And then you said that that you lost your citizenship in heaven, and then to try to bring those contradictions together, you said heaven and is wherever God is close to you, and God can be close to you anywhere on Earth. So then we weren't really kicked out anywhere. Then we could be on Earth and be close to God. We got their citizenship. I, I think what John's trying to say is Adam wasn't kicked out the house. He was just kicked out the room. Is that what you're saying, John? No, but, but, but the room is anywhere no, where God right, is. So then you're not right, kicked right, out right. anywhere. And then, I mean, the right. living room, if you got God with you, then according to you is heaven. Then you're not kicked out of anywhere. You're, and by the way, right, but, do Christians you know, have right. everywhere? Guys, guys, you're right. Okay, so, we're right. You're actually, you're making, you're making, you're making, you're making, you're making good, assumptions here saying that I, god is everywhere being with god and you're you're absolutely correct the issue the issue is more transcendent and there's more more theology to it than i can that we can sit and discuss here so my, my john, idea let is, me let me let me just say this sir. okay john um I, I really appreciate your patience with us like you know i'm, I'm just saying you know you're a good guy i mean a lot guide you and me um nice. but you had one in the original when you began i'm just going to be honest with you right you 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 said it as if Eden was in heaven, and then when they got you on that, then you were like, "I'll just give you there in, he in earth." And now you had a contradiction. Then to make up for that, you were like, "Well, the citizenship is lost." But then you went back to it being heaven, and then you caught yourself in a contradiction again. And to make up for that contradiction, then you made up this thing that God, wherever God is next to you, and now because you can't get out of all of those contradictions that you made up, now you're like, "It's more complicated than this." It's okay, bro. That's, Look, you're you're out of some out of it, John. John, can I ask you some Arabic? No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I make a comment? Can I make a joke on the podcast? I'm going to talk to you about Arabic. I'm going to talk to you about Arabic, but can I just make a quick comment? No, 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 hold on. Let me make a follow-up. Hold on, hold on. I listen to you. I listen to you, right? Right, thank you. So your argument, your argument, your argument is correct in a sense that if Eden is on Earth and we're got kicked out of Eden, right, and Eden is on Earth, then there's no heaven. The idea is of being citizen, the citizenship that I'm speaking of, the citizenship being in the presence in in the presence of God, right? That's no how do I say this? It's no longer it's no longer applicable. It's no longer applicable on Earth, if if I may say that. It's no more okay. no longer applicable on Earth. John, right? John, can I ask so you something? Is, now? Is, that's why we have heaven, right? That's why we have okay. heaven. John, heaven, John, let me ask you something. Hold on, let, let me finish my thought. That let citizenship was lost. That citizenship was lost. That's it. So there's two types. There's two. So this is this is what we're That's talking not about. It. When we say you, said guilt. you said that guilt was imputed to the uh, descendants. Right. So right. So, so that, all, that's that's all, more than just the, what you're talking all about. All descendants. All descendants. John. John. Can you? Citizenship. John. John. But that doesn't mean the sins of the father. That doesn't mean the sins of John. the father. Because I'm responding to the Clement the Clement comment. The, well, no, you're the, not because yes. you're 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 rejecting Clement. You're throwing him under the bus. I'm not rejecting Clement. You're, yeah. I'm interpret no, because you're okay, interpreting well, the sins well, John, of the John, let me ask you this. Can you be a Coptic Christian and reject original sin? No. So then you're it, saying, it, it, you're it, saying, it, it you, you, you only have two options. You can't be Catholic. Okay, so you're, you, can't let me, let me Catholic, you, you can't be Orthodox. John, you can't be Eastern Orthodox. John, yeah. let me tell you something. You're either saying that I am massively misinterpreting Clement or Clement was not a Christian. Those are really your only yeah. two options. I'm saying you're massively interpreting. Okay, so, mis so, mis so, why, so why do Christian scholars do the same thing? There's to me, as far as I'm able to tell, there's pretty much a consensus that this is what he taught. I mean, to I can you. read you from yeah, I mean, that's, no, 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 no. I can read you from secondary source material from patristic scholars saying the exact same thing. Please go ahead. Okay. Again, so, so okay, Will. So Johannes Quaston, who was a one of the greatest um, 
Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I have no idea who you're talking about. Let me, let me finish. I have no let idea who you're talking about. Okay, let me it finish. It doesn't matter, John. I'm going to read all. for you. I'm going to read for you. Do your homework, John. Yeah. We're not, we're not going to spoon feed you everything. You yeah. have to do a little bit of work. So yeah. write the name what, down. What, okay. What's so, the name? I'll, I'll give it to you in the chat. Give me one second. His last name is Quaston. Okay. Q-U-A-S-T-E-N. Okay. What century? 20th century. So, so you're talking about something from 100 years? What's that? You're talking about something from a, just 100 years ago? Or I'm talking about ago? somebody who is commenting on Clement. You don't so you're accept leaving it? 2000 years, you're leaving 2,000 years of writing, 2,000 years of writing, to come to something that happened in, no, in no, the last decade. No, we could, no, John, brother, John, we can. John, John. Why don't you John. think this, this bloody, <laughs> this scholar yeah. has studied the 2,000 years of writing? More than you? One, one, yeah. one person. One person, you're you're oh, okay. leaving oh, so, so, all the first John, 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 yeah, he's a patristic scholar. Yeah. So he's a patristic scholar. He's a scholar who how, has. How do you label him patristic? Patristic. How do you label? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. He's, he's a scholar. He's, of the he's, just, he's a scholar. Of Give, me something. Give me something. Give me something. Okay, so let's not talk about it. Just and we'll talk about it. John, John, do you accept a scholar of the patristic fathers? Yeah, knows more than you. No, not not a Western scholar. No. Not a Western scholar, and that's a Western. Not a Western just so I understand. Just so I understand. This? Just so I understand. You're saying just because somebody lives in the West who has studied the Patristic Fathers and their citations, yeah, they don't know more than you because you're Egyptian. Is that what you're trying to say? No, no. And no, that's really the West, your interpretation of the West is incorrect. When I say Western, I include all the way of Europe. So there is the Eastern, Eastern, we got Greek, I think he means we got Greek, 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 Just so I understand, and, yes. John, 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 are you saying because someone, where, they, where they're from, has, has a uh, bearing on their academic ability? No, I'm saying we disagree with the Catholics. We disagree with oh, the other No, 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 no. Hamza, this is a guy. I think he meant John, the Western church, John, not Western. This, this is a scholar who studied the Patristic Fathers which you haven't done. So do you accept he knows more than you? Not in a sense that I have to agree with him because he's not of my church, per se. Who cares? Who cares? Well, no, here's cares the thing, John. John, John, John. That's not how it if works, there's mate. Another sect, if there's another sect, if there's another, if a Protestant, for, for example, a Protestant that says, um, I've read this and this and this, and uh, this is my interpretation, there's no Trinity, do I have to agree with him? So there's Protestants that don't, there is Baptists and Protestants that don't believe in the Trinity. Do I have to agree with them because no, they're the part, no, no, we're talking about the academic study of, some, of Clement of Rome, isn't it? Right, and he's giving me something that happened no, in the no, last what, what, what's happened is, He's giving no, me a promise that happened is, in the last 50 years. No, no, what's happened is you have taken something Clement of Rome has said and interpreted it as you like, yeah? yeah? Jake did the same, and you said Jake's not in a position to do that. So, so what Jake has done is said, okay, okay, I'll bring you a scholar who studied Clement of Rome and his interpretation. Right, and he's leaving interpretations of 2,000 years of interpretation. Oh, no, John, no, John, no. John, we're going to say goodbye. No, say one second, Hamza. Hamza, 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 Hamza. I, I want to ask Hamza, John one more just thing. Just one second. I'll let Hashem go first. I, I, I wanted to now. ask him, because earlier when uh, Zakir asked him about where the children will go to hell if they die, he said yes in the affirmative. I don't recall that. I don't well, recall that I said watch that. the video again because you definitely said yes. So just just on the basis of that, I mean, are you aware of this passage in the Bible in Matthew 18, 3, where it says, and I believe this is where Jesus is saying, and he said, truly, I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. I'm assuming the reason uh, children are mentioned here is because they are considered to be without sin. They're considered to be pure. And you will never enter the kingdom of heaven unless you're pure like them. So anyone who says children go to hellfire will have to read the Bible again. And you know there is another passage uh, which is kind of connected to this as well. 
And well, if you, read, if you read the following two verses, you'll get your answer. You can't just pick one verse and I'm not going to read the following John, two verses. John, I've lost all faith in your interpretation of anything. So what is the following I'm, verse I'm, that, that contradicts I'm, I'm it? I'm just done with you. Just done with you. Uh, we, uh, Isaac, you can, you can ask I have question. One, more, one more question for John. John, yeah. are, are, you basic, are you basically saying that um, original sin means that humans are born um, lacking the presence of God? Is that what you're saying? So we're not in the presence of God due to original sin. Sure, John. Sure. Hold on. We'll, we'll ask the question one more time. Okay. So Are you mind. saying that due, due to original sin, hu humans have lost being in the presence of God the way Adam was originally? It's, it's um, just like I said, it's, it's a losing the citizenship of being the oh, forget, the, forget citizenship. Yeah. I'm asking you specific wording. Could yeah. you use this wording? So we're no longer in the presence of God unless basically we're baptized and believe Jesus died for our sins. That's it in a nutshell, yeah? Yeah. Okay. In a nutshell. In a okay. very, yeah. Okay. Do you believe Ishmael in Genesis was a Trinitarian a Christian who believed that Jesus died for his sins? Ishmael. No, but... Nobody. You no, said no, no yeah. No one in the Old Testament. No one in the Old Testament. Okay. Knew about Jesus. Okay. Are you aware that in Genesis chapter seventeen, I believe verse nineteen, Abraham prays to God that may Ishmael live, literally in the Hebrews, before your face, which every Jewish scholar knows means within your presence. And are you aware that God accepts it, accepts that prayer that Ishmael will live in his presence? That's why in Genesis chapter twenty-one it says God was with the lad, meaning God's presence was with the lad. So how can someone who is not a Christian, according to your own admission, who doesn't believe in Jesus dying for his sins, how can he be in the presence of God if there's original sin? You're you're correct. You're correct. So and that's okay. why I go back. That's why that's why I go back. Oh, right, John, you're ready to become Muslim? No. Allah that's Allah. why he's I go correct. back. Go, go back. What, what was he correct about, John? Was he correct? And about? that's why no, he, he is correct. He's correct in interpretation of the presence of God. Okay. So being Drop in the, the presence mic. of God. So, oh, right. so, what does, so, what does, so what happened when Adam sinned then? And this is what you I said that many was out of the presence of God. And, right. So it's losing losing that citizenship. Losing that citizenship. So how, 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 how did Ishmael get that citizenship? No, he didn't get the citizenship. He didn't. Well he did. But the Bible differs with you though, John. Johanna. Right. No, no, yeah. So he, so he, he got so the presence because the, the presence of God, the presence of God that I speak, what I speak of, is more of an eternal presence. Oh no, right? you've changed the meaning of that now. I can't do <laughs> no, it. No, can I let it go now? <laughs> so it's not. It's not. It's not about changing. It's about no, no, the mean. citizenship of being in heaven. So losing but, that but, citizenship. Yeah, but I was never in heaven in the first place. That's on the other anyway. Yeah. Let me let me just say let, let, let me say one last last thing it's, before. That's like getting yeah, a second class ticket, you know, when yeah. you're yeah. aiming for the first class. John, uh, yeah, you speak Arabic, right? So I'm going to tell you uh, first in Arabic, oh. and I'll try. Inshallah, how the nasiha min? Say him. Yes, sir. Anta al Arab, tafham al-lugha al-Arabiya, taqra al-Quran. What is your wadeh? What's the hell? Yani, so my advice to you is you're Arab, you speak the Arabic language, read the Quran, it's so easy. We were born, alhamdulillah, with sinless. And anything Adam alayhi salatu salam did or Hawa alayhi salam is between them and Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave them. We don't inherit any of that. And look, each one of us will be held accountable for our own deeds. This is a test, this dunya is a test that was meant to be. And those that pass the test, alhamdulillah, will get to the place of Jannah. And may Allah protect us from a nar, from a jahannam. Very simple. Like the way you have complicated things. Uh, I mean, if I was, may Allah protect me. If I was Christian watching this show, I would have a headache. Right? As a Muslim, I would have a headache, except that, alhamdulillah, I know the truth already. So my advice to you, read the Quran. Open your heart. You're Arab. It will be very easy for you to know the truth. May Allah accept you. And when you want to do your shahada, call us back. We'll do it online. Alhamdulillah. Can, Just before you go, John. Can I, ask you, can I ask a question? No. All right. Okay. Let, me just leave you, let me just leave you with something before you go. Because it answers your original question. You ready? But there's no questions, more, more questions coming from you, John. Next time if you want, but not now. Okay. Allah said, Oh Adam, live with your wife in paradise and eat from wherever you please, but do not approach this tree or else you will be wrongdoers. Then Satan tempted them in order to expose what was hidden of their nakedness. He says, your Lord has forbidden this tree to you only to prevent you from becoming angels or immortals. And he swore to them, I am truly your sincere advisor. 
So he brought them their fall through deception. And when they tasted of the tree, their nakedness was exposed to them, prompting them to cover themselves with leaves from paradise. Then their Lord called out to them, did I not forgive you from that tree? And did I not tell you that Satan is your sworn enemy? They replied, our Lord, we have wronged ourselves. If you do not forgive us and have mercy on us, we will certainly be losers. Allah said, descend as enemies to each other. You will find in the earth a residence and a provision for your appointed stay. He added, there you will live, there you will die, and from there you will be resurrected. So this is this is the Islamic narrative. Yeah, this is just one part of it. If you read the Quran, you will find other other angles from the same story where where uh, Allah forgives them because of their slip, because of their mistake. And that's all it is. And the way you bring that up with interpretation to understand it is that Allah created this creation with free will, weak willed, with an enemy, knowing an enemy is approaching him. He knew that this creation was ready to come to the earth and exercise that free will when they made that slip, when they made that error, when they in even in the presence of Allah, even in in the paradise they were, they still chose the wrong way. And so Allah knew then they were ready to exercise free will. OK, now we know Allah says if this creation of mine didn't sin, I would wipe it from the earth and I would replace it with a creation that did. Because it's not the sin. The sin is the sin. Human beings, are, it's the repentance. It's the tawbah. It's the turning back. This is the evidence that you believe. When you turn around and look to the sky and say, I'm sorry, forgive me. This is evidence you believe in a creator, subhanAllah. It's the turning back. If you read your Bible in Ezekiel, it's the repentance that matters. If the, if the, if the wicked man turns from all of his wickedness and keeps my statutes, None of his wickedness will be reminded of him. It's the turning back. Allah wants to see you. You're weak. You've got an enemy, an invisible enemy that's attacking you daily. So, of course, you're going to make errors. Of course, you're going to make mistakes. We are not perfect. The Bible doesn't say we're perfect. And Adam's action in the garden demonstrated that we were never perfect for, to begin with. And Allah knows that. And he created us. And he gave us this nature. But he gave us a means to correct it. And we learned this in the in the story of um, Adam and Eve in the garden in Islam that just ask for forgiveness. Allah says, if your sins are as high as a mountain, my mercy is 10 times that mountain. You just got to ask. This is the beautiful thing. This is this makes things so simple. You know, when our children are born, our children are born pure. They're not accountable. We believe that the angel that records your deeds does not write on three occasions. First occasion it doesn't write is for the mentally insane. The second occasion it doesn't write is when you're sleeping. And the third occasion it doesn't write is for that what hasn't reached maturity, what child hasn't reached maturity. This is why we believe all children are born Muslims. Any, any Hindu who's got little kids, little four-year-old, five-year-old running around, unfortunately, they're all Muslims, alhamdulillah. When they reach that age of reasoning, that's when accountability will come upon them. Yeah? This is what we believe as Muslims. So your original question is what do we believe is that, which is in concordance with what the Jews believe, and it's you stuck in the middle, paradise, heaven, garden here, citizenship, no citizenship. How, how did Job get, um, was it Ishmael, sorry, as uh, Zakir said, how did he then get in the presence of God? I thought we'd been removed. There's so many questions to answer. Just relax, do what Sheikh Uthman says, take your shahada, come back to the one God. Assalamu alaikum. Take care. Would, uh, would, you, would, would you guys mind if I, if I join you in like future arenas? Just to ask you. Yeah. join us? As long as you come back, the only, the only way I'll allow that, I'm sorry? John, the only way I'll allow you to come back is when you come back and say, you know what, that last thing I spoke about, I was completely wrong. I've got something else that I've been looking at, but that last thing I was wrong. Well, if you're willing to do that, no problem at all. Or come back and say, after that time, you said this, that, the other, and here's a refutation to it. You can do that as well. Yeah, happily. But you're or not going to come with another question. <laughs> yeah, come take your <laughs> But you're not going to come up with another question until you either take back what you've said today or challenge what we said today. All right? Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Thank you, dude. Ta nice speaking to you, John. Hamza, would Inshallah, you mind if I... Yeah, soon. Would you mind okay. if I read that one quote that he wouldn't allow me to read? Yeah, do it, do it. Yeah, yeah. So, from the scholar, which he doesn't trust, he says this. Clement says, quote, and only a personal act can stain the soul. And then he goes on to say, his, his conception, he's speaking about... Um, Clement, his conception resulted most likely from a reaction to the Gnostics 
who held who held matter responsible for wrong. So it's explicit. People, and in fact, the Eastern Orthodox Church doesn't venerate Clement because of this, and many of the churches don't. Not only because of this other other things, but the fact of the matter is, if you look into it, you'll see that he quotes John uh, Job one twenty one, which I was just reading, which says, "You came into it and you had no sin or evil." And yet you're saying there's, wait, there's another interpretation of that. He literally says he came in naked with no sin or no evil. How could you possibly interpret that differently? So anyway, subhanAllah. Yeah. And that's that's why I chose him. I could have went to other church fathers, but I knew because he was Egyptian. I figured, oh, this guy's probably Coptic Christian. Let me go right. to this guy who's a saint in his church. And yet he's denying what he said. So. Is what Allah guide him. I mean, this is, this right. is where you this see next guy is coming on to tell us if he's done his homework. One second. <laughs> Case, have uh -oh. you done your homework? Case. Have you done your homework? Case. How are you hearing me? Yeah, we can hear you. Have you done your homework? Um, I will Hello? Not, I will not respond to this. Uh... All right. Case closed. Oh. <laughs> that was well. easy. I, fancy, I fancy an atheist. Are you an atheist? I'm assuming. Oh no, I see that avatar. I've seen that before. You, you're undercover, aren't you? Hello. Yellow. Yeah, Go on. So when you were talking with the first person, I really oh, no, not you. Dismissed. What was the other name you used last time? I, I usually use skeptic. What? What do you use? Skeptic. Ah, uh, we've dealt with you, though, man. What are you coming on to say now? But you have... Okay. So, the first person that was on, you guys dismissed the single cell organism. Oh, you want to deal with that? Yeah. Really? So, yeah. what's your position? <laughs> oh, my position is that we came from a single cell organism. All right. T tell us about it. Tell us all about it. Well, a single cell organism... Can Where did the single cell organism come from? Materials. From what Earth? materials? Okay, so wait one second. It Strap in your seatbelt. It could have come <laughs> from a variety of any materials and elements because... What are you talking about? As we know it, the human sperm is the smallest cell in the human body. It's single, and it's made up of lifeless vitamin C, zinc, postaglandins, protein, water, and sugar. It's not made up of up of. Where are you healthy. reading this from? Are you reading? Are you reading, reading this? This? <laughs> I think he's reading this. Where are you reading it from, brother? Go My ahead. Notes. Your notes. Where Where are they from? Google. You want me to switch this up? Well, if you've got notes on a paper, you came on to discuss something. You're literally reading it, and we have no idea where you're getting the information from. You see, when I gave a quote, I told you who the scholar was from. I told you where you can find it. I gave you the exact reference. You're just pulling it out of your hat. We, so are you are you rejecting it though? I'm not. I'm just asking you for the reference. Wait, you say uh, you got it in your notes. So the so just so I understand, sperm is made up of what? Um, it is made up of water, sugar, protein, vitamin C. What's water drink. made up of? Water is just made up of water. I, <laughs> I don't know how that's relevant? H2O, Come on, dude. H two O. You don't even know to say H two O. Come on, brother. Water is water. Not relevant. It's uh, lifeless. It's not relevant. You're gonna come what? on here and tell us about the the origins of life, and you can't even tell us what water is. Seriously. Listen. What, what's your name, bro? I don't want to really say it. Why? Can you, give, can you give us a fake name? This guy. I don't want to call you Godless. That sounds pretty. That sounds like I'm talking down to you, right? Um, John. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> he wants to be hey. John after the last guy. I don't know if All that's right. a good idea, but go ahead. Right. John Doe, uh, <laughs> do you know what the minimum gene concept is? No. Oh. But you're He's here. come on to talk about a single okay. cell. I mean, Sheikh, he what didn't even know about... the water was H2O. I mean, come on. No, no, but even a single cell, if you look at uh, cellular life, if it was to develop as life, it would have to have a minimum set of genes. Do you know what the National Institute of Health is? Well, it's an institute. The point is... <laughs> <laughs> and it's national. Wow. And it deals with health. 
Yeah, you're a genius. You guys don't actually seem to. Was, be that, was that your part of your PhD genius. thesis? Oh boy. Do, do, do you know who the National Institute of Health is, though? Do you, I know it's an institute. I know it's national. <laughs> Hold on, Jake. Health. Give him a second. Check your notes, buddy. Let us know what you come up with. Right. I can't believe this was a topic you picked. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna let you guys deal Whoa. with this one. I think this is too easy for me. No, this, this is, is like, this is bad. No, Honestly. I want to hear. I want to hear destruction. I want to hear grinding. I want to hear pestle you and mortar. Haven't given like a refutation. I said life can be made. You up haven't of given us anything to refute, brother. Refutation. Uh, I mean, what are you talking about? You guys, made John, how old are you? Single cell. How old are you, John? Eighteen. You guys. Are you sure you're eighteen? Yes. What year were you born? Two thousand ninety-eight. I mean, <laughs> you're from the future. Maybe he knows something about science that we don't know yet. If you're gonna make a fake year, at least keep it in the past, bro. If you wanna, if you're gonna go to the future. It doesn't work out. If oh, who's the president in 2098? That was. I didn't kick him. He just left. <laughs> oh, come on. Come back, John Doe. That was uh, I'll tell you what. You can have that was some fun. The <laughs> funnest guy we had. Tony, what's Salam. happening, mate? Salam. Yeah, I can hear oh, you. Damn. <coughs> I can hear you. Damn. You've I can had some wafflers on the show tonight, boy. I know. <laughs> and I think you've come to keep it up. Go on. Oh, no, wow. no, cool, no, no. I, I, even the Christian guy, I was shocked. What a waffler. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, listen, let's let's get some Can serious think, Rob, Rob, going. People were calling out for you. Bring on oh, Rob Darren, when I've, the other guy was on. I've, I've, I've come with a valid point, not like the other wafflers. Anyway, <clears throat> brothers, <throat> brothers, brothers in Rob, humanity. How are you? Brothers in humanity. How are you doing? Uh, my, you've got my favorite shake on. You've got my favorite shake. And that's know Mr. That. Uthman. Thank you. Definitely. Thank you. And you know, I've got a killer question for you, Mr. Uthman. A killer question. So, Love what it. I want to ask you, and it's not, uh, you know, I know Darren always gets very um, impatient with me, but this is a really serious one. It's a really serious one. Uh, I love, I told you before, I love your shows in, um, you know, San Diego and everything like that. I'd love to sit down and chat with you, maybe even do a debate. Come on but- down. What I wanted to ask you, Sheikh Uthman, mm-hmm. is the bell an instrument of Satan? What do you mean? In the, in, do, have you ever read the hadith? Because you're the hadith right. expert. Have you yeah, ever sure, seen but... that hadith where it says the bell is the instrument of Satan? I know where he's going with this. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, can you confirm that the bell is the instrument of Satan, uh, as spoken by the Prophet Sallallahu Rob, you can try to like um, trap him, but honestly, you're just gonna get refuted anyway. So get to the point. Okay, Zachary, I know where you're us, going. Zakir, humor us. Zakir, humor us. No, I know, I know where you're going to. You're gonna say that um, the bell is uh, um, basically um, a, a sound of Zachary, Satan, Zachary, and Zachary, then you're gonna Zachary, say that there's Zachary, a narration. Let, let, Okay. Let Jacob. Hey, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let Jacob answer it. Zakir, what, what he's gonna say? He's, he's gonna quote yeah. another narration where the Prophet peace be upon him said that the um, the wahi comes like basically a bell sound, etc. That's what he's gonna okay. say. Okay. Really, so Rob? Shake that that was that was your question. Okay. Yeah. It, so, Sheikh uh, Uthman, is the I got is the bell I got the instrument of Satan or not? Is it? Are you, are you done with your question? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So uh, the hadith, if I, and again, I'm just going off the top of my head here. The hadith I believe you're referring to is the hadith of Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu that's in Sahih Muslim, right? That hadith, uh, if you look yeah, at this... It might be or it could be Nasai, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So Sunan and Nasai, would, then you'd have to discuss weakness and strength, but Sahih Muslim is all Sahih, so uh, let's go with that. In the explanation of the hadith, the use of the bell for as when they use it in musical instruments or as uh, to try to use in certain religious rituals that would be used for shirk and so on would be where the use of it would be that of shaitanic origins, right? But the other right, hadith you're talking right. about, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, let me answer, bro. So I'm just going to save you some breath, bro. 
So, uh, because this question comes all the time. So, I, I mean, I was expecting a better question from you, but it's all right, Rob. You're, you're getting there. Um, so, uh, the other hadith when you're talking about wahi, the Rasul والسلام, is explaining something that cannot be explained in human terms, meaning it's something supernatural. So, he's giving an example. Okay? Not that there's literally a bell being hit or something like this, but he's giving an example that when the wahi comes, it grabs your attention. Do you understand? Do you understand, Rob? Rob, I'm basically, just to, I'm Rob, just to add to that, it's, it's, an, it's, a, it's basically an example that, you know, like when you buy a bell and a bell rings, it's like the effects all around you. That's what the, when the revelation used to happen, it used to be like overwhelming all around the Prophet. It weren't literally someone whacking on a bell. So your whole um, Google article, wherever you looked up on um, David no, Wood's no, blog, no, no, no. Sunna, hasn't Sunna done Sunna anything. Sunna.com. Sunna. Sunna. Okay. So, Rabbi, I advise you next time, don't just look at the reports. Look at what the actual Muslim scholars say no, but, um, but, when but they Rob, explain the reports. Rob, Rob, did you look this up like in the... I mean, I, I don't, do you speak Arabic, Rob? I forgot. Uh, I don't. I know one or two okay. words, but I don't speak Arabic, All right. no. All right. So, I mean, I was going to say you can look in the Sharh, the explanation of Sahih Muslim. For example, in Nabawi, he, he dealt with this issue. If you look in, in Nisai, you can look at, like, for example, the explanation of a Sindhi. But if not, I mean, this, this has been explained for centuries already. I mean, that, that's not something new, right? I mean, there's articles online that explain this issue from both narrations, explaining the wordings, explain the context. So a bell in respond? it of itself... Go ahead. Can, can I respond? Can I respond, Chase? Yeah, go ahead, sure. Yeah. So we've got one hadith where it says that the revelation came to Muhammad in the sound of a bell... That's not what it says. It does say that. It does say that. Can, and then we've got the another hadith can, 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 no, where, no, where it the says the sound no, 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 of the bell is a specific instrument. Give us the reference. Give us the reference, Robbie. What? Oh, Rob. Let's go with it. I'm bold with that. Oh, come on, man. No, I don't like him. Simo. Hello. I, I want to talk about uh, praying as it, as it's, uh, the main issue why I left religion. I will talk about how. Uh, oh, stop, 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 stop! You left Islam. Yeah. How old are you? Seventeen. Wow, uh, you're too young, bro. You need to be eighteen to be here. Oh, my bad. I didn't know that. How old were you when you well, left Islam? Um, about a year ago. I was sixteen. No, I can't. I can't give you a pass, bro. You have to come back when you're 18. Sorry. Forgive well, me. When, when, you, when are you turning 18? Did he leave or you cut him? He left. Okay. Huh. All right. When you turn 18, come back. But in the meanwhile, go to a masjid next to you and talk to him out. Inshallah, a good scholar will clear up everything else. Doctor uh, Mike. But He muted, my friend. Doctor. Okay. Sorry. Sorry about that. Hey, um, I just want to ask uh, my Sheikh, Sheikh Uthman. Um, Sheikh Uthman, thank you very much. Uh, I really love your, your show. I always enjoy it. I have a question for you. Thank you. First thing, I just want to thank you. Yeah, the question is, a uh, couple of days ago, uh, your friend David Wood was uh, saying that he will be suspended indefinitely from uh, uh, YouTube. I think he already had um, three strikes. What do you, what do you think about this? Allahu Akbar. <laughs> oh, 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 hold on. Uh, first thing, uh, I just want to appreciate your good mannerism. I mean, you know. So uh, thank you. Uh, secondly, uh, I, I don't watch David Wood's channel. I have no idea what happens on his channel. I don't recommend anybody else to watch his channel. It's a waste of time because most of the stuff that he puts forward when he comes face to face that he's been putting, he gets re refuted. He doesn't know the basics of Islam or Arabic or Quran or Hadith. He just looks for stuff. So, so I mean, even 20 something years he's been at it and he hasn't had enough dig dignity, dignity to even try to research some of the things. So why waste your time? I don't know about him getting three strikes or one strike or two strikes or his channel coming up or down. Doesn't really matter to me. Um, you know, may Allah guide him uh, and us and put us all on the truth. That's it. May I repeat? Allahu Akbar. <laughs> uh, thank, thank you guys thank Good you any other questions about Islam Dr. 
I'm a Muslim, so there's no. Oh, mashallah. Barakallah. So I'm I'm glad you watched the channel. Mr. Ribat, check out the Durus as well on that channel so we can uh, develop all the Muslim brothers. Appreciate it. Oh. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, you muted, mate. Hello. 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 Goodbye. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> the, the funny, I'm assuming this guy's a Muslim now as well. Hello. Um, so the, the thing I find the funniest is um, Rob calling the other Christians wafflers, and he was the biggest waffler. Oh, bro! Yeah, I said, but, but that's funny because he he came with this like this energy, and, and you know Rob, he's talked to me before, so I expected like a really hard. So I was like, oh man, somebody some new questions going to take me off. Oh no, this Rob is wrong. About the belt. Ibn Hajjid explained in Fath al-Bari, and then we explained in Sahih Muslim. We, we've answered this on the on the table like a hundred times. That's it, Rob? Seriously? I thought you could do better than that, bro. Habay, are you a Muslim? Habay, Habay, are you a Muslim? You're not that that you're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're all Muslims in the backstage here. Oh, just give really? some Salam, are you a Muslim? Yeah. Yeah, so I like that. But I am I am. Yeah, you've, you've got nothing. Uh, got oh, this is going to be an interesting one. I think he's a Muslim. <clears throat> mm. He's got a Muslim name, but then his YouTube name is something else. So let's see. Yeah, yeah mate. New Muslim. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Come on. <laughs> well, at least let him say what? So. Uh, your God, Majid Rabat is the best channel. All right. Hey, Salam alaikum. 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 Is this going to be a troll here? No, I don't think so. Majid Rabat is the best channel. It's like an advertisement. I don't Salam know. Alaikum. Wait and see. Labas, Bikhair, Muziyam, Zwina. Hello? Uh, I'm sorry, my Arabic is bad, so I was hesitant. Say what? I was just saying, well, I Muslim. Are you a Muslim? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, are, you, are, you, are you are you female I'm or are you a child? Huh? Are you female? Yeah, I'm. I'm just a bit worried. That's why my voice just changes. No, no, no I'll be honest with you. I do make exception for sisters because they hardly get a, a, a shout. So if you want to ask the sheikh some questions about something, I'll, I'll allow that. I don't mind. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I did have a. I'm Maghribi, I'm assuming, and you know, my wife is Maghribi, and she wouldn't let me hear the end of it. So, oh, kinda... now we got nationalism. Into I've this. had questions I wanted to ask for a long time, but I'll just ask one of them. Um, okay. so actually, also, uh, I was watching a video of a sheikh which who said that Allah has two eyes, and then they gave um hadith to kind of uh, explain why. And one of them was that the, um, the Jav no, sorry. When uh, Prophet peace upon him was explaining, he said that Allah is not one-eyed. And he said that this means that he has two eyes. But someone kind of raised the question about like, one eye doesn't indicate two, it may be like more than two. So I was curious, like, mm -hmm. is there consensus among the scholars or is this good, like- Good um, question. Mashallah, you're, you're an advanced student, I can tell. Uh, if you watch the Majdaribad channel, as I probably think you can, but you do because I see the title of your uh, names there, mashallah. Uh, we have a series on Aqeedah uh, under Lumati Atiqad, and we discuss this issue with Adilla and things, but I'll give you a short answer. We believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has described about himself and as the Prophet والسلام, has described about him. And this is something where we see many other ahadith and references, including from Sahaba and so on, referencing, showing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sifat like the aynain, like the two eyes or the yad uh, and id, in a way that befits Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We do not make the shbih of the makhluk. We do not say it is like the creation. But we believe in everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has described about himself in a way that befits him. And just to make it clear, لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ There is nothing that can be an example to the example of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we never make the shbih of the makhluk. Uh, just from a linguistic perspective, I will explain that to you, right? For example, if you go to a mountain, we say the mountain has a foot. This is the foothills. This is the foot of the mountain, right? But that doesn't mean that it's anything like me and you and our feet, right? But we also cannot deny that the mountain has a foot, right? 
So when we talk about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever Rasulullah SAW said about him and whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala introduced himself with, we believe in it without asking how. Bila kayfiya. We don't deny it. We don't say, oh no, it means something else because that would be to deny the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We believe in it as it is. Bila kayf. Without asking how. Regarding the Aynain, we have a whole dars on this, inshallah, so you can get all the adilla and things uh, on there. So, if I watch the video, it will clarify. I, I'm not sure if you understood my question. or if I, I, I did, I did, I did. I, I, okay. Like I said, so we have, uh, if you go to Mizribat channel, go to the playlist, there's Islamic Aqeedah. I think there's 50 uh, yeah, some odd was, groups. I'm currently watching those videos. Yeah. Excellent. When you get to the Sifat, we go over the wajh, the yad, the aynain, all of that with all the additional evidences and the qual of the earlier mm -hmm. imma and ulema uh, from the salaf of this ummah, Abu Hanifa and Malik and Shafi and Ahmad and those that follow them in goodness. Inshallah, you'll get, I just don't want to go deep into it in this channel here because it's not okay. the, the place to for it. So. Can I ask one, uh, one, like, one more question? It's just yes or no. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Um, like a few, I think months ago, someone mentioned about how so I know, as far as I've heard, all the like scholars or people on the internet, everyone says that um, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he is the best of the prophets. So I was curious, is is this like a consensus among the scholars? or Sure. Are there... It, it is. Uh, when we say the best, Ashraf al-Anbiya, if you look at the earlier works on Aqeedah, they clarify this as well. What does it mean that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honored him to be the last of all the prophets and the leader of mankind? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ana Sayyid ibn Adam bila fakhr. Yani, and I am the, the Sayyid, the leader of, of the children of Adam. And I'm saying this without any pride. This, the Prophet ﷺ explained this. Because it's something that Allah had conveyed for him to tell us. Meaning on the Day of Judgment, for example, he is the one that will make shifa for, for all of mankind. He will be the first one for the shifa. And his ummah was the last. And he was like the final break. We don't mean this like as if we're trying to put down any other prophet. That's why when some of the people, they said, the Prophet is better than Nuh and another hadith he said better than Musa alayhum wassalam. Rasulullah said don't say this right we don't compare and say oh our Prophet is better than their no but we do admit to the status of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam that he was Ashraf al-Anbiya he was the best the last and the most honored of the Prophets okay thank you keep so watching the channel I can't believe you said I can ask question. one question and you can answer yes or no all right take care my sister <laughs> Masalama. Right, John is back. John is back. Now, is John back to concede or is John back to contest? Uh, just need you to come back on and say one word, if you don't mind, John. Concede or contest? I Can you guys hear me? Okay. I actually came back just to, just to write a message for you, just to say thank you for having me. Oh, no problem. No problem at all, man. Thank you, John. We appreciate your good manners, John. I mean, I I would like to. I have other questions, honestly. Like, on, I had I came prepared with four questions, and you, you can ask another question. We've only got Muslims. one question. One second, John. John, we've only got Muslims in the back chat, so ask away. No, no, I'll, I'll come back in a different arena if you want. Like, a no, 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 no. There's, there's only Muslims in the back chat, so um, oh. you've got the floor. Floor's yours, mate. Oh, God bless See, you. See, Hamza's nice. Who said Hamza's not nice? Who said Hamza's not nice? He's some kind of tyrant. He's sometimes carrying in other videos. Rob has come back as if like he's coming to do anything. Anyway, go on, John. Ask your next question. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, actually, sorry. Stop, stop, stop. I wouldn't be becoming, though, if if I didn't address the previous point, though. Yes, go ahead. We have to have some closure on it. Can't just leave it. So, so like Hamza said, you can come back on, but you have to either admit that you were wrong or bring us some new evidence. That you got to stick to your rules, Hamza. If I were you, John, I just admit you were wrong and and try and come with a stronger point next time. I again, guys, honestly, when I came, I came here. I didn't came to debate Christianity versus Islam. I had a question about an Islamic view, honestly, and I wanted I, that was not my. All right, you got your answer, right yeah? and you're wrong. I never said that Quran or or right, Islam right, was wrong. I just wanted to ask questions. That's all. Would that all be right. okay? Thank you. Um, question on, on the Trinity. Um, just like in the, in the question of Adam and Eve, what is the view of Islam is Tawheed. I don't understand that. Why is the Trinity, or what, is, what, what do Muslims think, think that Christians think about the Trinity? Because all the Christians, we, we know, and I'm sure you guys know, that Christians think one God, 
three persons. Do you know you know what's so funny, John? You've put yourself in the middle of the Jews and the Muslims again. <laughs> You're the odd one out That's again. Fine. I'm just I'm not asking. I'm asking from what do you I guys know, think? But... <laughs> You keep. So, so I'm when, gonna, when, I'm the way you ask me, John. Okay, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me explain. Let me John, explain. one second, John. John. When, the problem, yes, the problem is with these questions you're asking, right? The way you ask the question is like Islam is the anomaly. It's like no, Islam. No, no, is no, no. no, no, no. One second, one second. I'm not, I'm just, you're, you're Muslim. John, John, please. Your view. Listen. Listen. The way you ask these questions, it's a kind of a way that Islam is an anomaly to the previous revelations. And that. It's Islam that's got this newfangled thinking, and previously it's not. But if you look, just as original sin, the Jews don't believe in Trinity. The Muslims, we don't believe in Trinity. You guys in the middle are the odd ones out. Now, the, the way you spoke about Trinity, I speak to Christians all the time, and so does Hashim, so does Zakir, so does uh, the Sheikh, and so does Jake. And you don't have the same understanding of Trinity. You don't even have the same understanding of Jesus. Forget Trinity. What was the nature of Jesus? Fully man, fully God may, or not? If I may. But anyway, asking, anyway. So just to understand your question, good, you're asking good. us Muslims how we think Christians understand the Trinity. Is that what you're asking? Right. Well, the, yes. And the reason I ask because right. different when I speak to different Muslims have different ideas. They say uh, Mary is is part of the Trinity. Shut uh, up, John. Muslim. John, shut up. I'm going to tell you to shut up because no Muslim no, no, says no, that I'm to just, you. I'm here to ask John, you John. Guys, no Muslim tells that to you. So you're I'm lying. Sorry? No Muslim I ever says to you, I no swear, Muslim okay. ever says to you, the Trinity includes Mary. <clears throat> okay. No, no way. I'm, I'm, there's no okay. reason for me to lie. John. I have, I have no, no, no. no John, 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 John. No Don't come on here. Don't come on here lying. No, you've never spoke to a Muslim. No to. One second, John. You've never gone up to a Muslim and say, Abdullah, um, I want to know, what do you think we believe about the Trinity? And the Muslim's gone, well, you believe that Mary and Jesus and um, the Father are uh, three, but one. No one's ever said that to you. Every single Muslim will say, you Christians, you believe the Father, Son and Holy Spirit are three. That's it. No one's ever said Mary to you. Don't bullshit. Please. <laughs> John, uh, John. Let, let, let the, let the ex-Christians yeah. here like so, Jake uh, or maybe yeah. ha Hashem's expert as well and, and Brother Zach. Did I hear the answer. Answer. I just feel like I, I hate blatant BS. Hashem. Yeah. I, I think it's just for John, Hashem. Hashem's the Trinity killer, right? I, I heard well, the Trinity. Hashem. Before, Hash, before Hashem kills the <laughs> Trinity, I just want to get a clarification from John because I, I yeah. want him to understand our position as well. John, you Christians say that you believe that there's three persons who share the same divine essence. Is that correct? It, it's it's very it's complicated, but yeah. It, okay, uh, yeah. simply. Yeah. So yeah. the the Muslim doesn't class that as monotheism. We cla that's yeah. like polytheistic. Now, do yeah. you class that as monotheism? Yeah. And, and okay. there's an explanation behind it, but I, I'm okay. trying to understand the Muslim. Okay, I'm just asking it. you. Yeah. No yeah, explanation at the moment. So what if today another religion emerges that says that they believe that there's five billion persons sharing the same divine essence? Would you class them as monotheists? Your 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 <laughs> argument is valid. Uh, oh, no, I'm right asking you a simple question. Valid. A simple question. If if a new per, um, sect or religion emerges today and they believe that God is one essence, but um, has five billion persons that share the same divine essence. Would if you class that believe, uh, religion if, as a if monotheist? That's what they believe, if that's what they believe, if that's what they believe, that's what they would believe. You, would you class you, them as monotheists, uh, that they believe in one God? I wouldn't class them as, no, I wouldn't class them as anything, because that's a whole religion of, no, of their own. No, no, I, I'm not so asking you whether they're religious. In, in other words, would you John, class me as monotheist? Your question is, I, I don't class you as monotheist. Right, I don't exactly. so, because so I believe that argument. in reality. Right. Okay. Right. So I'm asking you. Your, your question is why stop at three, right? Why stop at three? <laughs> if, if, if no, you know, I'm not asking why stop at question. three. What cool. I'm asking you, John, is if three persons sharing the div uh, one divine essence is monotheism according to you, then why isn't five billion persons sharing one divine essence also monotheism? Good question. It is a good question, and I don't, I don't have an answer for you because you don't. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have an answer for you because again, uh, your, your main question is 
but this is not again i have four questions that i want to ask guys that's all. okay john questions. john your que your question is very simple muslims understand the trinity we reject it because it's false for numerous reasons why because yeah. we don't believe that god ever taught it we don't believe that the prophets ever taught it and we don't believe that it makes any sense for primarily the one of the reasons that zach here just brought up that you claim it's monotheistic but in reality upon analysis it's really not okay but we can go into more and more details as to why we think it's false. But that's just the basics of it. Right. And this is what I want to get at. Why, what's the major reason you guys think it's false other than... Well, well, like, what, he, what he just yeah. said. First of all, you're claiming for it to be monotheism, but you yeah. have no way to actually show how there's only one God. You say the Father's God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit's God, and they're not each other. Well, it follows from that that you have three gods, not one. So how okay. do you explain, how do you explain to us how your Trinity is only one God? What is it about it that actually preserves okay. monotheism? Okay. All right. No, that, that's a valid argument. And I, I would like to ask my, my third question, if that's okay. Well, what? yeah, that's one point. Hold on, because we, we got to talk yeah, more ahead, about the ahead. Trinity business. Second thing is you believe in the Nicene Creed, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So you believe in a God that was begotten, that was caused by the Father. In one essence, in, in, uh -oh. in, in, in from existence, yes. Okay, yeah, but the point because, is, because, you believe word, that God be can be caused. No, but the God oh, okay, doesn't, right. Right. So, so, so you want me is, to explain is, to you what your church father said about the right, Nicene no, Creed? So, no, no, or are you going to tell no, me I'm going to misrepresent all of them? No, too? your your interpretation of begotten, your interpretation of begotten is correct, but it's oh. it's not eternal. So it is the, eternal. It's eternally well, begotten. No, no, no. I meant, I meant, um, not, I meant it is. <laughs> Does that even make eternal, sense? Eternally not, begotten, not eternal. But can I just ask? What are you talking about? My, it's not eternal. Can I ask my third question? Well, can you I brought up the Trinity. Question? Hold on a second, brother. You brought <laughs> up the Trinity, and now you want to just g fly by after you had no answer of how it's monotheistic. Now I'm bringing up a second problem, which the Quran directly refutes by lam yilad wa lam yulad, and you yeah. are you're not willing to even talk about your Nicene Creed. I don't understand. Because the. the because the interpretation of begotten here doesn't mean I'll, giving birth. I'll, how about I tell mean giving birth? Oh, yeah. it's not. How about I tell you that it does? How it's about not I physical. How, how about I prove? Well, I'm not saying it's physical, but it's that the father caused the son eternally, and that the son is dependent upon the father in a way that the father is not dependent upon the son. That is correct. You, the that's, that's, you are, you are one hundred percent correct in that. <laughs> okay, I'm correct. So your God can be dependent. Is dependent. Ouch. That that's answer. The answer is yes, John. You believe in a God that is dependent. We don't. We believe Allah okay. Summa. So, He's not dependent. Okay, that's all right. I'm I'm just writing I'm just writing it down. I'm writing I'm writing everything you say. Write it down, down baby. I mean that's yeah, that's your whole so, so, so the issue the issue is John, you see these three guys here. Hey, you're fine. Uh, no, I'm you're... just gonna give you a place to go to get more information, John. Go ahead. The three go guys ahead, here, me, uh Hashim and um Sheikh Uthman, we did a whole stream on this concept of Nicene Creed. From an Islamic perspective, what your your perspective is, I went through a whole list of quotes from the church fathers and all the different problems with it. We went through yeah. all that. We did a stream, I don't know, guys, was that a week ago or so? Yeah, yeah. It, it is on the Dawa Wise channel. <laughs> yeah, so go it check in. it out. Just go and watch it. It's on, where, where? on Dawa Wise. So you see under next to my name, Next to hourwise.com, you'll find all the links there. And that was last week, guys? Okay. Um, monthly? Yeah, how long ago was it? Matter no, it was, it was just two just weeks look, ago. You'll find it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Find it. Can, can, can I ask my question? Yeah, what's your, what's your you. other question? All right, Saran, um, come, into the, Saran no. come, in, come on with your claim, okay? Well, carry on, sorry. If... We in, in Christianity and in Islam, we agree that God is all knowing and all powerful. Would that be a correct statement? 
We do. I don't know if you do. But well, I mean, America. I was going to say, if we, we, we can speak for Islam, yes. <laughs> but if you say Christianity and then you say Jesus is God, then, then we'd have to talk about yeah, being all-knowing and all-powerful, yeah. right? So, right. So did you guys hear, there, so in, 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 in the history of Christianity, there is a lot of heresies. There is one of the heresies called adoptionism. Yeah. Is any of you familiar? Okay. Okay. So do you mind if I ask a question about that? About what? Adoptionism? Yeah. In Christianity or in well, Islam? You're, yeah, we're right. asking five Muslims. You just asked the question. It's got all powerful and knowledgeable. Yeah, I mean, so how are we going to let that slide, John? It was just make it a but John, listen. Okay, so here's, here's my question. Here's my question. I'm so sorry. I'll get to the point. Okay. Um, God created man with both a physical body and a soul. With yeah. that and free will. Now, in, in my understanding is there is free will in everything except the day you were born and the day you die. No. Nope. What? That's wrong. Okay. What are you talking about? What, what, so what, what's right? So I'm, I'm wrong. What's right? I okay, mean, how so, does this even have to do with adoptionism? I don't know, but go ahead, Sheikh. I, I, I mean, free will in the sense... powerful and knowledgeable. <laughs> I'm still stuck yeah, on that. I, yeah. That it's was like, your question. John, well, you, you, you kind of, you were in trouble with the original sin thing, and then you came back to talk about Trinity and Incarnation? <laughs> Just like I'm talking about free will here. I'm talking free will. Reach out, brother. Salam alaikum, Zakir. Reach out. Bye, Zakir. Bye, John. Salam. So, John, just just to be clear, I mean, for example, things like your eye color, or you were where you're born, or what, what color your hair you will have, what gender you are. You don't know free will any of that, right? That's all Allah subhanahu wa wrote in Qadr for you that Allah wrote. For example, is it going to rain today or not? I don't have free will in that, right? So all of okay. those things are not in your control, not just about when you're born and die. Um, uh, when you talk about uh, Qadr, I mean, that's a whole different subject. I don't know if you're, that's where you're going. But, uh, but you know, just, just to understand that... Uh, there are things in life that you do not have any control over and those things you will not be questioned for. Okay? And then there are things in life that you do have control over, like whether you pray or not, whether you fast, whether inshallah you will become Muslim or not, and those you will be questioned for. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, is that it? The reason, the, reason, the, reason I said, the reason I said God is all-powerful, so my question would be, and and then I know this did not happen, but would God be able to create? Is is that a part of ability? Create man without free will? Is that is God able to do that? He doesn't have to. He he that that would be wrong and all of that. But I'm asking: Is the capability here a man without free will? Is that is that something that God is capable of? Can God create man with free will? Without free will. No, without, without a person, just a person, not human, not humans. I'm just saying one person. I, I, yeah, what's the, yeah, what's angels. Angels. They call angels. Yeah, we call them angels. <laughs> yeah. So angels but, don't have free will? No, no, yeah, no. So, so they cannot sin. They do not have the option to uh, sin like the way we do. I mean, I mean just, just, just before you go too far into that path, let me just explain yeah, the yeah. Islamic creed on this, right? Yeah. Which is yeah. we don't ask, can Allah? Right? Okay. We say Allah. Allah is able to all to do all things, but we do not. This is the where, where we draw the line with kalam and falsafa and all that. We don't go into those things. What we say is, okay. we can only tell you what Allah has told us in the Quran. What okay. the Prophet ﷺ told us. We don't go into this hypotheticals of could, could, and maybe, right? Because that will lead you to making, can there be a square circle? Can there be a, a tall, short guy? Like, we, we don't go into all of that, right? Allah can do Anything he wants, subhanahu wa ta'ala, there are certain restrictions Allah has put upon himself with his honor and dignity. And what we say is what Allah has done. We don't go into hypothetical debates. Yeah. Okay. So was Satan, Satan didn't bow to Adam when God, when God asked him, okay, was Satan at that point before, before that he was an angel, right? No. He was not. What, what kind of creation you, 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 Hold on, hold on, John. You're, you're in Egypt. Yeah, there's a problem here. Uh, were you raised in Egypt? No, so let me... Let me. Uh, because, because um, I mean, I think most Coptics that are raised with Muslims already already know the answer, which is in the Quran, who am in al-jinn. He is from the jinn. He is not from the okay, malaika. So, so, so the jinn has free will? 
Yes. yes. Yeah. The jinn and ins. Allah uh, yani al hayat li ablakum. This all this these references are for jinn and insan, right? And they, and they the jinn have... wal insa illa li abudun. Here Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "I did not create the jinn or in for my earth." So the test is for both jinn and insan. Okay, so God created angels with free will, and then he created... Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. God created angels without free will, and then he created jinn and, uh, and, 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 and human beings with free will. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. So what I was trying to get at here, if God would, and this, is, this is, would be my argument, if God created a man without a free will, what would that be like? And this is, this is what, 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 this, this, this is what's called ad adoptionism. And this is what, right, what I was getting I already answered that question, right? No, no, no. no. Okay. If, if, if a man or some, a creature was created without free will, what does that mean? No, it's, it, well... It Whose will do they use then? It has an implication. If angels, for example, if angels... No, 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 no. If, if a yeah. creature doesn't have free will, whose will yeah. are they following? God's will. That's it, angels. Right. Yeah, that's what we believe about angels. Right. So, so here's here's my follow up then. So, angels. Um, I guess uh, Gabriel spoke to Mariam, and and if if I am talking to a creature without a free will, am I talking to that creature or am I talking to God? You're talking to the creature. What are you talking? About? <laughs> so, so for example, if the creature, no free will. So the creature has no, no free no, will. No. Yeah. Hold on. It doesn't matter if he has free will or not. John, it John, if he John. Has free will or for not. example, for let me, let me give you an example, John. And I, again, I'm not. I, I hate hypotheticals, but I'm just going to give you an example here, right? Let's say there's That's a robot. That's not a hypothetical, and, though. That's not a hypothetical. Hold on. Hold on. This is sort, I'm sort, giving. Sort of Mariam, but go ahead. No, 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 no. John, John. I, you I think... Yeah, go ahead. Let, let, me, let me just give you a very simple. Okay. Let's say I have a robot. I'm giving you hypothetical. That's what I was saying. And and I programmed that little robot to send a message to my wife. And I say, hey, t -t 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 -t, you know. Go there. The robot goes, it delivers the message. He, the robot, is delivering that message to my wife, right? He's not talking back to me because I'm the one that sent him, right? But it right. is doing my will. I told it to go do that, right? Now, if I tell my son, my son might forget. My son might, you know, decide that, you know what, I don't want to give the message because he's going to put me in trouble and I'm not going to play video games or something, right? He has that free will. The robot doesn't. There you go. Yeah, yeah, we could even give examples from nature. John, do you think yeah, yeah, that, I was gonna say that John, do you think that a plant has free will? I, I actually want to say yes. You want to say yes. So what's what's yeah. the free what's the free will that an apple tree has? Can it choose and say, you know what, the hell with it. I'm not gonna grow no apples. apples this year. Or, yeah. 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 Or, or, or could it be like, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a banana. Yeah, there's actually okay, so if you're saying that Plants don't have free will. Then you need to actually ask some scientists because it's it's oh, been come on, Johnny. they can react. John, can react. Yeah, okay, John, 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 let's say make it simpler. Does a rock have free will, John? Yeah. Um. That's no. So the answer is okay. no. I'm not. Okay. And if you in whatever, whether you want to do it or not, you you start talking to a rock. Are you talking to God? The rock, the rock doesn't reply back. The rock doesn't say anything. Okay, so I'm what's your point? I'm, I'm not, so you can, point is, you can talk to something that doesn't have free will, and it doesn't imply that you're therefore the creature is God. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. It's the same thing with the dog. My, my, I my, the implication, the implication that I'm getting, yes, sir. I could talk to an animal. I could talk to a plant. I could talk to a dog and say, hey, do this or that or whatever. It doesn't mean that I'm talking to God just because I don't believe that the rock or the animal has free will. That doesn't make any sense. There might be a well, misunderstanding here. People, when they say that uh, angels don't have free will, that does not mean they don't have intellect. So they, allow, they ask questions. They communicate. Yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't mean like the angels are like robots completely in the sense that no. they cannot interact with their uh, environment and with. It means they don't do evil. That's it. Yeah, yeah. They, they do, do what they're. A lot of they do what they're commanded. commanded. They're do what they're I mean, commanded. Simple. Even if even if you look at AI, I mean, Siri asks questions, right? Siri, yeah. do you want to make that call? Are you sure. Yeah. But, hey, you know, your, your location is closed. Better route come up, right? But. But, but when you talk about free will is when you have the ch choice to choose between obeying and disobeying, right? So humans and jinns have that choice. Malaika obey. 
even though they give their input, there are there are living creatures that were created out of Noor and so on. But I don't even know where this is going. Like like again, no, my, my going, my, I was going that if you have a creature with no free will, there's an implication that you are communicating with God directly. That's, that's no, that's, that's, yeah, that's false. That's that's just, fine. Just, uh, no, no, what you, I, I think the nearest you can get to it, oh, John, yes. I'll, I'll explain. Right. The nearest you right. can get to it, the nearest you can get to it is God, a, a king sending a messenger. The, the, the messenger that is coming with the representation of the king and has the authority of the king, but he's, he's not the king. That's, okay. the best, like, that's the best analogy I can come up with. So you, the, he's just okay. the guy's guy, but he can only say what's on the message. He's not come to, do you get me? Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, can, I ask my, can I ask my fourth question? Oh, okay. no, no, no. Okay. Maybe, okay. maybe stick around. If we if we got no more guests, then maybe. Okay, yeah. no worries. I appreciate right. you guys. Thank you. I, I Thank feel you. your questions have drained my brain. Take care, dude. <laughs> Those were easy. So talking I, of brain drain, his snoop. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, snoop. I know who that is. <laughs> okay. Um, go on. Come on, young Welsh. Come on, man. Speak don't, up. Don't be, don't be I can't hear you. Hello. Hello. Why is he pretending? He left. I, I didn't kick him. He left. Who, who, who is this it? guy's got a dodgy, is that a dodgy? Do you think that's a dodgy avatar? He needs to change or what? Ah, uh, nah, it's okay. It's all right, yeah. All like, right, John seventeen. Like. John seventeen three ministers ministries. You are on. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Okay. That's an interesting oh, I... uh, emoji or icon, whatever that is. Are those like Orthodox Jews with like laser eyes or something? Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny, but um... what does it mean? <laughs> um, I don't know. I thought it was kind of funny, but is it just like a mockery of Jews or something? No, 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 no. I mean, I could change it if you want to. No, no, no. I mean, it doesn't matter to me. Is that Zakat Knight? Doctor yeah. Zabu? Okay, I'll put something better. I mean, are you Muslim? No, no, no. I'm not Muslim. Okay. I'll no, you're not Muslim. Okay. What's All your right. question? Wait, is, is this is my first time, right? Um, is this a, it's like open? Like I could just say anything. Yeah, like, go ahead. Ask anything. You got okay, free will. So, how old, how old are you? Yeah. Come on, man. Seventeen. Too uh, young, buddy. Go be eighteen. Too young. For, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Right. I I I become eighteen in in a month. See you in so, a month. Call us back in a month. I think he was just lying you in when he said seventeen. <laughs> you think he was lying? He sounded I young. I, I, I don't want to judge his intent, but call us back in a month when you're eighteen. There you go. Yeah. Uh, let me try Snoop again. Snoop, are you on? Snoop Dogg? The, the original. <laughs> I don't know who Snoop is. Hello? Hi. Uh, let me just turn um, your... Can you wrap? Turn your mic up a bit. Yeah, go on. Very very quickly. I'm not going to take much, much of your time. Um, what the guy was trying to say, the previous guy, um, was it John? Um... He was trying to explain um, the oneness of God. Looking in the Old Testament, it says, Hail, Hail Israel, the Lord thy God is one. And it says the yeah. same in the New Testament, the Lord, Hail, Hail Israel, the Lord is one. So when, yeah. we say, when we say Father, Son, and Holy, and Holy Ghost, it's not three gods now. They haven't changed. It's, it's still one God, but he's manifested himself as, as, as three. So, okay, so can you explain how there's only one? Are they each God? So, as I said, is one one God, Jehovah, one Yahweh. Yeah. What makes them one? What What's the thing that makes them one God? So, um, can, can we one, can we can we let Hashem take this one just just for fun? No, no, that's fine. That's fine. No, no, come on, me, me and Jake no, are tearing people up, but we got we got to we got to hear Hashem. <laughs> I just love the way Jake responds to this. But go on, go on. Jake, Jake, that's what Jake's I'm on it, mashallah, and Allah bless him. But, but let, let's hear Hashem, man. I, I just want to. Give everybody a chance. I've dealt with uh, Snoop in the park already, so let Jake have a it's go. Okay. Okay. So one Jehovah, one God. Yeah, it's very simple. But he now has has expressed himself as Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Is is as simple as that. I yeah, mean, but are they are they eternal? How could he, how how can you not? How can you say three gods when it's, when it's still one? Are, well, I the mean, question is, how are they one? That's what we're trying to get down to. Are they yeah. three eternal persons? It's just one. How it's just one? one what? One Jehovah, one one God. But yeah, but when you say three manifestations, right? That's right. Yeah. Are they eternal? They're, are they eternally three, it's, or they're in virtue of creation they become three? It's just it's just one, one. Okay, let me let me. Okay, just what is the one? Ask then? him, Jake. 
<laughs> it'll get easier. So who died on the cross? One or three? That's what I'm trying to say. Now, in the New, in the New Testament, he's now expressed himself as man, but, he, but he's still one complete. Okay, but now, so who died on the cross? One or three? Answer, who died on the cross? One yeah. or three? So, as I said, uh, is one Answer God. Answer the question. One, no, who died on the no, cross? No, no, no. You're trying to put me in the corner. You're not answering the question. You're not answering the question. Well, Hashim, is this guy... Is he, is he a modalist or is he a Trinitarian? No, no, he's a, he's a he, he, Trinitarian. He's confused. Okay, so he just won't answer the question. Then. Yeah, let me uh, the Let me give you an example. Like, I have... Um, no, no, I have no, 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 no example. You answer, answer the question. And then the very <laughs> clear question. Answer the question. Then you can give your example. I need to... Ustad Hashim asked you a question. Who... Died on the cross. One God let me, or three? Let me give you one example. One or three? I, Who died on the cross? One like, example. No, 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 no. Answer need, the question, then give your example. I need to answer my way. No, my no, way. answer the question. I'm answering, look. What well, I have Facebook, right? But I can access Facebook on my mobile, on my phone, my laptop, and my does iPad. Facebook have to do with anything? It's, 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 it's the, I have one Facebook account on three different devices. So okay. one God. Okay, how many you, devices are there? That's, that, that's what I'm saying. Say Jehovah express, express himself as the Son and the Father and the Holy Ghost. Okay, and there, and there are three different devices. So there's three gods. Three different devices. Yeah, but I, I have one Facebook, but I can access it on three different You're devices. You're not Facebook, my friend. If okay, you're okay, Facebook, hold on, hold on, then you've hold on, got hold a serious on, hold on, problem. Hold on, Snoop. Snoop, does your Facebook account on your cell phone talk to your Facebook account and ask it for things? Like, does it, can it, if I delete one, does it tell the other account, hey, why are you deleting me? I can log out of one and I can still access it on my other device. Did you, did you hear what I said? You it didn't. still works. No, no, you didn't hear what I said. Your account on one device yeah. does it independently ask the other account to help it. I can send messages from one to another. Right. From one account to the other? Or it's the same account? No, from one device. So I can, I can talk to myself. So then the on devices device. are separate, not the account, right? One one account, one Jehovah, one one account. Okay, but so, on so three the, different... the same account. Does the same account? It's the same ask concept. The other account? No, it's not. So you, you're you're caught. That's why you're not answering I'm... now, right? No, it's listen. the same concept. Okay, listen. You give an account. You have one Facebook account. Okay, if your one Facebook account on your cell phone, the same Facebook account, send your same Facebook account messages for help. It does not, right? So then if it was three essences, why is Jesus calling out to the other essence? Then it becomes separate devices. And if you have three devices, you no longer have one device. I'm only giving you the example of one God, but he can manage himself as three. It doesn't work. Right. It doesn't work. So, so, it doesn't so work, so you're it correct with work. your own analogy. I'm just going to ask you this question one time. And you've got two answers, yeah? Who died on the cross, one or three? So the flesh, Jesus, died. On the Who died on the cross? One or three? One. Which one, one died on the cross? Okay. Which one? The Father, Son, or the Holy Spirit? The Son, the, the Lord, the, the Son. Okay, so how are they one then? <laughs> well, if one died, then only two were left. No, there should be none left. So no, there should be none left. Next question: How no, are they one? He, he said one yeah, died, yeah. and two are left, right? Yeah, because they're. You, there, listen, Snoopy. There are things that are true of Don't call the me Son. Either. Okay. Don't All right. Me. I'm sorry, Snoop. Okay. I'm sorry. Call him Mr. Dog. So, Call me you. Seriously. Snoop. Snoop is name. No, it's yes. not. What's, What's your, name? your name? What's your name then? Aaron. You know, it's Aaron. Okay, Mr. Aaron. Aaron. Okay, Aaron. Listen. Oh yeah. Aaron. If the if the Son died on the cross, right? The Son became a man and died on the cross. The Father didn't. The Holy Spirit didn't. Right. And there are things that are true of the Son that are not true of the Father and Holy Spirit. So he manifests him here. So the three, right, are different uh, mechanics. Different um, has different functions. Just like a phone and iPad and a laptop has different functions. But I still access my one account on 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 North Yeah, but they exist. But you can't they, communicate with that one account on other devices. Yeah, and they're they're. But you exist. can't be on your phone and send a message on Facebook to the same account on your laptop. You can't do this that. Is, this is where he's lost, right? Because oh. either 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 your analogies of devices or the first Facebook account. If it's devices, then there are three different devices. They're not the same. One can break, and the other two can function. 
then you would say that one god died and two were still in function, right? right? If your analogy is that of the account, and in that case, then you cannot, when you send messages from your Facebook account, they're not two separate accounts. You don't send separates from your, from your cell phone Facebook account to your laptop cell phone account as Jesus was calling out to God. So either way, your analogies are wrong. But it's the, the concept of one being be, one God, but Which he can is wrong because your analogy doesn't make sense. Because either the devices are separate, could you have the person of Jesus without the essence of God? Could have the like like your device without Facebook. What do you mean? Aaron, could Jesus be question. Jesus without being God? So Jesus is 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 God, obviously, yeah. But he, he what could makes your device God. have could you could you have a device without Facebook? No, you, you need a device. Could obviously. you have a device without Facebook? Could you delete Facebook and still have a device? Yeah. So your analogy is wrong. Yeah. And by the way, you know when you said uh, they have different roles, the ability to die is the nature. So Aaron is a mortal. I am a mortal. Jesus, according to you, if he died, he's a mortal. But the father is not mortal. He's immortal. So we are talking about different natures here now. We are not talking about different roles. So even the, uh, even the very example that you gave, that they have different roles, is incorrect. So the Trinitarians, they keep saying that they have the same nature. So I would assume that if the father is immortal, the son should also be immortal. But you have already agreed and you have uh, actually Correct. conceded that the son died on the cross. For you to say that the body died, in fact, you are just confirming that death took place. Because when the body dies and the soul doesn't, that is exactly what happens when you die. Your body, your soul separates from your body. So by saying... The body died doesn't really resolve anything. You're just confirming what we are saying, that one of the persons of the Trinity is not immortal. Hence, they are not co-equal in nature. I didn't say they're co-equal. I didn't say that. Not you don't wait, so you don't believe that they're equal. You don't believe that they're equal. You don't believe that the... You I, didn't don't believe the I didn't say they're co-equal. Co okay, believe. Aaron, Aaron, do you believe they're co-equal? Yes or no? His manifestations aren't... Equal, no, because they're different functions. Not, oh, no, 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 but you, you're, you keep function, saying manifestations. Listen, manifestations. These, these things are eternal, aren't they? So the Father as a whole, Jehovah, yeah. But when he when he Are they co-equal? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Is the, son, is the Son as a manifestation eternal? The Son, the flesh isn't eternal, no. I didn't ask about the flesh. I asked the Son well, as answer. the manifestation. The word, so the, What's John the says, difference between the John, Father and the Son from eternity past? What's okay, the difference so, between? Okay, so John clearly explains it. John 1. In the beginning was a word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Yeah, I And got the word it. became flesh. Yeah, what's the difference between the Father and the Son <laughs> in eternity past? You're telling me about the incarnation. I'm talking about before Pre, creation. You mean pre what, what's yeah, before the yeah. incarnation? What's before the incarnation? In terms of before creation, what's the difference between the Father and the Son? So the Bible speaks of one God, right? You, just answer the question. Don't tell me the Bible speaks answer. of one God. Come on, it's a simple question. Don't tell me about what the Bible speaks about. What to, well, is the difference wait, between what is I'm no? Because listen, I've been doing this opinion. long enough. I've been doing uh, this long uh, enough that when I ask a direct question and I hear you already not answering, I know you're not going to give me an answer. I already know it. I don't need to listen to your paragraph. I can hear it in five words. You're not going to answer the question. Okay, let's let's take a different approach, Jake. Yeah? No, just one second before you do that, uh, yeah, Hashim. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just want to, because he said something. For, do you believe the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are co-equal or not? He said no. He said no. No, no, okay. no, no, no. He denied saying it, but I want to know, I want to hear that. Are you saying they're not co-equal? They are not. I mean, if, as I said. If, they're not. Um, they're not. Did you say they're not? So You're there's only one honest. God. Come on, Aaron. You, you, do, you do know as soon as you say they're not co-equal, you become a heretic, yeah? Yeah. I, I, I just, just said, man, there, there is Christians that are going to make takfir on you right now. Honestly, I just, you just I, slipped out the Athanasian creed. I, uh, I, I just said there's only one Jehovah. 
I mean, so they're not co equal. Are they co equal? I'm backtracking now. Come on. I, 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 no, that's what I said. Be, no, that's what I said. At Snoop, the start. Snoop, are they co equal or what? Yeah, you're waffling, man. I'm you're waffling. Just ask let, let, let me rephrase that. Do they have the same nature? Do all three persons of the Trinity have the same nature? It's just one. I, I one can't what? go on. I, I can't explain to that. That's all right. It's just one God. But he expressed okay, so, himself. Okay, he, so he expressed you can't himself. explain. You can't yeah. explain yeah. Himself. It's a one mystery. God. It's a mystery. One yeah. God. He's, not, he's not on your level, Jake. Yeah, it's a mystery. Let, let me say something. Uh, all right. Let's Aaron, Snoop. Aaron, okay, Aaron, Snoop, whatever you are. Yeah. All I can say is every time I speak to a Christian like this, I thank Allah for being Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. We're going to the same that's 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 and mm. how confusing is the stuff that they try to feed us? So I said know? the Christians have put their mind in a box when they start yeah. thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. Like say, he goes, I'm not saying they're co-equal. I'm not saying they're co-equal. Really? <laughs> Where's the state? Well, Where's the burn you, mate? Every Christian minister that comes out, first thing they tell us is that they're co-equal, right? And then this yeah. guy just said they're not co-equal. Yeah. And then this is the funny thing. I mean, I could imagine right now Christians watching this going, he's not a Christian. <laughs> like, yeah. so, and, so if there's three Christians, there are four creeds. Yeah, and Sheikh, one last comment before we let this guy on. The point is, if they're not co-equal, how are they all one? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> how is there one was, how are if they one they're then? not co-equal? What are we talking yeah, he, about? He, 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 was, he wasn't even on that level, man. He was. Yeah, he was it doesn't uh, make any anyway, sense. May Allah, may Allah guide him. Look, look, become Muslim, bro. Let it go. Critical thinker. I'm going to go make Salah, so you guys uh, have some fun. I'll be back uh, after Salah, inshallah. All right. So, inshallah. inshallah. Critical thinker. Yes, uh, I don't know if it's good morning or good afternoon or good evening, but um, good evening, hello. sir. Good morning, actually. Where, where, where I am, it's good morning. Where it's Jake good morning, is, I'm okay. assuming it's good evening. Where are you? Where I am, it's good evening. It's evening here. Where are you? I'm in the US. In the US, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, what's up? Well, now we know where we all are. Let's have it. Yeah, well, the. Are you a Christian? Uh, yeah, I am a Christian, yes. Okay, go ahead. Really? You have a question right, So the, the question is, um, in Islam, you believe that Jesus is the Messiah. Is that correct? Yes. Yep. Does the Quran actually say that, or you just happen to believe that? The Quran says it. The Quran, Quran says, says it. it. The Quran says it, okay. So the question then is, if Jesus is the Messiah, why should the Jew or the Christian believe in Muhammad? Yeah. What's the Messiah? If the Jesus is Jesus. the Messiah, why should the Jew and the Christians believe in Muhammad? And accept the Jews don't believe Jesus was the Messiah. No, no. Where is the connection between Prophet yeah. Muhammad sallam, and the Messiah? The Messiah is one of the messengers and prophets of God. Who is the Messiah according to you? God in the flesh, probably. Well, let let me let me clarify. Yeah, go on. I wonder why brought the Jews into this because they reject Jesus as yeah, the Messiah. Yeah, they don't believe he's the Messiah. So, so yeah, I'm kind of confused. Well, well yeah. Why do, they, hold, hold. why do Christians kind of keep roping the Jews in with them and the Jews are like, what, what are you talking about? I don't believe this nonsense. <laughs> yeah, how many, how many times? I don't believe in Trinity. Yeah. I don't believe Jesus was the Messiah. Yeah. Why do you keep dragging them in? Well, first of all, you are, you are wrong that the Jews don't believe Jesus is the Messiah. The I'm wrong is that what, Jesus what Jews don't believe Jesus was the Messiah. Hold on, hold on for a second there. <laughs> Who were the disciples of Jesus? Were they Gentiles or were they Jews? Oh, you're talking about by race or by religion. You need to first clarify when you say Jews, what do you mean? By by what? race and by religion. No, Judaism. No, is, same. If you're talking about Judaism, Judaism categorically denies Jesus to be the Messiah. In fact, they do not even accept him as a prophet or even a religious person. And they disrespect so, him. And we well. don't believe the disciples of we Jesus. You really need Jews. to clarify your terminology. Yeah. Be, be that as it may. No, come on, man. Well, let me finish. Let me oh, finish. How many, listen, how many Jews do you have in Israel that don't... Well, let me you? finish. No, no, no. You no, understand on. where I'm coming how from. Many, how many Jews do you have first in Israel? Of all, first of all... don't even believe in God. Excuse come me. On. Excuse me. You're, you're, you're waffling, man. And now you're getting upset because you got caught with a ridiculous point. Yeah. Hashem oh. made, a, made the distinction and caught you with a silly point, And now you're raising your voice and you're getting upset. Calm down. All right. You'll have another chance to make a point. Go ahead, Hashem. Yeah. So basically, you need to first distinguish 
um, and actually I'd, um, give us the definition of the terms you're using. For example, if you were watching the show earlier, there was an Egyptian Coptic person and he did not know if angels had free will or he didn't know that um, mm. angels are, it's not the jinn, sorry, it's not the Satan. So mm. you might use the same terminology, angels in in Islam and also in Christianity, but there are two different creations. You see, in, in Islam, we don't believe that the angels have free will like the way uh, the Christians do, because the Christians believe that the angels have free will. They are, in fact, the fallen angels. Uh, it's actually the Satan. We don't believe that. So you might use the same terminology, but mean completely. Uh, uh, the meaning is completely different in the, in the two. And there are many, many such examples. So just, I think it's good if you tell us the definition of the terms you use so we don't get confused. That's all. And by the way, don't get emotional. Keep it calm. We'll try to answer your question to the best of our abilities. I don't know if he's quite sure, but he's been muted. Yeah, all right, let me unmute him. Okay. All right, go on, mate. So which term do you want me to clarify? Okay, first, tell us what your question is. My question is, if Jesus is the Messiah, why should the Jews and the Christians believe in Muhammad and accept Islam? Okay, what is your definition of the Messiah? I don't have my personal definition of a Messiah, but Messiah comes from the Jewish Hebrew word Mashiach, which means the anointed one or the chosen okay. one. Okay. Do the Jews believe Jesus is the Messiah? Some of them do, some of them don't. No, I'm talking about Judaism as a faith. Yes, some of them do, some of them don't. So you think a Jew or who, who actually um, is from right, so Judaism, a Jew who mainstream Judaism. Jesus... Can you name a rabbi? Yeah, mainstream Judaism. If name he's a rabbi who one believes of them, that. Then he'll be excommunicated. He'll be a Christian. <laughs> name a rabbi who says that. The rabbi Saul who became Paul, the apostle. Rabbi Saul. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, man! What does main what, what does mainstream Judaism think of oh, Rabbi God. Paul? <laughs> but you understand the question now, though, right? No, honestly, no, actually, no, you, you're really taking the mic here now. Let's let's All right, let's let me be... let me see if I can clarify it further. Don't. No, I think you you need to Who's understand. That you to Judaism does not believe in Jesus as the Messiah. The reason they're still waiting for the Messiah should have actually given you a hint. But that is the point I'm coming to. Let, let me ask you a question. If, if you let, are let me ask you a question as a Christian. Let me ask you a question can, as a Christian. One second, one second. After I make one this second. Point. No. No. Because it's a silly point you came with. So let's no, just it's not a silly point. point. You don't it's understand a silly it. Point. That's why you think it's, it's a silly, silly point. point. Right. It's not a silly point, Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Right. Anyway, shut up while I'm talking, please. All right. Let me ask you a question. Right. I'll unmute you in a minute. Okay. In Deuteronomy 18, 18, when it speaks about a prophet like Moses, who do you believe that prophet is? Let's answer that question simply, please. Who is the prophet of Deuteronomy 18, 18? We believe that that prophet is referring to, to Jesus. To Jesus. And, and do you believe that the Messiah is Jesus also? Yes. Okay. And did the Pharisees believe the Messiah and the prophet are the same person? Yes. Really? Okay. Can you explain the questions they asked John the Baptist? John chapter 1. What did they ask him? Well, they asked him if he was the, the one that was supposed to come. No, in what did they ask him? The what were the three questions? Three questions, three who? answers. Who are you who? I don't know all the three questions off the top of all my right. head. All right. Are you yeah. Elias or Elijah? And he right. said no. They said, are you the Messiah? And he said no. And then they asked, are you that prophet? And he said, no. And they said, if thou not Elias, and thou not the Messiah, and thou not that prophet, then why baptizest thou? Yeah. So the Jews knew that the Messiah and the prophet of 1818 is not the same person. That's the first thing. Yeah. This is the first thing you need to get into your head. Now, in the Bible, who is the Shiloh that is referred to? Have you, heard, have you heard of this, the Shiloh? I haven't heard of the Shiloh. Oh, okay. So in the Bible, it said the prophethood and the royal scepter shall remain in the house of David until the Shiloh comes. Then all the dominion will be with him. Okay, this is what it says. 
do you believe Jesus is a Messiah? I've stated that already. Okay. Do you believe Jesus is from the house of David? Yes. So he can't be the Shiloh. Yeah. Well, I don't know what the shallow is. I haven't studied. So the shallow, okay, so listen, 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 to the words. Are, listen to the words. Listen to the words. Listen to the words. Listen to the words. In your Bible, it says the royal scepter, meaning the kingship, and the prophethood, will remain in the house of David until the Shiloh comes, and then all dominion will be with him. So the question is, who is this Shiloh that's going to come? As a stranger to the house of David, there's going to be a prophet. Because it can't be Jesus, because Jesus is from the house of David as the Messiah. So who is this prophet? So this answers your original question now. Because if there's a prophet coming, and he's not from the children of Israel, he's not from the house of David, and he's a prophet of God, you need to be following him. So even if Jesus is the Messiah, he's not the Shiloh. And it's the Shiloh who's going to be the final prophet. That's that's not accurate. That's not true. Well, that I'll is have true. to I have to research what uh what the, what the, it, what Well, the, you think this? Do you honestly the think this is the, one second? Do you honestly think this is the first time I've said this? Okay, I'll tell you who said this. Where I got the information from? If I can find his book, I've got it here. Somewhere. Yeah, it's in Genesis chapter forty-nine, by the way. The no, but I've got the book. I've got the book Muhammad in the Bible by uh, yeah. Professor Abdul Lahad Dawood. And do you know who Professor Abdul Lahad Dawood was? Um, critical thinker. He was the former Reverend David Benjamin Kaldani, a Roman Catholic priest of the unit. It doesn't uni matter who he was. The problem it with uh, citing authorities is that I can also quote an authority who decided to I'll tell you why it does matter who he was. Because you it, it haven't doesn't, got it. It doesn't matter who he is. I'll tell you, you why are, it does you, matter. You are appealing to authority. I'll, I'll tell you why it does matter who he was. Because he used to be a Christian like you, thinking like you. And he's not now. Okay. First thing. Second thing, you didn't have a clue about the Shiloh. You didn't know someone's coming who's going to be a there you go. See ya. You didn't know you that he was going to be a prophet. He left. Outside look. Imagine the scenario. In your Bible, it says there's a prophet coming outside of the children of Israel, and only one man in history claimed to be that prophet. SubhanAllah, what are you doing? Wake up, Christians. Did he leave, by the way? Yeah, he did. He left. He left. He okay. Left so you know, I think he was what he was trying to um get at is he was trying to claim that since the Messiah is the last prophet, there's no more prophets to come. Why do you accept Prophet Muhammad as the messenger of God? That was his ultimate point. However, his own Bible actually has a response to that. So it is in the Epistle of John. I think it's First John uh, 4. Yes, beloved, yeah. believe in every spirit, but rather yes. you test them. Exactly. For many prophets in so the world, is... how shall you know them? By the fruits you shall know them. So exactly. it doesn't say reject all the prophets after me. Yeah. Test this them. is an acid test, you know, in the Bible, where Jesus says that any spirit or any prophet who testifies about me, then he is a true prophet. And everybody else is false. Why would Jesus, why would Jesus give an acid test if there were no more prophets to come after him? And he, he as the Messiah was the last. I think there's some shocked Christians in the crowd thinking, what the hell is a Shiloh effort? <laughs> <laughs> Where does it say that? Where does it say that? So uh, let me see if I can find it for you. Uh, let's have a look. Can you guys hear me? Yes, yes. Okay. I just want to sit down. I just want to make sure that my welcome my, back. You missed some fun and games. I know, man. You guys, so, you guys have all the fun without me. So mm. for the for the people listening, Shiloh is just a stranger. That's what it means. It's in Genesis forty nine ten. Gen yeah, yeah, Genesis. 10. Yeah, 4910. Um, yeah. See, it says the name is associated with Moses, but it can't be Moses because he's from the house of David and yeah. he's going to be a stranger. Let me just, 40, 4910, let me read it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Genesis 4. These guys think, well, this is the first time we hear these arguments. <laughs> we, yeah. You right. know, some people come up to me sometimes, right? And they go, brother, I can't believe how knowledgeable you are. You seem to always have an answer. And this, like, they have an answer, like, bro. The same stupid questions. We just keep hearing it, and it looks like I know it so much. It's the same stupid questions, man. Was it? Uh, sorry, uh, Genesis ten. Forty nine ten. Oh, forty. Yeah. So Shil Shiloh is a stranger to the house of David, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be second. more specific. I got it. If you want me to read it, huh? I, I got it. I got it. I got okay. it. Okay. Um, the scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between its feet, until Shiloh come. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. 
Mm. So who is the Shiloh? Yeah. Is the question. So in simple English, what that means is yeah. Sorry, uh, that was KJV. That that was a crazy. Yeah, language. it it, it yeah. basically means the kingship and prophethood will not leave the house of David until the Shiloh comes. Which means the Messiah can't be the Shiloh because exactly. the Messiah's quality has to be the house of David. And, and if Jesus is the Messiah, he's not the Shiloh. David. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and the Shiloh is the one that everything's going to pass over to. So Christians and Jews need to ask themselves, why do they ignore Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Is he the only man who can fit the criterion of the Shiloh? <sighs> SubhanAllah. Okay. Right, so I'm pretty sure this guy's a Muslim. It looks Turkish, but I could be wrong. Nasselson. He looks about... Uh oh, <laughs> no, this is... Uh... <laughs> you know? Who's that? Yeah, go ahead. I know this guy from Clubhouse. He's, oh, is it? He's How old a, is he? he? Looks about fourteen. He's a wild cat. Get, we like wild cats. Welcome to the arena. Strap it. We Trust like to tame me. them here. Sheikh, strap in your seatbelt, brother. <laughs> All right, Turgay. Oh, go ahead. Hello. Go ahead, Rachip. Go ahead. The cat's got his tongue. Can you hear Come us? Come on, man. such an entrance, brother. Are you oh. there? Come on. All right. You just muted and unmuted, or is that you guys? I've got, I've got Terry. Oh, man. Not, I don't think I'm going to bring Terry on. I, I just put my seatbelt on. What happened? Rocky, <laughs> Sergey, whatever. Oh, no, 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 him, not him. Edit TV, just my not him. An atheist, like atheists. So, Hi. Uh, I heard the, the last guy uh, talk about your, your connection. It's bad, man. You, you got bad connection. You're breaking up. Yeah. You can't hear me with him. Ish. It, it's it's in and out, man. Let me see if I can turn him up. One second. Try now. Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Well? A bit you better. To... Uh, I heard last guy. No, no, it still sounds no. like you're underwater. Try yes, again. Too too much, again. Man. Aquaman called us, and you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, well, I've got, I've got Terry. I, I don't know. Can you be bothered with Terry? I, don't, I can't be bothered with him. No, Who's no, Terry? no, no. No, no. no. Oh, the guy invents words, invents dictionary words, yeah. invents dictionary words yeah. invents meanings, yeah. ignores the Bible, says you can't understand so, the Bible. So he's, he an so he's an average Christian. What's the... <laughs> <laughs> do, do you want Terry? If you've got I, I, I don't, somebody else. I don't know who Terry is, so... If you've got somebody you know, else. The Edis TV. He just doesn't matter. Is there um, anyone else? Um, okay, let's try this guy. I, I don't know if he's a Muslim, though. Oh no, he's not Muslim, is he? Rouge, Rouge Asmir, I think he is. Oh. Hello? You muted, mate. You muted. Rouge. No? All right. Mm -hmm. um, let's try this guy again. Two uh, guys. Bloody hell, wake up. I was right. born with my seatbelt on. Come on, man. Bring oh, it. Come on, man. Yeah. oh, don't worry. If you've got your seatbelt on, I'll bring Terry on. Yeah, you would have had a good laugh with that guy, I'm telling you. Uh, who? Oh, Terry I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, should we let the Sheikh deal with Terry? Let him yeah. do a solo flex. I don't know who Terry is. Bring him. All uh, right, Terry, just for you, mate. Just, just because the Sheikh is here, I'm gonna leave you. Let Terry have a go. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Delicious himself. I uh, remember you. you. Yeah, yeah, I remember you too. Uh, th thank you for the hospitality, uh, Hamza. You were the I one that you. said, uh, "If you're not circumcised, you're not a true Christian," right? No, if you don't keep the Sabbath, you're not a true Christian. Circumcision is not part All of the, right. the covenant. Uh, I just All wanted right. to help you guys out. Uh, there's a lot of things cool. I can discuss with you guys, uh, but um, the sin nature thing, um, do you guys want to discuss that? Because for, for the sake of your people, so that way they don't meet somebody like me on the street and get embarrassed. Because the sin nature thing is like ABC and one, two, three of Christianity. It's something so simple. I like right? your wishful so thinking. You want to carry on? Uh, I could okay, so let's do this in nature thing, all right? Uh, we're you created perfect, good, and the image of God. And as soon as we sinned, we lost that nature. And we had so we a created nature perfect. of knowing good. We're created perfect, of course, because every work right. of God is perfect. Every okay, so, so quick quick, quick question before we good, go forward. Good, good. If we're if if we're created perfect, why do we sin? Yeah. Uh, what oh, oh, definition oh. Of you, got, you got you got embarrassed right there, bro. What happened? Come on, all that all that talk, and then this is it. Come on, is that bring the it. Best? Can I respond? Can I oh respond? no 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 no! We're, I, I, I didn't even start. We're just getting going. I Go didn't ahead, even bro. respond. I didn't I didn't I didn't even respond. You said I, I got caught. Let me respond. Go, at least. You did, but go ahead. Uh, 
or uh, free will is not uh, is, doesn't mean he's uh, we're imperfect. Uh, we're perfect. So we were created. Uh, we were created perfect. perfect with yes, free but will. we have free will. And, uh, and as course. soon as we sinned, what changed? Yes. We're still uh, we we're still the, the same nature. creation, and we still have. What do you mean a sinful nature? Did we have inclination towards sin before? No. So how did we, sin then? <laughs> right. how did we get inclined to sin? Uh, uh, okay, so, so, so we, 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 wait, 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 uh, Uman, Uman, are you saying of man. Uh, inclination is the same thing as an uh, Atman? I'm sorry. Are you saying free will is the same thing as inclination? No, no let me. And explain. I'm the one inventing sorry. words. Oh, oh, okay. hold on, take no, it. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't invent anything. Relax, that. bro. No, he, he didn't. didn't. Okay, go ahead. I did. Yes, he did. <laughs> so not only do you invent words, but you put words in people's mouths too. That's amazing. All right. Some so let, let's take a step back. All right. So okay. if we're created perfect by perfection, do you mean sinless? Sinless and with a nature okay. of uh, yes, you could put it that way. Yeah. But with the ability to sin. But do you believe we have the ability to sin? Uh, to disobey, yes. We right. So, what do you mean by perfect? Sin. So, what do you mean by well, perfect? perfect? We didn't have a sin nature. We had the image of God being perfect. What's a sin uh, nature? Created good. Uh, sin nature is as soon as he ate from the tree of good and evil. No, no. What's a sin nature? Because we weren't. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. I you said we you. weren't born with it. You said we weren't created with a sin nature. What's a sin nature? Exactly. Yeah. No, what is it? Is as soon Did you say exactly as to his question? Can I? Can I I was just about to. Uh, I said three words and you interrupted me. So, so let me finish. You said statement. exactly. So like you made a point. I know exactly. I, and once, once he ate the fruit from of the no, knowledge of the fruit. Forget eating the fruit. The, the, the nature. Forget eating the, the fruit. Nature, the nature. Terry. Terry. Forget eating knowledge. the fruit. You said that man was created without a sin nature. What's a sin nature yes. that he wanted? I have? just about to answer. Uh, you, you have well, to right, answer then. What is a sin nature he didn't have? Uh, you, you you just said it five times. I'm gonna I'm gonna answer you. The knowledge of good and evil is the sin nature. Knowing so it. the knowledge of good and evil is the sin nature. Exactly. If you just let oh, me second, this second, statement, you would understand. So the knowledge of good and evil is the sin nature. Was Adam created exactly. with the knowledge of good and evil? No, that Genesis two. He ate of it. Uh, you gotta know these things. Come on. No, no, I'm right. no, 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 no. Where just so I understand, did, are you saying didn't Adam know. didn't know right from wrong? He did not. The knowledge, the word knowledge in this context. Wait, wait, wait. Is, 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 no, 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 no. Question. Are you saying he I was created? Was he? Are you saying he was created without the knowledge of right and wrong? The knowledge. I'm going to give you what the word knowledge means in, in, in this context. Knowledge means experiencing, to know, to experience uh, sin, to experience temptation. Knowledge means to know. Knowledge or doesn't I told mean you this guy invents the meanings to words to suit his yeah, own. he doesn't invent his own words. That's interesting. You, you know, let's, uh, let, let, let's look up what does the word knowledge mean. So, so he won't, I he won't knowledge play. Knowledge, because because knowledge in experience. I've got to be honest. Knowledge. With you. There's a car crash. I'd rather just bring John back on. So, so well, knowledge. This is the reason facts. why I didn't want him on. The, on yeah, the this stream. is why I thought facts, him on. Information. Facts, information, skills acquired either through experience or education. So if you're educated about right and wrong, especially when Adam was told not to do something according to them, then obviously he knew what right and wrong was. But then experiencing it is not the same as knowledge. I could be knowledgeable in space flight, but when you actually experience it, it's different, no doubt. But I could I, I know a lot about astronauts, never been an astronaut. So yeah, yeah. that's interesting. But, but how, how can you punish somebody for doing something he didn't even know it was wrong? And you created exactly. it that way. Yeah, you created this creation sense. of yours. He and doesn't how, know how doing something wrong is wrong. He does something wrong, but yeah. you didn't tell him it was wrong. And then and you the punish key... him for that wrong. And not just punish him, punish his progeny. The key question <laughs> here is that when God told him not to eat of that tree, so he already gave him the knowledge of that is wrong. Yeah, yeah. The command. It is command. If he yes. didn't know right from wrong, exactly, then how yeah. do you forbid something? Exactly. You can't forbid someone. You can't make laws. No, but Terry will told you he would <laughs> invent the meanings for words. Like he said, he really did. doesn't mean that in this context. Yeah. It means he only has to experience it. He must know it. I like how he was like super hyped up, so that was kind of funny. You know? It's like, called arrogant. Don't worry, yeah. guys. Just yeah. like the Satan, yeah. You, yeah. you go with a fall. I'll be honest with you. I'm going to give him like a six-month ban <laughs> completely. <laughs> All right, who we got? Urban Worm. 
<laughs> yep, Urban Worm. Why, why, these people, these why do these people come on with these degrading names? It's right, like, exactly. Yeah. Right? You muted, mate. You muted, you muted, you muted. You're talking to the mirror. Unmute yourself. There we go. Hello? Hello, hello, gentlemen. Yeah, we can yeah, hear you now. Hello. Hi. Hello. hello, gentlemen. Hello, how hello. are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm I'm very well, thank you, and and thank and, you, and, and bless all of you. I I, I oh, just you're Christian. I, I am a Christian, but but do you know why what? do you call yourself a worm? Hello. Did that one? Did that one? Stump, did that stump you, dude? Is that it right there? You it with. No, guys, so, I've, I've got a bit of feedback going off here, uh, but um, okay. it, it, I'm just it, asking it, you why you call yourself a worm. It's just an honest question. Just curious. All right, sort your stuff out, bro. We'll bring you back, man. Um, oh, uh, some of these names. Worm, right? I, can't, I can't even work out what they are now. These these <laughs> names are from a clip in it. Yeah, mate, you're muted. Yeah, uh, quick question, quick question. Uh, in the uh, Israelites' Bible, the, the Bible, I guess, uh, there's a covenant between the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. How, how okay. does Prophet Muhammad fit into that scenario? Oh, beautiful question. Uh, is there a lineage of Ishmael? Great nation and all that. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that, that, that wasn't my question, though. I said, how does he fit in it? It's a specific lineage. Abraham, the Bible is specific with it. No, Abraham, no, no. Okay, you, you're I'm incorrect. In. Okay. Okay. Who, who's the Shiloh? The Shiloh is the New Jerusalem. So it's not a person. It's not a person. So who came? So New Jerusalem's uh, not uh, from uh, a certain uh, lineage. Uh, 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 until Shiloh comes, because all the uh, will be with him. Who's, who's listen, him? You asking me a question? I'm, when Shiloh, Shiloh in that in that instance, it's not just centered around that verse. There's Shiloh in the Bible as well, right? No, no. In that instant, who is him? And to Shiloh, him would be who we call Yahweh Shah. No, who or Jesus. Is that? Yeah, but he's from the house of David, so he can't be the Shiloh. Oh, that's incorrect. That's that's according to what? I hope it ain't Isaiah. I hope it ain't uh, Genesis 49 and 1. Why? Because your interpretation of uh, Genesis 49 is one is it, it, is way off. Sorry, what's what's your interpretation? What's your what's your interpretation of Genesis 10? 49 10. For the uh, my interpretation is that the, the, the scepter, the power, should not be taken away from Judah until Shiloh comes. That's the transition of power. Uh, 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 and who, uh, no, yeah, but who is the Shiloh? The Shiloh, I said that. Oh, oh, Don, it does, uh, because he called his sons at the beginning of it, right? No, and, and, and the and the prophecy was towards Judah. Oh, okay, I'll say it again to you. Who is the Shiloh? I'll say it again for the second time. The Shiloh, until the Shiloh comes, is going to be Yahweh shot in his kingdom, his rulership. Oh, okay. And is is Jesus from the house of David? Jesus is from the house of David. And is the Shiloh from the house of David? The Shiloh will be from the house of David. And no, the covenant, the, the no, covenant was always made with the no, house of David. No, it won't. Yes, it will. That's not yes, what the verse it says. It says it, will depart, the, it says it will depart from the house of David. What will depart? Power, tra tra transition of power into the, the king. Hold on, hold on. The transition of power from who? No. The, yes. the, it doesn't say that. It says the royal scepter and prophethood. Well, uh, I'll read it. I'll read it. I got it from you. The scepter should not depart from Judah. That's one of the What's 12. The scepter? What's the scepter? Huh? That's what's that, the scepter? That's rulership. It signifies oh, rulership. Right, right. And who's the lawgiver? Who's the lawgiver? The, the lawgiver? Yeah. The lawgiver was at that time when this prophecy was given. No, no. Who, who, who is the lawgiver in this terminology? Or the what lawgiver? is the lawgiver? What do you mean? The lawgiver was the law given to Moses. No. Who is the lawgiver in the this law context? The, the lawgiver, I just asked you. I mean, I just told you. No, 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 no. I didn't, I'm not asking for a specific personality. I'm saying when the terminology lawgiver, what does it mean in the Bible? Who gives laws? Prophets give law, yeah? Uh, the Levitical, uh, the Levitical priesthood gave laws. Uh, the prophets gave no, warning. They, they, they don't give the laws. Levitical priests. The they just convey they, the law. Well, they, that's 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 how it was set up back then. No, the lawgiver. The lawgiver. The lawgiver. The prophets. 
The lawgiver is not prophets, according to the house of David. The lawgivers gave uh, the prophets said, gave. You what? said Moses was a lawgiver. What are we talking about? The, the, listen to what I'm saying. You're trying to put words in my mouth. I'm. I can be my own spokesperson. <laughs> what I'm. What I. Bye. I can't, I can't be bothered. I can't. I can't have these conversations. You're like Terry number two, that. So, so I was confused though. He said Shiloh is in New Jerusalem, and then he said Shiloh is Jesus. So that's what I'm saying. This is what this is the thing you see, and and lawgiver means prophet. That's what it yeah, means. of course. Yeah, you can so, see so any if, if, So if it says the 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 royal scepter, meaning the kingship, and the lawgiver prophets will remain with the house of David, which with no problems at all until, until the Shiloh time. comes. Yeah. Now you just said the Shiloh is Jesus, but then Jesus can't be the Messiah because Jesus is from the house of David. Now, if it said the the royal scepter and prophethood shall always remain in the house of David, then you would have a point. But it says depart. It says leave. And I just I just can't have these conversations. I really can't. I'm sorry if somebody brought that person from Clubhouse, but you can put them back there because I just can't be bothered <laughs> at this point in time, especially after three hours and fifty four minutes. Man. Um, let's try Turgay again. Reset Turgay. Ah, oh, you're there now. How old are you, mate? I can hear you fidgeting about, man. I can see a little avatar flicking. Red chip. Yes. Can you guys hear me? Hey. Oh, yes. yes. Hello, everybody. You fixed it. How old are you, mate? All right. All right. Thank you so much. How old guys. are you? Uh, I am 50 years old, guys. 50? Yes. That's, That's okay. not you in that picture, is it? Yeah, I'm just I'm just joining somebody's thing, but I just changed my name, so uh, you know my real name. So my name is Recep. Yeah, now, Recep. Uh, I know your real name. Thank Recep you very Recep much Turgay. for having me. Uh, thank you very much for having me. So you can hear me now, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, uh, actually, uh, I have a friend from Clubhouse, Abdul Rahman. He wants me to join. And to this, like a chat on YouTube, this is the first time I'm joining, so that's why I had a hard time to join and tell my, okay. you know, the things that I just want to say. Okay. Uh, yeah, first of all, I would like to, uh, you know, I, I'm pretty sure there are people waiting, so I'm going to go directly to the subject. So, so um, just before you start, are you a Muslim? إني وجهت وجهي للذي فطر السماوات والأرض حنيفة فما أنا من المشركين. Now you just name me what I am or who I am, okay? لا 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 لا. Hold on. You just you just read an ayah. Yeah, exactly. And one ayah giving one aspect of Islam doesn't make you a Muslim. You know that, right? I mean, there is a lot more to being a Muslim than just okay. So he asked a very simple question: Are you Muslim? Yes or no? Yeah. Not a hard question. This is not a simple question. This is a very really? hard question. The answer Why is that? Yes. Are you, are you Muslim? The, the, the reason is this. When you ask me, am I Muslim or not, uh, I would like to ask you this question. Which Islam you, are you talking about? Oh, please. There oh, are one Islam there is. Are you Muslim? There are, there are three different Islam. Are you Muslim? Okay, I'm just answering my, you know, if you let okay. me. Okay, listen, let, let, me, let, me, let me just clarify this so you don't waste your breath and our time. Islam is to obey what Allah has ordained in the Quran, tasliman, when you aslama, when you submit yourself, and what has come upon the lisan of al-Mustafa alayhi salatu salam, what is authentically established, as Allah says, to Allah wa tiyur rasul alayhi salatu salam, right? That's Islam, okay? The only Muslim out there is the ones who submit. Anybody who deviates, deviates. But that is one Islam. We are one Ummah, we're one Jama'ah, one Quran, one Nabi, one Allah, one Akhirah, Alhamdulillah. Osman, now you just describe an Islam. Can you let me to describe the Islam if you don't mind? No, uh, I just described yeah. already, so there's no need to. Can, yeah, can yeah, I just say no? Am. No, somebody call me like an atheist. I am not an atheist. Who called you? Who, who called you atheist? None, none of us called you atheist. Let, let me just ask, uh, reset, uh, wretched, 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 because this is a stream for non Muslims, right? So I'm going to ask you two questions. Do you believe that Allah is the only one worthy of worship? Okay, do you guys. Oh. 
You can't answer such a simple question. Oh, you know, when, man, when the you guys started watching that shit grave. without me. And they go to Yo, you bring him back. You bring him back. We're not going to answer the simple question if he's Muslim or not. Is he Muslim, Jake? We don't know yet. He claims to be, but he's... Oh, I'm wrong stream. Let's have some fun with this guy. Eddie's Eddie's TV. Hello. 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 Yeah. Good morning. Hello. Sir. How are you? I'm I'm good. I'm good. Would you like a spot of tea? My voice, my voice, good. Yeah, yeah. You sound good. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm I want you're to a Christian. Yes. I'm Christian. Yeah, he's a Christian. Okay. <laughs> Show me what gave it away? Christian. <laughs> what gave it away? <laughs> uh, I I want to talk about the basic point about uh, which uh, dispute between Christian and Islam. Uh, about about Trinity, uh, actually <clears throat> you got you got the right guy for it. Hashim, it's all yours, bro. Right, tell us. Just do me one favor, Just do me one favor. Just do me one favor, please. <laughs> do not all, insult all of you. this man. One second, Edis. Okay, okay. I'm asking one favor, right? If you do this, I'm just gonna kick you straight, right? Do not insult this panel. By making a claim that the Quran believes the Trinity is Mary, Jesus, and God. Don't make that claim, all right? Don't insult our intelligence. Now make your claim of why you believe the Trinity is true. Okay, because we believe that when we Christian worship Jesus, is automatically we worship Father. And we, when we Christian worship Holy Spirit, it's automatically worship Jesus. It's automatically worship Father. Do you, do you worship the Holy Spirit? We worship Holy Spirit. We worship Jesus. And How we do you worship, worship the Holy Spirit? By, by following uh, uh, the whisper of how Holy Spirit uh, uh, that dwelling inside of uh, us. So, the, so, the, you, so the, are you saying the Holy Spirit is like an advisor? Yes, Holy Spirit is uh, like power of God uh, that God sent into power dwelling. Of God. Oh, it was God. Power of God, Spirit of God. No, but you said it is God. God is, it, is God. Yeah, is it a power? Holy Spirit is person? God. Then he's not the power of God. He is God. Is he not? Is uh, the Holy Spirit I'm all knowing? Is the Holy Spirit all knowing? Yes. Yes. Did it know yes. the sign of the hour? Time of the hour. Uh, actually. I can explain all the spirit. With you. I just want no, to no, ask no, 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 no. Don't give me that crap. Don't say because we ain't got the Holy Spirit, we can't understand. I'm asking a very simple question: <laughs> Did the Holy Spirit know the time of the hour? Uh, the function of Holy Spirit is. No, does the Holy Spirit know the time of the hour? Amazing me how people can't we, answer we, simple questions. We don't questions. know because is it, is it, it's, not, it's not a complicated question, is it? Does the Holy Spirit know the time of the hour? Uh, Holy Spirit give us not about time and not about no 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 no. You said the Holy Spirit is all knowing, which means the Holy Spirit knows all things. He was very okay. quick but, in answering that question. Was the Holy but, Spirit all knowing? You answered it immediately, but then we when we asked you a specific question from His all knowing knowledge, whether He knows the last hour, you're hesitating now. Why? Because the function of Holy Spirit is. Uh, guide us as Christians so to believe Jesus. Is it not, a function? Not, uh, oh, wait, hold on. So, so is the, the Holy Spirit function, a function or a God? Yeah, that, that, that's the question I was going to ask. Is Holy Function got a function like an angel or is he God himself? Yeah, which one? Guided. Oh. He so guides. he's not God. Okay, so he's not God. He, he's, he's God. Should, it, should so God God's, know the last hour or should he not know the last hour? So it, it's the Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit is. God, then obviously he knows the last hour, right? Yeah. And if he's all knowing, he already admitted he's all knowing. So you don't give me opportunity to answer you. We well, did. We are giving you opportunity. Okay. But Everybody's going to be quiet. Go ahead. ahead. That is okay. a waste of time. We, we Christians believe that function of uh, Holy Spirit is guide us to believe Jesus. And when we obey okay. Holy Spirit, it's automatically we obey Jesus. And we obey Father. That's not so, the question. So, 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 hold on, hold on. You see, you didn't answer the question. That's the problem, right? That yeah. wasn't the question. The question was, is the Holy Spirit God or does he carry out some kind of functions for God externally? 
I've told you, Holy Spirit is God. Okay. And do so then God, God. So then God mm -hmm. obviously knows when the hour is, right? Of course. So the Holy Spirit does know when the hour is, right? Holy Spirit know hours, but he don't. Give okay. Okay. Me no, like... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So so now th this is where you're getting to the question, right? Now the Son, which is Jesus, he's also God, right? Oh yes. So the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Father are all God, so they all know the, the hour because God knows everything, right? Yes. Read Matthew 24, 36. Jesus, Jesus doesn't know about the Read end of the day. Read Matthew 24, 36. Can you read for me? Sure. <laughs> uh, uh, you want me to read or Hamza, you want to read? Sorry, which verse you, are we on? You, Matthew twenty four thirty six. I, mean, I, I, I have a Bible. I can I can look it up if you like. Okay, let's just go. I got that. Or, or Mark thirteen thirty two, whichever is easier. Sure, which one? one? I'll do Matthew. Yeah, Matthew twenty four thirty six. Twenty four thirty six. But about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. So you said the Son knows, but the Bible is saying it, he doesn't know. I'm only confused. the Father knows, which I, means the Holy Spirit doesn't know either. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Actually, we have to define what the meaning of God before we're talking about God. No, no, no. Hold, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I asked you, is the Son God? You said yes. I said then obviously He would know the hour. You said yes. The Son. It, it's on tape. This is recorded, right? So you can't you can't back out now. You said the Son knows the hour because He is God, and the Bible clearly right here like. He read it. I, I'm sorry, verbatim. I didn't say so. I didn't say so. I said that uh -oh. actually we have to we have we gotta to record it. What... Be careful. What did you say? Did you not say the sun is God? I say that, but and did you not say the sun knows the hour? I don't say it. I didn't say that. You did. You did. I'm sorry. I, I, this is this I, you know, I look, say, okay, people said, watching the stream. Just a minute. So so Eddie, are you saying the Holy Spirit does not know the hour? Holy Spirit know uh, all an uh, hour, but the function of Holy Spirit don't not not no, no, telling no, no, about you time. You just told us say that the Holy Spirit. You never said that. Now you're saying it once again that the Holy Spirit knows the hour, but then you're going about the function. You know, look, all knowing is a nature. It's not a function. Okay. Omniscience of God is His nature. By nature, by default, he is all-knowing. That's why he's almighty God. If you're going to say the Holy Spirit does not know the hour, and Jesus does not know the hour, okay? Read that passage again. That's on screen now. The clue is there, but only the Father. Yeah, it doesn't only say but only God. Yes, it says I know, only I know, the Father. I know that. We, we Christians know that very well. But no, you don't, because you earlier clearly said, and, and I yeah. hope somebody who's watching this takes a clip out and makes a clip from this, that you clearly said the son knows. And now the Bible clearly says the son doesn't know. So which one is it? Are you not being honest with us, or did you not read the Bible? What is it? Oh, I, I'm sorry. Actually, we have to define God before we're talking about no, no, God. Because, no, 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 that's not, that's not word. no, 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 wait, 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 the question was very simple. It was not about the definition of God. I asked you, Steve, Steve, is you the son the God? I even asked you, does the son know? And you said, yes, of course, the son knows. And the Bible verse right that. there shows. I didn't you, say that, sir. You, you're on okay, tape, If you didn't say you that, know? what did you say? Can you clarify once again? Okay. Does the son know the hour or not? What? What is the answer? Jesus, as a son, he doesn't know the, the end of the day because he says so. Okay. So you're saying the so, son doesn't right, know. So the son doesn't know. Okay, Who knows? What about the Holy Spirit? Only Father. So what about okay. the Holy Spirit? Does the Holy Spirit know? Holy Spirit, no, but he... he no, 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 he no, said no, no. only he, he Father. See, now you've got a problem. <laughs> if you're saying the Holy Spirit knows, you're saying Jesus lied and Jesus yeah. was a sinner. Is that what you're saying? Jesus didn't, he just didn't say Holy Spirit doesn't know. He, he said only, say, the the angels, only the Father. The angels, the angels, only the Father. The only the Father, he says. Wait, hold on a second. Is the Holy Spirit the Father? No. Okay, right. only the Father knows. That excludes everybody else then. <laughs>
Become well, Muslim, bro. Listen, 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 Salamat Paul. Listen, listen, man. Go start. Become Muslim, bro. Simple. Well, why are you gonna do this to yourself? You know this is wrong. I know you're arguing because because this is like your thing. But listen, believe in one Allah that knows everything. That is, يعني, He knows everything, right? The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam didn't know everything. He didn't know when the day the Jibril alayhi salam doesn't know everything. Only Allah knows, right? What a beautiful belief. Yeah, What's okay. keeping you from becoming Muslim? Tell me this. Okay, okay, sir. Before I become Muslim, actually, okay. I have a question for you. But okay. you but if are, I answer you your question, will you become Muslim? Okay. Are you honest? Okay. I do swear. Okay. 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 Let's do this. Okay. Go ahead. Hit me. Actually, actually, I've been asking around it about okay, about ask. Don't, don't 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 ask. I, I, ask your question, and if I answer it or if the panel answers it, you will become Muslim on the show today. Inshallah. Be a man of your word. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I'm asking you about, do you believe that Muhammad and Allah are Some one? Allah. No. That was easy. But, but easy. Muhammad said, uh, I'm sorry, Muhammad said, who obeys me, yes. he obeys Allah. So That's true. Uh, that's, I, I, think, I think Muhammad equalized himself to Allah because Not he at said... All. Oh, I'm, wait. For, okay. Okay. Go ahead. Finish. Finish. Give, let, hey, guys. Let him finish. Let him finish. Go ahead. Finish. You don't. Finish. You don't give. You don't give me to talk. I'm listening. We're allowing okay. you. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Did he just, when, say, Muhammad, did he just say what I thought he said? No. Yeah. no stop. Let, let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, okay. We're listening. Uh, okay. Muhammad says, "Who obeys me, he obeys Allah." That's why I say that Muhammad equalized himself to God because he says, "Obeys me." It has nothing to do with God because because he says, "Obeys me." He didn't say, "Obey the word of God that I address to you," but he said, "Obeys me, me myself." What did, what did he mean by that? What did oh, he mean by let that? Let me finish. Let me finish. Are you done? Is that your question? Okay. 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 Now remember, you said if I answer your question, you're going to become Muslim. Don't 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 be dishonest now. Okay. Okay. Now, this is this the easiest is shahada. Like this is the easiest shahada, inshallah, that we've ever had because this is the easiest question I've ever had. Listen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran says, Allah, obey Allah wa Rasul and obey his messenger. Okay, two different things, but the order to obey the messenger is the order of Allah. So if you disobey the messenger, you're disobeying Allah because Allah had ordered us to obey the messenger. I'll give you a very easy example. If I am a king, and I put a governor in a certain state. I'm the king. I send my laws to the governor. The governor says, look, these are the laws of the king. So if you disobey what I'm telling you from the laws, you're disobeying the governor. Obeying the governor is obeying the king. Obeying the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is obeying Allah because Allah ordained obedience to the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It does not mean they're the same. The king and the governor are not the same. But obedience to the governor who's representing the king is obedience to the king. You got it? Easy. All right. I got so you. I got the you. Shahada, the, the problem shahada is Ashhadu. <laughs> wait, 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 brother. What do you mean? You're gonna be a man of your word. Wait, brother, brother. But I'm sorry for accusing you again. It's okay. Brother, Go ahead. Brother. Okay, brother, brother. When president sent governor, the governor doesn't say in the name of him, but he say in the name of president. The, so, the Prophet what, said, in the name of me? <laughs> Muhammad said, obey me. He didn't say, obey listen, Allah. Listen, he didn't listen, say, obey listen. the word. Again, again, again. So this is where your mistake is happening again, right? When the Prophet said, he didn't say, obey in my name. Right? This is where you're adding into the he, hadith. He didn't, Whoever he didn't say obeys, that. Exactly. So don't add into the hadith. Whoever obeys the messenger, obeys Allah. Why? Because Allah ordered us to obey the messenger. Right? So if I send a governor to Mindanao, for example, and I say, this is my governor, and whoever, I, I'm giving an order, obey him. And the governor tells you something, and you say, I'm not going to do it. The governor is going to say, if you disobey me, you're disobeying the government, because I'm representing the government, right? So to obey the governor is to obey the government, because that's what the government ordered. <laughs> yeah, Allah ordered to obey Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and if Allah ordered to obey Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, then obviously that means that this is the this is the obedience to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the obedience to Allah subhanahu wa taala. All right. 
Well, the, the fact of, the fact of the matter is. Look, uh, we, we clarified this already, right? This is very clear that when you the Rasulullah said to obey means to obey Allah is because Allah ordered us in the Quran to obey Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay, so, it means. It means that Muhammad never commits sin. Muhammad never commits wrong. Whoa, 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 whoa. Again. So now, <laughs> now, now you've gone to. Whoa. Let me, let me, let me, let me explain this to you. What's your name, bro? Edis. 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 Okay, Edis. Let me explain this to you. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was human. He was not Allah. Naudu billah. We don't say this. He was not an angel. So what we say is that. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi was protected from sin because he was the messenger of Allah. He is a human being. But what this hadith is about is obeying the religious commandments. To obey those is obeying the Prophet sallallahu alaihi This is not about his personal life, right? This is about religious commandments. So the Prophet never commanded anything in religious matters except that it was an order of Allah. As the Quran says, he does not speak of his own desires. It is what Allah has revealed to him. Okay? So the Prophet ﷺ tells us that the prayer is of Dhuhr is four rak'at. This is divine knowledge from Allah that has come to him, even if it's not in the Quran. So we obey the Prophet ﷺ, and that is obedience to the Quran. Because the Quran tells us, Atiullah, what else? Right? There's 12 such ayat in the Quran, but I'm just giving you those, right? So I your question has been answered, and your shahada is ready. You can change no, your TV channel to be like a crescent or like a Allah or something now. Maybe I think maybe we can we have to make a even-handed discussion discussion because no no I, I think, answered your question and you said if I answer your question you would become Muslim be a man of your word. But How it's, is this it's, not even-handed? There's only one person talking it, to you right now. It's unclear. It's unclear, brother Farouk. It's you, as you clear said as it, the day when you go out I'm in the sorry, morning time. I'm sorry. It's that clear. I'm sorry, Brother Paruk. You say that Muhammad never say uh, according to, to his desire, but we know that uh, the, Muhammad in at tahrim one and two, he uh, he do promise in the name of God, but God accused him about his his promise. What are you on about? Where did you read that? one 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 tahrim one and two? Can you uh, share one it on what? the screen? At Tahrim, At Tahrim, ah. At Tahrim, one and two. When wow. Muhammad, when Muhammad yeah, promised you're that, Nabi, Lam ma you're yep, talking about yep, that. Yep, Do you know what yep, that's about? Yep, yep. Do you know what that's about? According, according, according to the Tafsir, is about Magovir, about about uh, uh, Maria Kipti. But but I don't I don't ask about Maria Kipti about Magovir. You know Magovir? What is that? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Do, do, do you know what this ayah is about? About about promise Muhammad. What promise? What what is the word promise mentioned? Can you share the screen, Brother Hamza? Yeah, can, can somebody share the first ayah of Surah Tahrim? At Tahrim two. First or second, you said? Two. At Tahrim two. Okay, who who wants to share their screen? Uh, whoever whoever has an idea becomes the emir of that idea. <laughs> Great. <laughs> it's, I'm um, the Amir of the idea. Casting, bro. This is a non Muslim stream, guys. You're not going to get on, man. Okay, I'm going to share a uh, screen. There we go. Let me move to this. And then, oh, okay. So, can you guys see my screen now? Mm. No. Have we shared it? Yeah, I have. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. So here, the Prophet ﷺ, why do you prohibit yourself from what Allah has made halal for you, seeking to please your wives? And Allah is all forgiven, most, most merciful. This is the ayah. Allah has already ordained for you, believers, the way to absolve yourselves from oaths, for Allah is the guardian. So he is the all-knowing and all-wise. Do you know what this ayah is about? According There's to no tafsir. Here. No, 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 not according to tafsir. What, what was, what is the context of this ayah? Yeah, Muhammad uh, swear that he, Yeah, Muhammad swear that he will not uh, sleep with Maria Kipti or no, didn't. no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, sorry. 
it's pretty sad that you came with this, but that's okay. We're going to educate you, right? Here, some of the wives of the Prophet وسلم, they, they, they used to make a particular type of drink and he loved it a lot. And some of the other wives, they didn't like the fact that this happened. Wives have issues between themselves. So they would say to the Prophet oh, we can smell that drink. And the Prophet loved to smell very nice. And I'm, I'm summarizing here. So the Prophet وسلم, he said, I would never drink that again, which is a honey drink. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered upon him that you cannot make haram on yourself what Allah has made halal. And that's a great uh, lesson for the ummah that we cannot just make haram on ourselves things. Whatever Allah has made halal is halal. If you don't want to drink it, you don't have to, but don't make it haram on yourself. That is the whole story. What are you talking about now? I'm asking you if Muhammad, if Muhammad uh, mm -hmm. always says if Muhammad was always this, says, according what? according to Allah, huh? according to Allah want, according hmm. to Allah will, why Allah accused Muhammad about something? If Muhammad says... Again, you, you keep you, saying accused, say, but there's no accusation you, here. Let me make this clear. If if the Prophet ﷺ came and told the Muslim Ummah, you cannot drink this drink, then we would have to obey him, right? Yeah. That's not what happened here. This is a personal choice that he decided that he would not want to drink this anymore, that's about himself, not okay, an, wait, not an I'm order sorry, for the I'm Ummah. Sorry. Hold on, I'm hold sorry. on, let me finish. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Farouk. I'm sorry, Brother Farouk. Okay, my name is Muhammad. Farouk okay. my father's name. Okay, okay. When Muhammad, when Muhammad forbid <laughs> something, okay, when Muhammad forbid something to himself, huh? according to according to who Muhammad said that? Excellent. According to himself. Listen, listen. Okay, that's why, that's why, that's why you listen, claim. Listen, you make a claim. Eddies, you make a claim. Eddies. Eddie's, relax, relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me answer. You remember, I, I asked everybody to be quiet and let you speak. Yeah. So let me speak, okay? okay? Okay. When the Prophet orders something for the Ummah that is a part of the Sharia, the laws of Islam, never is it from himself. We got this, right? But it's personal decisions. If he decides that he wants to wear sandals or a khuf, or if he wants to ride a camel or a donkey, those are personal decisions. Having things to do with how to farm and things like that would be his personal decision. Those are from him. Those are called adat, right? But the sharia, the orders that he has given are, are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Here, he made a personal choice. Even then, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not allow him because... What would happen is us as an ummah that comes forward, then we would take that as an example and start making things like somebody say, I'm a vegetarian, I'm this, it's haram on me to eat vinegar, whatever. You would start making these things. Allah made clear, if you don't want to eat something, it's up to you. But don't make it haram on yourself. That's it. I yeah. got it. I got it. Bro, bro. Good. So you I'm say, ready for your but, shahada now. Wait. <laughs> you got it. So you, then let's give the shahada. Brother Padre, you, you just said that Muhammad never said something Salam according Salam. according to his desire. But in this case... No, we know, didn't say that. Again, maybe you, you're not you listening to me. He did not bring he orders to say it. <laughs> what you mean to me, Brother Hamza? Let, oh my God. Let, let me, and this is why I'm really glad these things are recorded, right? Yeah. Look, when the Prophet brought an order to the Ummah, he did not ordain upon us except what Allah ordained. But things that have to do with, like if he goes and tells his wife that, you know, uh, I like the way you dressed, this is not like what he coming for this. This is his personal life. These are called adat. The Prophet liked to eat certain things. He didn't like to eat certain things. That was his personal choice. There was a type of, of uh, uh, animal that was... A, which was the Sahaba were eating, the Prophet didn't like it, so he didn't eat it. They, they put it away. He said, no, no, you can eat it. This is not something I like, right? That's his personal choice in adat. But that's not what obedience is because he's not ordering that on us. He didn't order the ummah, you can't drink this drink. He made a choice for himself. So when he orders us something, then obeying his is obeying Allah because that's what he ordained because Allah orders him to order, Okay. But personally, if the Prophet ﷺ liked a particular type of food, and let's say Jake doesn't like it, it's not a sin. Because that's the environment he was in, and that's the environment we're in. If the Prophet ﷺ didn't like a particular type of food the Sahaba ate, they still ate it. Do you understand? Those are personal issues. Here, this ayah is not an order the Prophet ﷺ brought. You didn't understand the context, or if you knew it, you hid it, but that's okay. Here, this was something that was happening between his wives, and because of that, just for himself, he made haram on himself something he cannot. Allah says, no, 
even your own personal choice, you cannot make haram. You can eat it right or that. leave. It's up to you. Stop right. Yeah. Stop right that. Stop right that, brother Farouk. So when Muhammad Stop. said, when Muhammad say according to himself, you claim is lost because you you make a claim that Muhammad never said according I, I, to I his desire. I just clarified this again. Check, and I'm gonna make try. it a third. Let, Go ahead. Let, let me try. So look, it's very simple at like this, okay? Because when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that I drank this honey at the house of Zainab radiallahu anha, and I will never drink it again. But declaring this, he made it haram on himself. Because Allah did not reveal that honey is haram, yes? And he declared it himself, even though it was his choice. Then Allah rebukes him in the next ayah, saying that you, you cannot make this haram on yourself. It's not a hukum from Allah. But it's, it's as clear as that. Which part of that do you not understand? Uh, you, yes. you say you say that Muhammad forbids something about drinking honey and, uh, and himself, uh, no. such a thing. Okay. But, okay. When when he said when he said it in the name of what in the name of Allah. He didn't say in the name what? of anything. No. He, he did not. Says, I will never it's drink this person. That's all he said. Okay. Please please check please check it in in, in, uh, in, in. Guys, can I just ask this guy one? Oh, I was <laughs> oh, going to ask him a question. Right, right, right. Yeah, I was just going to ask you. Oh, oh, sure. Listen. Is this your best argument against Islam? No, no. Actually, I've been I've been observing Islam okay. more than eight years. Okay. How about years. this? What's yeah, your what's your, comes on. what what's your best argument against Islam? Yeah. What's the best one you've got? Actually, we have to make a uh, next discussion about it. I, I could hear you smiling, uh, brother. Because it's, not, because it's not funny. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry, it's a brother. Because you, don't, you never, serious you never question. give Christian, you never give Christian opportunity. You, you said. <laughs> what are you talking about? about? How many hours have been dealing yeah. with Christians? How long today? did we allow you to speak? And this is the best <laughs> argument you come up with. That are was pretty pathetic. Yeah, I gotta say. That is ridiculous. So the funny thing is, we, we have Christians that come and talk to us at the park all day long, and we listen to them, and and this is the weakest argument I've ever heard. Yeah, interesting. Just, just one. Let me just do something before you do anything, David. Just one second. Adam Majid, you're Muslim, bro. Yeah. Yeah. We well, can't hear. Him. We can't, can't hear, hear you, it. brother. Yeah. It's not for Muslims, mate. All right. So please don't keep coming back. All right, David Prado. Script. I think, I think that I recognize that guy. I think he's actually a a, a sheikh. Oh, oh, did he just evict a sheikh? So did man. I? <laughs> I, I I could be wrong, but he look. I've seen him before. I, I, I think he is. Are, are you a chef? Are you a chef from the UK, brother? To me, he looks like Captain Majid from uh, Karachi it's, or something. He's frozen. Well, oh, I gotta be racist, Hamza. No, just we can't <laughs> hear you, brother. You gotta unmute your mic. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. Can't hear you. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. Can you hear me? You. Yeah, not no, you. No, one second, me. David. One second, David. Hold your horses. One second, David. We're just trying to do this something much easier. Unmute it. Now, now try to speak. Uh, He's still right, not you're now try. Majid. Try to speak. No, we can't hear you. Still nope. can't hear. Just uh, right. if you remove him and add him again. David Prado, welcome. Yeah, shoot, David. Hello. David. David. Shoot. It's Hello, your good, moment. Good afternoon, shine. from Texas. Good afternoon, Texas. <laughs> Um, well, I, I would say, uh, do y'all think that the Trinity is a philosophy made by man? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's man-made, yeah. It's the only way you yeah, can make I mean, Jesus God. After, after the traditions of men. Yes. And not found yeah, in the it? scriptures. I mean, obviously odd stuff happening in the scriptures, which y'all would say is corrupted, but... To say that it's not this three-person being is not found in the Bible. But there's nowhere that it says that. three. There's nowhere in the Bible where it says three persons, one being, anywhere. Yeah. Oh God, manifests as three. You never. You never. You never. You, never see, you got. You, you got two experts here, bro. You better bring it. You better bring it strong if you're gonna come with that. David, are you a Trinitarian so Christian? Colossians two eight. Are you a Trinitarian, David? No. So what I'm saying is, okay. So what are no. you about? Are you a unitarian? So what I'm saying Christian? is, in Colossians two eight, 
Well, let me say this first. Well, I just want to know your position. I want to know who I'm talking to. Virgin. David, David, David. Um, what's your position? I'm, I, I, have to, I have to explain. No, I'm no. actually just a Bible believer, which is... Okay, so are you, are you a Unitarian? Um, Uh, What's your position? Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's an easy question, not. Jake. Okay, David, how many gods are there? Heard of. David, how many gods are there? There's, there's God. God. So let, let, let me explain the oh, wait, position because I don't, I don't know how to, how to explain the no, position. No, don't worry, I want to make it easy for you, bro. I'm going to break it down um, for you. Believer. Just answer my question. What I'm saying is in a Trinitarian it, tells it, us that they're a Bible believer. It doesn't help us at all. Just, just, saying just one second. Believer. One second, Jake. One second, Jake. David, I'm just going to ask you simple questions, and it will help us understand your position, okay? Very simple. Right. I'm going to unmute you now. Right. Do you, how many gods are there? It condemns philosophy and the traditions of men, so y'all are already headhunting How many gods are there? Y'all so are already creating right. a straw you're, man. You're, you're, yeah. Right. David, can you stop talking? We're trying to establish your position, so please just answer my questions, okay? It's very simple. How many gods are there? And there is one God. How many gods are there? There's, there's one God, and we're made one in God. the image of God. One God, one God. Whoa, 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 whoa. One God. You know that man... One second. Or if, one if you second. don't want to hear the Bible believers... One second. Then, you can it, explain why you believe, you believe in a minute. Let's just understand what you believe first, okay? So there's one God, uh -huh. and do you yes, believe sir. Jesus is God? Yes. And do you believe the Holy Spirit is God? Yes. And do you believe the Father is God? Ye yes, sir. And do you believe these three are one? Can't hear huh? you. you. You went down. Do you believe Go these three yes. are one? Sorry. So you're a Trinitarian Christian, yeah. right? Carry on. Yeah. yeah we're gonna, we're gonna hide it, bro. Well, let me hear the, the what you can just. Uh oh, what's happening? All right, so, so what I'm saying is the Bible believers' position is instead of philosophy and the traditions of men, you have to prove things with scripture, or else I won't even talk to you, because because y'all all know this is. Uh, see ya. That's funny. You called us, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this guy is on about. Seriously. Abdul mm. Majid, are you talking now? No. We can't hear you, bro. I'm going to send you a video. This guy looks... Either he's got a twin or this is the same cat that I Are see. Are you a sheikh, Abdul Majid? We no. can't hear him. <laughs> no, can, 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 you, can you... Wave your hands if you can hear us. We, we still can't oh, hear can hear us. Right. Can, can oh, you type, yeah. can, can you type in the comments? Me. Somebody somebody check the comments. Can you type... Uh, uh, in the private Martin? chat. Type in, the in, 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 in the private chat, if you can type, so we can read what you're what you're trying to say, because we can't can hear you. you. Quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. <laughs> no, no, no. Can you just uh, tell well, us how who about you are? This? How about this? If you're a sheikh, put your thumbs up. <laughs> no, don't put your thumbs up. Kind of weird you. question, because no, no. <laughs> if, if, if you're a talib al okay, there you are. So. Well, he uh, put his thumbs up, so I mean... Yeah. No, no, because you put your thumb up. He put his thumb up. It's like a re reciprocating your thumbs up. No, no, you can hear it. <laughs> can, somebody, can somebody check the chat, though? Uh, yeah, in the chat? I'm trying. Uh, can can you what? put in the chat who you are, real quick? Like a brief... If you're a sheikh, do jazz hands. That's a weird question, because no sheikh would say I'm a sheikh, right? So if you say, <laughs> oh, say um, are, you, are you a student of knowledge, you can say, or are you and if you are... Knowledge? If you're a student of knowledge, raise your hand like that. Oh, don't raise your hand! He's going to raise his hand! <laughs> no, no, he can read the chat, right? Yeah, he can. Okay, I'm going to send you guys a video, and you tell me if this is the same guy. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it here. What is it called? Is it called the same name? Yeah, Dr. – I'm reading it. Dr. Abdul Majid. Oh, he what? is. He is. He's Dr. Abdul Majid. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hamza, shame he? on you. We just evicted Where? him. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, is, where is he based out of? I'm, I'm going to send it right in the private chat. Hamza, check that video and tell me that's not the same guy. Check the, the private, private chat. Yeah, check the private chat. Just maybe fast forward a little bit. And no, that's not him. That's not him? That's not him. That's not him? That's an imam from Luton. That's not, yeah, him. That's not him. 
No, but I've got a picture of him that Anna sent me, and that is him. Okay, he has not Well, he's got a he's got a twin then, because that guy looks like him to me. No, man. bro, he's no, he doesn't, man. You're racist. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, 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 no Carry on. Talk among yourselves. Should I give okay. you someone to play with? There's John. Talk to yeah, John. We can't. We can't <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Um, See, look. Well, he um, did. Hold on a second, John. He what? said, it is me with Abu Laith. That is yeah, him. Yeah, it's, it's the same you. person I saw the video. I told you. Oh, you know, man. See, why you guys doubt me? Come on. Why you guys doubt me? <laughs> okay, that's, uh, that's his Why did you guys doubt him? He looks so different because he can't work a microphone. No, no, I'm, <laughs> but I told you that's him, and you guys said, Oh, no, that's not I didn't yeah, that's him. 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 <laughs> anyway. John, let John do his full see, he, he just said it. Uh, Imam from we uh, can't hear you, you need to fix your microphone. So, check the private chat, hash, hash him. Look, you can see, yeah, it. yeah, I saw it. Yeah, he's can you, he's, um, can no you deal with John's full question, please? Yeah, that's go it. ahead. All right, I mean, okay, so. I have a question about uh, Surah, Surah Yusuf, uh, verse 20. Um, you guys familiar with the, with the verse? Uh, I'm familiar with Surah Yusuf, so yeah. Okay, so it, it's, um, it's talking about um, his brother selling Joseph for um, 20. Oh, the, no, no, uh, don't do this. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, All right. I, I won't do it. I'm, I'm just, I just wanted to know. It's been thrown around, and I heard it, oh, and I went, yeah. No, no, don't. Come on. Okay, I won't do it. Do you know who you're it. talking to here, bro? John, John. Do you know who you're talking to? You're talking to Shaykh Uthman, talking to Hashim, you're talking to Jake the Muslim at the position, and you're talking to me. And we had this question last time asked, and Adnan Rashid was here. And you're talking about no. the currency, saying that currency didn't exist in the yeah. time of Joseph, aren't you? Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 no, yeah no, I, I'm just wondering. Is it the so is, was that was that been... It's, it's been smashed out of the park so many times. It basically is just not referring to an actual... Uh, Currency is just talking about pieces of silver, and that's just a term. Used no, 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 so, so, John, do, do you know what a dirham and dinar is? <sighs> I mean, I'm familiar with the with the concept of the terms. Yeah, I can look them what, up on Wikipedia. Yeah. No, no, what is it? It's a currency. What's the difference between a dinar and a dirham? Um, I, I don't know. One was I have to look it up. One was done with one empire and the other one was done by a different empire so so or a different place it's just a different like, so, so, so like a problem, dollar and no 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 so, so yeah. this this is why i'm glad you asked it this is a super easy okay. question but i i like easy okay. no problem right and the issue is you have first a any silver currency is going to be called a dirham in the time of the prophet so we had both in hadith we have both dirham and dinar we have zakat and dirham and dinar so anything gold would be called dinar Okay. Okay. So because the currency that he was sold in was silver, that's why it has to be called a dirham to show that this is silver. Okay. Okay. So All right. Easy. Cool. Thank you. John, 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 yeah. when are you ready for yeah. becoming Muslim? You've got to take a shahada now, I'm, John. I'm, I'm not ready. I Come on. Well, if you have questions, you just have my questions. And I mean, I'm not objecting on any of your answers. If you've noticed, John. I've you asked are, the you're, question. You're, I heard you're your very answer. well mad. You're, you're, you're very you. well mad. I like you. Listen, tonight, I don't know where you're at, if it's day or night, but whenever the night comes, <laughs> pray to Allah. Like, pray to that one okay. Allah to guide you. Will you do that for me? All right. Yes. Will so, you, can, I one ask, Allah. can I Can I? Yes. Yeah. So, not, um, not, not to the sun or, yes, or a ghost yes, or a cow or just to the <laughs> one creator. Yes, no so a few people came on and asked about the Trinity, and I'm sure Hashem and maybe all of you are familiar with the analogy between the Trinity and the Sun, S-U-N. Yeah, oh, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, yeah. it doesn't work, brother. Let me, work. let me ask you, John, does the yes, Sun sir. pray to itself? S -U -N. Well, no, 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 no. There you go. We're done with that one, then. Right. So let me, can I ask a question about that? Would that be okay? Yeah, go ahead, go. I know yeah. what you're going to ask. Okay, so, so as, as far, I mean, and you're familiar with the analogy. So as far as the sun goes, we yeah. understand that the sun is one entity. Am I with that just like one star, correct? Yeah. And a definition, a definition of a star. And just, and just tell me where I went wrong with the analogy, if that's okay. It's so modalism, the that's the problem. What? Now let it's him finish, Jake, let him finish. modalism, that's the problem. He's, he's learning, he's learning. 
Okay. Well, okay. Finish so your, finish your question. Okay. So as we can quantify, we can quantify like a blind person knows the sun is up by the by the heat, right? We can quantify the amount of heat. We can want to quantify the amount of sunlight. We can use the sunlight and solar en energy. So I can say, and we, they can even calculate photons and wavelengths just for the sun. The question is, when we look up at the sun, if we can for moments, when we look up at the sun, do we see the sun or do we see the sunlight? Are we observing the sun or observing the sunlight? My, my question is, we, or my theory is, or my thoughts are that we don't observe the sun. We can only observe the sunlight. We have, we, we invented in the last 30 years, uh, spectroscopy to measure or to find what's, what's in the sun. We know that it's hydrogen fusion, hydrogen helium, and all of that. But this is only in the last 30 years. So my question is, when we observe the sun, we can only observe the sunlight. So do we make a distinction between the sunlight and the sun? Yes, we do. Yes, yes. we do. So for example, okay. I can, I can yes. capture sunlight, right? In, in a, a, a energy, uh, whatever, right? Would I? Well, so, for example, capture. you, you, you can't, can't you can't capture you can't transfer yeah. energy. Yeah. No, no, that's that's not that's okay. not that's not captured. That's transferring so, energy. So, so we transfer the sun's energy from the light. That is no longer the sun, right? If you look Correct. up, at, you see that ball that's there. That's the sun, right? That sun is one entity. It it sends out light that is no longer than the sun. That sunlight, right? That ball does not pray to itself. It does not, if it divides, if the sun breaks into two, as many planets and, and I mean, there's a, there's a theory that the earth came out of the sun, right? It is no longer the sun. Cool? Actually, it's, Agreed. Uh, it's, it's not, it's no longer, it's no longer defined as a star. So a star is only defined by many things, but the main two things a star is defined point? by... Yeah, the light is, is not is the sun. The light is not the sun. The light Listen, is not the light. sun. It's a mo it's a Perfect. mode of the sun, John. I put I placed a video. No, no, no. So hold on, hold on go, a second, go John. Let go, me answer. Go ahead. Right. I, uh, I, 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 I gotta leave, guys. I got a class, but uh, enjoy. Pleasure being with all you guys, John. Yes, May Allah guide welcome. you. Don't forget, John. You promised me that you're gonna pray to the one Creator, Allah, not the sun or the light or the <laughs> any any priests or any that. You're gonna pray to that one Allah to guide you. And make dua for all of us. May Allah protect us all in the haq. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum wa salam. Take care. John, I Go placed ahead, the video yeah. in the chat, okay? I interviewed a Christian scholar. And on this, this specific thing came up in that video. And he said, no, if you really press the analogy, it fails. It doesn't work. It results in modalism. Absolutely. Right. You know that, that, you know if, you press the anal if you do press the analogy, I agree with you. If, if, if you come... If, if you yes because no analogy would be perfect no analogy i, I cannot sit here and explain to you um, how the trinity works right no one can the analogy will always fail because it, that's what it is it's an analogy the idea of the analogy is to give just a glimpse of what a trinity could be how could a three things could be one if i can observe the sunlight i cannot observe the sun but I can observe the light that's coming out of the sun. I can observe the heat. That's two things, two separate things. So if, if I have a sun, S-U-N, that does not produce light, it's no longer an entity of a star. It's no longer a star. It's not that identity anymore. Exactly. Well, but then you said you, have, you said you have three separate things then. And if those right. are, however, each one of them, John, John, all three things. Yes, go ahead. John, if each one yes. of them are God, then you have three gods. Right. But, but if I have three things, none of them can function on their own. I cannot have a sunlight without a sun. I can't have heat without sunlight and a sun. So one thing cannot function with the other, without the other two. So if I can only have the three together, yeah, it can be that one being. I cannot have two. I cannot have one. I cannot have a sun that doesn't give out the sunlight or heat. It won't be considered a star anymore. I can't have light coming out of nothing. I can't have heat that's, got, that's, that's not occupied by light. Okay. My, point, my, point, my point is simple. A lot of people came and tried to explain the Trinity with different analogies. The analogy of the sun comes all right. closer. All right, all right. You yeah. believe in the Trinity, yeah? No, hold on, Hamza, Hamza, hold on. No, no, I no, was no, asking Hashim and Jake 
where yeah. the analogy falls if you press it. No, but no, you don't need analogy... to press it. You don't even need to press it. You just examine the analogy. For example, yes. the Trinity clearly is described as all the three persons having the same nature. Am I right? Right, and this is where the analogy fails. You see, yeah. this is I'm not even pressing it. I'm just I'm just saying that you are misrepresenting the Trinity by using this analogy. But you just said the analogy failed. The whole idea of right. an analogy right. is to, because is no to analogy would be perfect. We, I agreed on that. Then don't point. use an analogy. Exactly. Why would you? Why point? would you? Why would you engage in a failed practice? It doesn't make yeah. any sense. sense. Just say there's no proper analogy for the Trinity. Simple as that. That's it. And there's like no justification well, for the Trinity. Well, right, but, but that doesn't reason, mean there's no... The, right, Hashem, may, may I, I agree with you, but that doesn't mean that having three things, three, I, three distinct things, and we call them one thing, that doesn't what? negate the fact that this exists. How do you have three, three distinct things that, that are one thing? The Trinity is in Because the three that distinct things... That is the reason it took the church 400 to 500 years to establish it. But, yes, but isn't, isn't these things the things dependent on something? Advocated it or not John. even God advocated it. John, in your analogy, yeah. isn't like light dependent upon the sun? Cool. I think she Sheikh Abdul Majid wants to have a say. I know, we can't hear can him, hear him can, now. Can you try to speak? Him still? <laughs> Yalla, Sheikh, can you speak, please. We want to see if we can hear you. No, no, no we, can't, we can't hear <laughs> you, brother. Something wrong with your USB connection, maybe. It's, Maybe it's, it's the mic on his headphones. Yeah, yeah is your. We, we can't hear we, you. We have we have no sound coming through at all. Yeah. Nothing. Need to get it. Let, fixed. Me, let me just check his settings. Yeah, there's no, yeah. It's... There's nothing coming through, right? Right, Hamza. No. no nothing. No. John, do you believe in the Trinity? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Okay, I'm gonna have to pull. I have to pull a lot of things. I mean, when the the, the last guy you mentioned, Galatians two eight, and you guys have to read that. Um, there is. Do you believe Jesus in the was first, God? In the first verse. In the first verse. Do you believe Jesus was God? Galatians two eight and nine. Do you believe Jesus was God? 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 If you don't believe in the Trinity, you cannot believe that Jesus was God. Do you believe the Holy Spirit was God? Again, if you don't believe in the Trinity, if there's the Trinity doesn't exist, then none of this none of this matters. Can you be so God? Uh, can you be all knowing? Sorry, can you be God and not all knowing? The the knowledge part. The, the, this is this is the different. This is this is can, where can the knowledge. Can you be God works. and not all knowing? You can. You can. <laughs> we're, we're talking about we're talking we're talking about the sun, like you said. The no, sun gives out sunlight and heat. Can no, you hear me now? No, no. Yes. Yes, John. we can hear you now. John. Yay, finally. John. Okay. It's a can you be God and not John. be omniscient? John. Yes, sir. John. Yeah. John. I can't, all... can't hear you again. <laughs> no, I can hear him. Yo, John, you can? John, yeah. John let's, let's understand, you know, logically. The word Trinity means oh, yeah. triunity. Triunity. Okay. Just give me the answer. Yeah, give me the answer that this tri-unity, that means they were united or they got united. What is it? X. I'm sorry, I don't follow the question. I don't understand so, the question. So what the Sheikh is I asking you... asking were they united from eternity? Were they, were, have they always been a trinity? Yeah. Or did they become a yeah. trinity? Yeah. Is that a question, Sheikh? Before time, before existence, before anything. So he's saying they've always and, been a trinity, Sheikh. Okay, okay. Now, when Jesus went up, now they united. All the Jesus is sitting next to the Father. So that's that's the problem. That's the problem with the understanding of the Trinity. That's the that's 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 the question. If you we don't understand, if we don't agree on the Trinity, we can't answer these kind of questions because no, no. I, I Jesus, want to understand. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because Jesus, the Trinity. Jesus, I want to understand I'll, from you. I'll, I'll explain. I'll answer you and answer you because Jesus is. Son incarnate, God, God incarnate, right? Because you can't say God and not say God incarnate. This, 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 this whole um, argument fails if we don't talk about the Trinity. If we cannot establish the Trinity, then we cannot establish God or Jesus at all. So right. we cannot establish the word incarnate. The word became man in John um, chapter one. 
So if you cannot establish the Trinity exists, if the Trinity does not exist, then John chapter 1, all of it is wrong. Jo the Word became man. The Son became man. One John, of the, John, one of the John, Trinity became man. Yes. John, John, let me tell you one thing. When, when we, when we, John, when we deny the Trinity, we bring the verses from the Quran or we bring the evidence from the sources that we believe. So when you talk about Trinity, your source is Bible. So Bible says that after the ascension of Jesus, he's sitting next to the father. Now, what is the incarnation? What is the unity? What is tri-unity? Can you explain me from the Bible? I can, I can. But if we don't agree, that's the problem. If we don't agree that the Trinity exists, if, if we don't believe in a true in God, a true in God, then, then, then I cannot explain it. We have first, we have to establish the Trinity before we explain that verse. Yeah, but the listen, he's asking you a question to see if it makes any sense. You're saying it's a trinity, it try, makes sense. It's try not, unity. It makes, John, it John, his question sense. is this. His question is this. You're saying it's a trinity. That means there's three that are right. together right. in in unison. He's saying right. that this idea of the son sitting next to the father doesn't seem right. like they're in unison. That's his point. You're, that is that that's an accurate point if you don't believe in the trinity. If we don't wholly understand, if you don't understand and subscribe to the theology of the Trinity, then you cannot understand. Well, you need the to other see, part. Okay, so this is what you're saying. Yeah. You're saying that you need to be a Christian and have the Holy Spirit in order to understand it. Yeah, I think that's what he's saying. You have to believe no, it to it. understand it. Come on. Because no, how no, can no. I, I listen, no, John. you don't have to be Christian. You John. don't have to be Christian. You can subscribe. John, no, what, my words were, how, if you subscribe to the, John, the how can we understand? <laughs> I didn't recognize John, him. <laughs> me neither. John, John, if I want to study... You didn't recognize me. I'm right study, there. Is someone with a big nose. <laughs> John, 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 That's if racist. I want to study right? yeah. maths and I want to understand the maths, so I have to go to the maths book. So if I have to study the, you know, Trinity... I have to go to Bible. And Bible is telling me that in the Old Testament, God came in a different form. In the New right. Testament, he came as an incarnated Jesus. And the Bible in the New Testament says he went to the Father and he's sitting next to him. And he's also right. talking about the Lamb. So what You're are right. these? You explain me from the right. Bible. You I don't mind. Right. And you can you cannot you can I cannot explain calculus if we don't just like you said about medicine you cannot explain calculus if you don't take algebra first I cannot jump steps I cannot jump steps and tell you well this is how you explain it if you don't subscribe to the Trinity it, if 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 we subscribe to the the, the the Trinity if we understand the Trinity if we agree about the analogy of the Sun with its failings if we subscribe to the analogy of the Sun the three things could exist and be one entity and but the one analogy of the sun is flawed but john right john, the problem is is that you're saying that the imam is asking about calculus but he's actually asking you about algebra exactly no exactly. Well, no what i'm saying what i'm saying let me let me let me let me fix this we cannot talk about calculus if we don't understand algebra and this is we algebra cannot. and you're calling it calculus that's the problem yeah. No, no, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, he's talking about Jesus. He's talking about Jesus and how Jesus could sit on the right hand of God. And you have a, tr a, a trinity. I, that's calculus. Trinity is algebra. So you have to take the first step first in order for me to go to that step, a second step. No, but he's, but from Genesis, he's Genesis chapter to, one, Genesis it's chapter your, one. Because, it's your paradigm, mate. Yeah, he's We're allowing your you paradigm to tell us within your paradigm how it works. Okay. you accept the trinity. Do you accept the Trinity? Quick question. John, do you accept the Trinity? John, do you accept the Trinity? Yeah. Right. So explain it to us in your paradigm how it works. John, why are you doing this to yourself, buddy? Um, yeah. Well, honestly, I, I, I wanted to come and ask what, what, some questions doing, about... What, what yeah. you're basically saying... What you're basically saying... You're, you're saying that you can't explain the Trinity to people unless they understand the Trinity. No, I know, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what That's I'm exactly saying. That's exactly what you're saying. What I said. Okay, okay. What I said. 
So within your paradigm, tell us, uh, using your paradigm of the Trinity existing, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, co-equal, three in one, yeah, all that, as Abdul Majid asked you, Sheikh Abdul Majid, he asked you, how does the Son sit at the right hand of the Father in your paradigm? We're, when we're talking, my, 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 best, my best analogy would be using the analogy of the Son. But that's flawed. S-U-N. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Analogy. Well, you it's three things. Three, my my right. analogy goes like this. Yes, go ahead. It's flawed. My, my analogy but goes like this. Come on, John. Hashem already collapsed the analogy like 15 minutes ago. Honestly. Come on. The only, 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 in terms, only, in terms, only in terms of equality, only in terms of having the same nature. <laughs> Well, so over what that's, 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 that's the basis of your trinity. You don't have a trinity without co-equal, without, exactly. uh, without the calculus? same nature. Seriously? Come right, on, but brother. I can... You, nice you're decreed, right. same nature. If you don't have that, right. you don't have a John. trinity. John. John. Yeah, you yeah. can hear you. Right, yeah. John. Yeah, he can hear yeah. John. <laughs> Stop saying John, please. <laughs> John, can, can we understand Trinity besides Bible? I'm sorry? Can we understand Trinity Without other the than Bible. the Bible? From the, yeah, besides Bible. Can, do, do you have any other source to explain the Trinity? Uh, no. I thought you had the creed. That's where you get the Trinity from. That's but your but source. The Trinity from the, 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 Right, yeah, but the, that's, that's okay. not where we get. Okay. Yes, the creed okay. is based, the creed now, is based now, on let, the Bible. Let's let's no, stick. Uh, let, let, let. It wouldn't have taken them 350 years if it was based <laughs> on the Bible. Okay, so let, let, let's understand. Let's understand the Trinity from the Bible. Okay, so Genesis Genesis chapter two, Gen sorry Genesis chapter one. Um, verse 2, the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the face of waters. And what does that prove? The spirit of God. Which spirit? God, is God spirit? No. So this is a distinct wait, 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 spirit wait, wait. of God. Did you just God. say God is not a spirit? That's not what I'm saying here. The spirit of God donating. Wait, wait, is God or, uh, spirit? That's a question. You should know this. This is not a, a calculus. It's algebra. In fact, this is basic maths, one, two, three. Because in the well, Bible, God, oh, God, God is a divine. God is a divine, divine creator, right? I cannot class him as soul, spirit, human. Well, the Bible says God is a spirit. John, right. John, can I make so, a suggestion? Buddy? But but here, but here it says spirit of God. Spirit of God does not mean God. So when we're talking about the Trinity, and he's asking me how how do I get the Trinity from, and I'm gonna try to give him example from the Bible of uh, explaining the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, three distinct ent entities. No, no, hold on, hold yeah. on. You've you, you, you yeah. gone too far. Right? Let's let's keep okay. this simple. So first and foremost, you need to agree or disagree. Is God Spirit or not? Yes. Okay. So which God was hovering over the water? The Holy Spirit. How do you know that? Is God the Father Spirit? When it when 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 it says God, when it says Spirit of God, when it says Spirit of God, it's talking no, it's, about it's, the Holy my Spirit. My question is quite simple: Is God the Father Spirit? That the Trinity is a Spirit. No, I ask you, God the Father. The Father is not a Trinity. Just God the Father, one, the first person of the Trinity, is He Spirit? The the answer is the answer is yes. Good. So how do you know it's the Holy Spirit? Well, the idea of the wait, idea wait, wait, is the wait, 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 wait. I cannot, down, you down, cannot, down. I cannot categorize God. You cannot, you cannot put God spirit. in category. The problem Sorry, is you spirit. cannot put God in a, in a category. You're trying well, you to did. put God I, in a category of a spirit to Trinity, equal other spirits. You've already put him in a category. Yeah, you've already done three it. You said he's a one being three persons. Exactly. You've already categorized him, John. Right. John, let me, let me, let me be honest with you, John. And by the way, read John four twenty four. It clearly says God is a spirit. God is spirit. Okay. John, John, let me, that. John, let me tell you the honest truth, buddy. You've been uh, off and on here for the past few hours. I just think you need to take some time out and really think about these things because you're not doing yourself any good on this stream here. Yeah. Okay. You're really not. You, but I think well, I, I, I mean, like John I'm, better than any of the other guests who came. Yeah, I'm not honest. trying to be rude to you, buddy. But no, I'm no, just no, John, John, see, be honest. 
be honest when you when you want to present your argument go ahead go ahead we hear you carry on he's listening carry on you should stick to the bible and i have studied i'm not boasting but i studied page to page cover to cover and i sat with the christian scholars and i studied language wise because I, english is not my first language but i sat with them and i told them choose any bible in english that you understand and explain to me grammatically explain to me grammatically that this word try unity how it is united where that it was united before or it is united after the old new testament or it is now united when father is next to the you know jesus is next to the father and they can't just can i just leave you with this one gem because you said it earlier um can god be not all knowing The, the the trinity the trinity of god is all knowing no and I, I, i know the verse i know the verse that says that not right not you know the verse the all right. so, is, so is, the, is the holy spirit all knowing the fun, <laughs> the all knowing part the all knowing part the knowledge part the knowledge it it doesn't there is characteristics is the holy there spirit are, is the holy spirit all knowing John, just throw up the mystery card, buddy. <laughs> is the Holy Spirit all knowing? The answer, the answer is no. That's not the that's not the function. That's not the right. function. So, so it, if the Holy it, Spirit it, is hold, not hold all on, knowing, hold on, hold on. If the Holy it, Spirit it, is not all knowing, then the Holy Spirit is not then, all then, knowing. Then, then, then it's less than the Father because the Father is all knowing and the Son and the Holy Spirit are not all knowing. Right. So no, it, no, it, no, it no. Can't be the no, 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 no. As soon right? as you're not all knowing, you're not God. Right, and that's 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 the argument, right? My my other my other argument is the Trinity can coexist, and three no. things. As yes. soon as you're not all knowing, you're not God. Yeah, Jesus was not all knowing. Now listen to this. Listen to this. Jesus was not all knowing, so he's not God. And the Holy Spirit was not all knowing, so he's not God. The Father is all knowing, and so that makes him God. And Jesus says. That the Father is the only true God. It ain't rocket science, mate. Take care, John. All right, bye, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks. We got one last guy, Josh. I don't know which Josh it is. <laughs> <sighs> All right, no more guests. This is the last guest. Yeah. This is what Josh. It's late. Yeah, they can you hear me? We can hear you. All right, sweet. So, um, just so about that, I'm a Christian. That I started learning practicing christianity in lockdown but i um okay wanted to look into islam so basically don't know which one to i think because i have a christianity islam and okay. why, are you christian? Christian. why are you christian pardon why are you christian um so i identified as a christian because my mom grew up as a christian but i didn't practice until lockdown how do you practice being a christian So um anyway, so the reason why um so the biggest question I have is like that. So the idea that Yahweh is is God's name in the Old Testament, and we believe that Jesus used that name of himself in the New Testament. So obviously John eight fifty eight, and I don't know. I think in his child as well. And my where, question where is why where, where does, does that not that name? appear? In... Where does Jesus call himself Yahweh? Um, so we believe so John eight fifty eight. We say we believe that Jesus said before Abraham was I am. But that's and not Yahweh. Jesus picked up so Yahweh is not I am. Huh? Pardon? That's not Yahweh. Can I respond? I am is not Yahweh. Can I respond? Pardon? Of course you can, Jazz. That's why you're yeah. here. This is my favorite topic. I love how, how old are you? Can you look about 15? Um, <laughs> that, that was taken three days ago. My youthful looks, mashallah. You know? <laughs> Hamza, uh, Hamza, hasn't he looked like he's been 15 for 15 oh years? God. Indeed, yes. Indeed, yes. But, but let you. me say this. Let me say this. This picture. Um, he's, found, he's found the fountain of youth somewhere. Honestly. Well, well I found Hamza's then. <laughs> but, I don't so, think many uh, people survive here, Ijaz. This is the wrong place. Subhanallah. 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 <laughs> right, deal, um, deal with Josh's uh, argument. Yeah. Josh Habibi, I want you to know, first off, I'm only doing this because I love you and not for any other reason. Um. And to begin with, mm -hmm. John chapter 8, verse 58 does not mention Yahweh. 
And John, uh, sorry, Exodus chapter 3, verse 14 also likewise does not mention Yahweh directly. Rather, in the Hebrew, it says, Ehyeh Asher Ehyeh, I will be who I will be. That is not the name of Yahweh directly itself. So, there is an, a uh, reason sorry, just to like interrupt. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Why do you interrupt? Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, let me let me finish sorry, let um, me finish so the point. Let me finish the point. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, can you read Hebrew? No. Okay, great. So you go to any interlinear, or what you will see there is the are the words three words: Ahia, Asher, Ahia. You don't find the tetragrammaton there. This means I will be who I will be. Even for the sake of the argument in John 8, 58, if that is what Jesus intended to say, my charge is he got it wrong. How do I know that? In the Greek, in the Greek Septuagint, which existed at the time of Jesus, that's the Greek version to the Hebrew Bible, it says, ego I me ho on. I am the mm -hmm. one being, or I am the being. In John 8, 58, Jesus says, ego I me. He leaves half of the statement out. Now, either that's an ungrammatical statement, Christ Jesus forgot Exodus 3.14, or, and there's a third option here, it, it does not mean what you think it means. He does not say before Abraham was, he does not say before Adam was, I am. He does not say before the foundations of the world was, I am. He says before Abraham was, I am. Why specifically Abraham? Because he is the patriarch to the Hebrew people. So he's claiming religious authority over them via their father. He's not claiming to be their God. Had he intended that, then two things. He would have said, ego I me ho on. He does not say that. Or he would have said before Adam or before the foundations of the world, I am. But even then he would have had to say, I ego I me ho on. He still cuts it in half. So either way you slice it, if that is a reason for you to think that Christ Jesus is God, then you sincerely have not read the text appropriately. So, um, so a couple things. So, first, so you're saying Exodus 3 or 14, it says, Eke, Asher, Eke, which obviously I will be that way, or I am that I am. Are you saying for that specific statement that it says Eke, Asher, Eke, and not the Tetragrammaton? No, it's not. Yeah. So, yeah, that's yeah, right. So, 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 through like, so I don't know. Um, so, from what I've seen, it's, I think something that the Tetragrammaton appears between just the Old Testament alone 4,000 to, I want to say, 7,000 times. So, let's say, um, for argument's sake, that Jesus, like, I know uh, that Christian exegesis is that John 8, 58 and the other um, where, where we say Jesus is I am, is that he's claiming God's name of himself. That's that's the Christian exegesis. I, I'm assuming you guys are just disagreeing with that. No, it's good <clears> because they're agreeing with it. The Bible does not teach that. It does not matter what people think they believe if the evidence does not correlate or cohere with what they claim. So Jesus does not complete the statement and he does not get it right. On that basis alone, you cannot equiv literally look up the fallacy of equivocation. You force two things to be equal when they are not. And this is what the Jews have historically pointed out. And I've never seen a Christian say, well, I don't know why Jesus got the words wrong. It seems impossible that God, if he was God and he was a Jew, Jews recite the Shema Yisrael, Deuteronomy, uh, Devarim, chapter 6, verses 4 to 6, to once in the morning, once in the evening. They memorize these words from the time that they begin learning the Torah uh, before the Bar Mitzvah. So that Jesus would get this wrong has historically been a problem for Christians, not for the Jews. So... um. Could it? Could I make the argument that because it's obviously the the New Testament was in Koine Greek, could it just be like maybe um, just a translation of what Jesus would have said in the Aramaic that, or Hebrew that he would have been speaking? It wouldn't work that way because then they would have put the entire statement "ego I me ho on." So here's what you're arguing: you're probably arguing if that argument is true that whoever wrote that passage in the New Testament misrepresented Jesus and gave millions of Jews a reason to disbelieve. All right, so um, so besides the so let's just disregard the New Testament. Why so let's just use that safe as of Judaism or Old Testament? Why so can we argue that it's clear that the Tetragrammaton was clearly used in the Old Testament, say four to seven thousand times? We have no problem with that, that but that is besides so, the point. Uh, obviously, that, that was that was, that was, that was God's name. 
that was God's name in the old, like God's personal name in the Old Testament. It's not his personal why, name, it's a title. Not, like, let, let me ask you one question, please. Yeah. I want to ask you the question from the Bible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello? Yes. See, whenever, whenever the answer given by Jesus, yes, I am, you people must read that text properly. The whole paragraph must be read clearly. He is saying, I, mm -hmm. the, yeah, the, the paragraphs, the question is asked to him as, are you a son of God? The son of God. Are you the son of God? Nobody is asking, are you the God? So when, so what would your reason be to why the Pharisees picked up stones to stole him and then in his um, child, they said, can yes. you not hear the blasphemy? Jesus, What's your argument Jesus is that? saying, I am. So yeah. again, again, when we take the terminology as son of God, then that does not prove him God, does not even say that he is incarnated as God. So why did the Jews pick up stones to stone him? Oh, okay. Yes. Can I, can I, can I just it's respond? It's a good question. Now, let me answer to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me answer to you. <laughs> See, Jesus, Jesus was a threat to the rabbis. Re Jesus Pardon? was the threat to the rabbis. And the Jesus was trying to bring the people to worship one God and to take them away from the worship of the lordship of the rabbis. And that why was a threat. Term did you why for that? Because he's been doing that for a long time. So why for that specific? Could I um, answer? Uh, Can I answer? Can I answer? Yeah. Could I answer quickly? Yeah, Ibo. Yeah. No, this is Ijaz. Is then you don't get the. I want to answer. Yes, right? I want to okay, answer. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Hansom. Go ahead. Well, I'm not going to answer. What did Jesus respond when they tried to do that? Pardon? What was Jesus' response when they accused him of that? When they went to pick up stones, what did he say to them? Um, I wouldn't know by memory, so if you could say that would be good. He says, "Why would you pick up stones to stone me? For what good works do you stone me?" No, he says, for your, "They say for your blasphemy, for you say you are God." And that's then Jesus responds and says, "But doesn't it say in your scripture ye are all gods?" Mm -hmm. So Jesus has already responded to that accusation to the Pharisees, and they put the stones down and they didn't stone him because they realized that they weren't. He wasn't making that claim. You know what's funny, Hamza? Jesus on, says the. Egg Jesus confirms what you I know I know Jesus said the same thing. But if you read what Jesus said, and, and I won't just Josh, hesitate. Josh, one more thing. Well, yeah. Josh, <laughs> you can't stop this guy. I thought they confirmed was thing. unstoppable. Josh, Josh, <laughs> listen to me one more thing. Mm -hmm. the, the Jews shut up, I'm little crying. boy. Pardon? Le, Josh, Josh, le, yeah. let me tell you something. The, mm -hmm. the Jews never considered Jesus as God. Because the, the Jews never considered Jesus as God. Because if he was real God, then the Jews have no authority or any power to destroy or kill or say crucify the God. Because God is something that cannot be destroyed. God cannot be defeated. But they did to Jesus because they were thinking that Jesus was not God. It's only Christian who thinks he's God. Yeah, that's a very good yeah. point actually. Yeah, mashallah. Sir, can, so you you know, can you see the whole thing again? You know, if the, uh, if the Jews did believe that Jesus was God, the last thing they would do was pick up stones and try to stone yeah, him. Exactly. <laughs> but here's, That's a very here's, good point, Sheikh. Yeah, mashallah. Here's Josh's moral problem, right? Jesus in Matthew chapter 20, 23 says what? He says oh, sorry, sorry, Kai, just to interrupt. My question wasn't about Jesus saying this, but my question is why does Islam not use the, the name of Yahweh? Because we're because we're then, that the New Testament doesn't use the word of Yahweh either, so you could ask the same question about your own scriptures, mate. Yeah. Well, the Quran. But is, you believe, but you believe that the the New Testament as isn't really scripture. No, anyway. but you. It's not. But you, but you, you, don't you, you, think, you, do you, you don't believe that? Jesus. You don't believe Jesus would have. No, used but you it do. Yourself. You, you, you do, Josh. Yeah, you. of course. So, if, like, if I argue from Islam, it's basically we can. Right. So, that. answer the question: Why is the word Yahweh not used in the New Testament then? But that was my question was why isn't why doesn't Islam use so why a Christian, doesn't, from why a Christian doesn't basis we believe that Yahweh. Jesus used it of himself. No, why doesn't the New Testament use the word Yahweh? So we believe that from a Christian perspective, from 
I believe most Christians would say that we believe that Jesus did use it on himself again, 858. No, and obviously, I, I'm assuming like most Christian scholars I've seen agree to this. He didn't Pardon? though. Show me anywhere in the book. Okay. Show me anywhere in but in the New Testament, Yahweh. Anywhere. So it's not the direct word Yahweh, we believe Jesus. All right, said, so it's not um, Yahweh then. So, yes, the, so, so you're asking you're asking why Islam and the Quran doesn't mention Yahweh. Well, your New Testament doesn't either. And you're a Christian, so you should be asking that yeah, question. Yeah, I'm asking why. But I feel like just you, you saying that... Oh, right. you're let me make things easier for you, question, if you don't mind. What's the, name of, like, what's the name of God in Hebrew? What's the name of God in Hebrew, Josh? Josh, what's the name of God in Hebrew? The God's personal name. The title of God in so Hebrew. Yahweh, Yahweh? Eloi. Eloi. Title? Yeah. Eloi. So you mean Adonai or Elohim? Huh? Okay. Yes, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, in Aramaic, what's his name? Aram okay, I get the argument. So it's Allah, uh, right? Or Allah? Uh, Allah. Allah, Allah. No, 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 no. Aramaic so, is Allah. Um, Aramaic is Allah. Syriac Aramaic mm -hmm. is Allah. Arabic is Allah. Oh, all right. So there's no difference there. So, and Yahweh. So I've heard the argument. So. The only problem I have with that is that obviously Jesus was no, it's just, just, just it's Jewish and Josh, obviously Jesus spoke Aramaic, so his name for God mm -hmm. would have been Allah or Allah. Yeah, Jesus so, spoke Aramaic, so his name for God would have been or Allah. Yeah, so I've heard the argument. So, can I, just to let me finish, um, religion has an effect on how you speak. So, for example, Josh, as Muslims, you're going to use Allah. Josh, for, in God. India, wait, can I finish, please? Josh, in can I finish, India. Please? The um, Indians, so Jesus, they speak would Jesus with not the use Arabic. Would Jesus not use <laughs> Josh? Have have to to yeah, but would you not like use Allah? It's been Arabic. nearly five hours. <laughs> can I finish, please? Yeah, go wait, on. Sorry, Josh. In India, to to the I'll Indians finish, speak Hindi, mm -hmm. and the Hindus they call mm -hmm. God as Bhagwan. So you're gonna reject that because they're calling Bhagwan and they're not calling Jehovah, Jehovah. Hmm. The no, my point is religion. My point is. My what, what, religion God, has an what's effect. God called in the Arabic Bible? Yeah. What's God called in the Arabic Bible? The Arab Wait, Christians and Arab my, Jews. Could, could I finish my point, now. please? Yeah, but no, but what that is God called in the Arabic Bible? This is your point. What is the God called in the Arabic Bible? No, 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 my point. Can I finish my point for myself? No, what is God so, called in the Arabic Bible? Hashem. Jews would have used, you Jews use Hashem. No, in the Arabic Jews Bible. Jews use Hashem in everyday language. In, in the Arabic Bible. Yeah, yeah honestly, so the in the Arabic Bible is Allah. Allah is Allah, but my point is in uh, yes in everyday language they use has Jews use yes, Hashem in reference to the name Arab of Yahweh. Arab Christians, Arab Christians, you'd uh, use Allah in everyday language. Yes, yeah, they don't use Yahweh. But I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you that Jews use Hashem in everyday no, language. Arab Jews, we're talking about the Arab, Arab Jews, 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 Arab Christians. The Arab Pardon? Jews and Arab Christians in everyday life they say Alhamdulillah, Inshallah, exactly like the Muslim Arabs. Well, and the Muslims. Yeah. Right. So, so what I'm saying is that the term, what you're doing is here, the term for God in Aramaic and in Arabic is almost identical. In fact, Jesus would be calling Allah or Allah, depending on which Syriac uh, or Aramaic mm -hmm. you use. Yes, rather than using the term Yahweh or Yehovah, because you know this term Yahweh and Yehovah, they cannot... Even those are not something that the Jewish people recognize as the pronunciation because the original tetragrammaton did not have any vowels in it. It only had consonants. So they assume certain vowels and that's the reason different people pronounce it differently. So you don't even know the name of God, to be honest with you. The Christians were not even blessed with the personal name Hello? of God in the entire New Testament. Are you aware sorry, of that? Can you hear me? Sorry, you, sorry you bugged. I didn't, can you say that again? It bugged out. Yeah, so what I'm saying is that the Christians have not been blessed with the personal name of God in their New Testament. Why is that? Hmm. No, the, the part before that, I didn't hear the part you were saying that Jews don't just use answer it. That the part. Part that part. No, no, just answer Pardon? that part. Just answer that part. Answer the part you heard. Say that again. Oh, Josh, I'm done. It's, it's been five hours. Come on the next arena, mate. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Later, dude. Okay. Yeah, been All right, guys. I think we're gonna call it a night there. Alhamdulillah. Nearly five hours. Abdul Majid, thanks for jumping on, inshallah. Um, Please invite me next bro. time as well. Zakallah Khairan. 
<laughs> I, have to, I have no choice, bro. Uh, anyway, uh, do me a favor, Abdul Majid. Uh, just send me a message uh, or an email to hamzasden4 at gmail.com. See, uh, Brother Hamza, invite invite uh, apostate prophet Radwan and invite me. I want to deal with this guy as well, inshallah. Inshallah, we'll do something. Inshallah. All right, yes. but so message me, so message me, so um, I've got you. Okay, I, I, all right, you'll find me. Don't worry. All right, I'm going to say salam to everybody now. So, salam alaikum, right. Abdul yes. Majid. Yes. 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 from nowhere. Honestly, unstoppable. Ijaz, fifteen year old, he left himself. <laughs> He thought you were going to say something. Hashim, Jazakallah khair, how are you? Anything coming up? It's been a pleasure. Anything coming up? Um, the usual Sunday Speakers Corner. We might put in maybe another live stream like the we've, like the one we did with uh, Brother Jake. Alhamdulillah, that was quite good. I have to check we, that we one out. We try to keep it short, not five hours. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to <laughs> the whole okay. voice. Inshallah. The Jazakallah. people want to be entertained. Are you not entertained? <laughs> That's where's the arena. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. And just before I let you go, Jake, uh, brothers and sisters in the chat, if you're not subscribed to Jake's channel, please subscribe to Jake's channel. It's embarrassing, subhanAllah. I've got more subscribers than him. He <laughs> needs, subhanAllah, we need to get his name out there, his arguments out there. So all you guys are doing the fishing, please keep putting, pumping him out, please, inshallah. Yeah, can I make one announcement, Hamza? Yeah. On, on Sunday, this coming Sunday, I'm going to be debating uh, Samuel Green on the, on the SC Dawa channel on the Incarnation. So do check that out. Well, that will be fantastic, inshallah. 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 All right, bro. Although Samuel Green didn't fare too well in the arena. But... No. Oh, no. E EF Dawa. EF Dawa, actually, was all right. <laughs> you know, the historicity streams. But anyway, yeah. looking forward to that, inshallah. All right, bro. Assalamu alaikum. And right, we'll, well, we'll get together on Thomas Aquinas when you're ready. Inshallah. Yeah, we need to. Yeah, we need to. We're going to deal with that geezer. <laughs> yeah. Take care. Allah alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. And that was that. Another arena over. Um, so, Akram, you're not going to get them. Um, okay. What's coming next? Let me just take that massive banner off. A second. Okay. Alhamdulillah. We Subhanallah, five hours. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah. Well, we knew it was going to be a good stream with that caliber of guests, mashallah. And to be honest with you, the uh, the um, contestants that came on today, mashallah, uh, they weren't too trolly. We had a bit of a Terry's and a bit of Rob's, but alhamdulillah, we, we, we learned some stuff which is always beneficial, alhamdulillah. All right, what's next for me? Inshallah, tomorrow, I think, on Ayira is going to be my kind of revert story part one. Uh, I think we're going to do a part two. Uh, so that's at 6 p.m. on, on uh, I think it's going to be on Ayura. So check that out. Um, tomorrow as well should be Melinda. Melinda part two, inshallah. Um, I'm not sure if I'm doing a live on Sunday. So other than that, see you in the shop on Monday. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thanks everybody for joining. And... Um, you know what's coming.